Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Good morning, good morning, and happy Sunday, and happy grand final day. Look at me, red, white, and blue. I'm all ready. We've got a red, we've got a blue mannequin, we've got a red mannequin, so we're all set to win. Uh, so good morning to you. We've got some great things on today, including Dawn Taylor, who's going to come in a little while, and she's going to make the most cutest play mat. It really is absolutely beautiful. But before then, of course, we have lots of other lovely things for you, including the early birds. So look what I have here. Aren't these absolutely gorgeous? These are William Morris crystal magnets, a set of four crystal magnets. Now, not a lot you could do with sewing, other than the fact 
there, William Morris, but aren't they lovely? I mean, we all need magnets to put on the fridge. So because they're magnetic, you can obviously keep your notes. Now I have these on my filing cabinet, which I have in my office come sewing room. So that's metal, so you can attach them nice and easily. But they're so beautiful and they're reduced to 7 99 to the four for 7 99 Have we had these ones? We've had these magnets, but not, not these beautiful William Morris designs. I don't know if you can see, if you can get close to the designs and how beautiful they are. Look at that one. They really are classic William Morris. I'm just going to pop that one down. I like this. Is, I think this is my favourite one. It's this golden lily. I'm just peeling it off the backing that's on there. Look at that, isn't that? The detail in the flowers there is really, really beautiful. It is. It's a nice way to get William Morris into your house and then you can have it in your kitchen as well as your living room if you've got your furnishings or your quilts. So now you can have this in the kitchen because you can have on your fridge, on your filing cabinet as I do, you can clip, clip your notes. Uh, hold on, this is a famous, famous quote. Having, oh right, have nothing in your house that you know is use, not useful or believed to be beautiful. In other words, everything in your house you should believe to be useful or beautiful. What about the old man? Is he useful and beautiful? No, I'm only joking. So, so these are really beautiful. So that's that one. Then we've got another one. Oh, this one too. It's the detail in this. Oh, I'm just I'm peeling it off the backing there. It's on, stuck to the paper backing. Oh, is that what that's called, this one? Has that, has that got little birds in the top? quick glasses on so I can see that hold on oh my goodness little tiny birds the detail is absolutely amazing that really is beautiful so these are really lovely so $7.99 for all four of them and they come in this lovely little presentation box so it's a really great little present if you're thinking about presents for teachers because um, we're coming up to the end of school year, aren't we? Then this is a really nice little gift for that. Or, of course, I mean, anybody that you want to just give a little present to, to your mum, to your aunt. It is really, really beautiful. William Morris Designs, which means that they are very, very special. £7.99. Yeah, I know, Kat keeps saying the Christmas word in my ear, and I'm trying to ignore it, but we do have to start thinking about Christmas. I hate to say that. We haven't even had summer yet, but we do. I mean, we like to plan. If we're crafters, we like to plan ahead, don't we? We start getting things, start making things. But this is just a really lovely little gift. This is a nice little thing to, you know, if you have people around for dinner, uh, over Christmas and you like to give a little gift rather than a Christmas cracker something like this or you put you could even put just one or two in a reusable Christmas cracker couldn't they because it's just nice to hang notes up to keep notes keep your recipe there keep your shopping list on the fridge little note where you where you've gone to have your nails done you just make like a little note to say don't forget to have that appointment <laughs> So people are buying multiples of these, which is understandable um, because they are absolutely beautiful and they make beautiful gifts for yourself as well as, of course, for somebody else. So really, really special. Now, they won't be $7.99 when they come back. This is our special, um, early, I was going to say breakfast price, our early bird price for today. <laughs> I've, got, I've just had toast. It's such a treat. And I have to say thank you to Hayley for bringing the bread in. She has. She's, I've never had that before. Kat's never bought bread in before. And it's absolutely delicious. I'm normally starving by one o'clock. <laughs> I shall expect I'm, I'm going to have riders in future. You know, little, these little must have before I'll be deigned to come on set. <laughs> but what else have we got here? This is our panel of the week. Now, this is different this week. So often we have different prints. And I think the last time I was here, we had Stonehenge because it was the summer solstice. But look at this. Now, this is only half of it because it's huge, huge. What you have is four fat quarters with beautiful little prints, but they're not normal size fat quarters because this fabric is so wide, you get a really wide fat quarter. So they are, I think, if I, so it's not, it's not double sided. It's just, it's easier for me to open it up. So they're 70 by 50, each of these panels. And if I turn it up the right way, you can see, look, it's printed exclusively for us four large coordinating fat quarter panels and each of them is 70 by 54, 50. 
Normally they're about 46 by 50, so you can see how big that is in comparison. Now this will go up to 19.99 at midnight tonight, so it's a special price at 14.99 for today only now. It's been on all week. It's the last chance today. Beautiful little prints, lovely coordinating prints. I mean, you could make so many cushions or bags out of this. You could use it as a lining and make a weekender bag and use that as a glorious lining. Lots of things you can make out of it. Placemats, it's a good quality. It's like a medium quality cotton. You can have a look, there's lots of ideas in books. So it's a really good quality cotton, quite firm. Book covers, talking about books, you could make a beautiful book cover out of that. The design's very classic. So that is our fat quarter um, panel for this week. Last day today. And as you say, it's so big. Look, that's more of a normal size, isn't it, there? But look, it's there as well. That's how big it is. Really big fat quarters, so it's a misnomer in a way. So absolutely lovely. Now we're going to look at the menu, and this is going to tell us what is up today. So we have got Moda Fabrics. Now I have, I'm just going to move over to the other desk while I talk about this, because these Moda Fabrics are absolutely gorgeous. We have lots of pre-cuts, and we have the designer rolls, and we have a new collection. There's an awful lot going on here. We also have at nine o'clock this lovely nursery rhyme mat. And that's with Dawn. So that we've got it hung up behind us here. Um, and we're suggesting, I say this is the royal we, we're suggesting that we back this with a beautiful soft fleece. So it's, and Dawn will explain more about her idea there, but it makes it a lovely play mat. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, we've got panels and pre-cuts. And just a sneaky preview of this, Cave, think cave. More, more new cave. Now, yesterday it was really exciting because we had cave. We had cave straight from the warehouse. No, <laughs> we had we had this lovely uh, bundle of fat quarters yesterday, which we weren't expecting to have. They weren't on pre-order. They weren't even up on the list because they came in and they they scooted them over to us immediately, and we had them and we sort of opened them on air. Absolutely exciting and really really lovely. Now I still have some of those left, so I can show you them again. But we've got more. We've also got the ten-inch charms. We've We've got uh, designer rolls, we've got fat quarters, we've got five inch. Anyway, you'll see all of that later on at 10 o'clock. And then we're going to come back with Dawn at 11 to do her storage cushions. Such an amazing idea. Really, really fabulous. And, uh, and you can get panels for these. And look at those little boots. Look at the little boots on the caterpillar. Aren't they so cute? So really lovely, cute ideas to make there. And then at 11 o'clock, oh, sorry, 12 o'clock, we have an hour with sewing machines. So I will be putting a sewing machine through its places, one of these super duper machines that we have. We've got a brand new book in stock by one of my tutor friends who is the most superb dressmaking tutor that you could ever wish for. Um, no pressure there, Lorna. <laughs> and, and we've got... Um, some more William Morris things in that last hour. So we have got a lot. So settle down and enjoy this morning because tonight's going to be hectic. So now we're just going to have a little bit of fun with some fabric. <laughs> Before we start with the Moda, I have here quite an amazing, now this is really different. So I have got this designer roll. Now it looks like it's just white, but it's not just white. Am I allowed to open it, Kat, as I go for it anyway? Thank you, everybody, that says they're watching. So there's all, there's all sorts, including um, somebody I know in France, Angela. So it's lovely to see that you're watching. Is it the same time over there? Elizabeth has said good morning. Uh, Glenis, and then we've got Margaret, Leslie, Leanne, Maggie, Rena. Oh, there's so many. I can't I'll spend all day just reading out the names. But thank you for joining us at this ungodly hour on a Sunday morning. Oh, look at these. So now when I open it up, so you've got plain, that I don't know how easy it's going to be to see these, but you've got a lot of little self prints. So it's not plain plain. So it's all right. So these are going to be absolutely beautiful. Really beautiful for borders, for binding, for sashing, already cut. Or 
what looks really beautiful if you if you join these together as strips and now this is this is a jenny raymond technique a lot of you will know her and then you do your twiddling and fiddling so she had i mean she has loads of books that show you how to do that and you can you twist and tuck and um, pleat the fabrics and they look absolutely glorious in in whites and toning whites oh you're doing a design role race okay What's a design role race? Okay, what well, end to end? <laughs> what? You mean you're literally having a race with somebody else? Oh. <laughs> okay, just having a race by yourself? Uh, yes, I mean it is, you can, you can get... Um, and so you can get patterns for that. You can get ideas for that, and you can do that really quickly. Well, what we're sorry, what we're talking about. The other half of that conversation was that Kat was saying she's joining them together to make herself a quilt, and all these whites would look lovely. It would look really, really pretty. And then you, what you could actually use is so you have have this as the front of a quilt or a duvet cover. Imagine, and then we have later in the show, we've got this extra wide backing which is a sort of it's a darker color but it would go really beautifully with that white but we'll come to that but look at them they're just so many and they're all little self prints all the way through and they're just ranging from white to cream to beige I hate the word beige but coffee color really pretty so you're getting all of these for 29.99 so they're 40 strips that's 40 strips. So it's salvage to salvage. That's 44 I inches long. And then they are two and a half inches wide. So I'm thinking of making a dress out of a designer roll. Um, so what you, I'm thinking, so if you imagine these are two inches wide, because you're going to take off a quarter and a quarter in your seam. So you basically get 80 inches in a, in a panel. Taken, having taken off all the seam allowances. So 80 inches should go round you quite okay. So the length would be 44 inches, unless you wanted to add some. So I'm going, I'm, that's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to try and get a uh, jelly roll to do just that. I won't be doing it in white, but I will be doing it in one of our lovely jelly roll packs. These are great for your stash. And I like the fact because I mean, when you when you're adding sort of the the bindings, which is the finishing touching touches to a quilt, you add binding, you add um, the sashing in between your beautifully quilted patchwork panels. It's nice to have these all pre cut and not actually have to worry about cutting all of these up. So I'm just putting that back together. So these are really handy to have because it, it's not the it's not the pretty bit, is it? Doing that bit, it's not the fun bit. Doing the design, it's no not rolling back up. I mean, add, adding the adding the binding and the and if even sashing between your beautifully patchwork panels. That's kind of like a necessity as opposed to the fun bit. So it's quite nice if they're already cut for you and you haven't got that task to do. There, not particularly done, but done. It, do, it will depend on your pattern. As I say, one, one panel would make you sort of 80 inches wide, but it would only be 44 inches high. So that is, um, I'm just trying to think what that is in, it's just, what's 44 inches in met metric? Where's my ruler gone, my tape measure? 110. So yeah, that'd only be 110. So if you're actually thinking you want the quilt to be over two metres, you'd have to have at least two wouldn't you, to get the length that you need. So you, each, each roll has 40 and they're two and a half inches wide. So I'm taking off half an inch because there's a seam allowance on either side. So I'm then saying that you'll have, that they're basically two inches wide when they're all joined together. So you've got 80 inches in your width. So what is a, a double bed width? A double bed width is what, say five feet if you have a king. Five, I was trying to put, keep transferring inches and you know, trying to do the cut. How many, how many inches is five foot? 60 inches, isn't it? I think. <laughs> As I can see, she's just it is 60 inches, so 80 inches that should be your width, okay. 
and then the length, you'd need two jelly rolls to get the whole length. Okay. <laughs> Don't hold me to that. I hope that helped. <laughs> Um, anyway, what we do have here are some really beautiful fabrics, as well as that lovely roll there. And as I say, we have got others, so if we don't get to them all. Do remember to look on the website. This new collection here. Now, this is a four and a half meter mega bundle. So you get all of these nine half meters. Aren't they pretty? They're very soft colors here. So this is Moda fabric. And it's called Sanctuary, this particular collection. Straighten that up. This is done by the three sisters for Moda. So what we have here is we've got, uh, Kat's put them into nice little colourways here. So we have this one, which is sort of the talk colours. We have the sort of pinky peaches, and then we have the blues. But you're getting all of those together. £66.99. p. Shall I open? Shall I open them up? You can see I'm stroking them because Moda fabric is so gorgeous. So this is the first one. So remember these are half meters. So I'll open this one up just to show you the half meter to start with. Look at that. Very, now these will be available by the half meter as well soon but if you so if you want that then you can buy multiples if you want one particular one but at the moment the bundle is £66.99 and you get all nine this is the first one here isn't this lovely it's a very pretty design isn't it and again just thinking on of that backing fabric that we had it's not exactly the same colour but it would certainly tone well <coughs> excuse me Sorry about that, just had a quick cough. I'm double jabbed, I'm quite fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm double jabbed, oh yes, I'm double jabbed. You're not double jabbed, Cat. how's that happened? Get your jab. Now we do have this design in two other colours, so that's the first one. So if I put that one to one side, I'm gonna put those there as well, and then we've got it in the blue. So look at that, that's the blue, so it's the same beautiful design. I love this blue colour, it's very soft. It, although these, you know, I'm usually bright, I do like these because they're very soft and very subtle and I think classic, it makes a sort of very classic design. And of course, Moda fabrics, we know. And because it's quite a small print, it's not a tiny print, but it's quite a small print, so you can cut small pieces of that if you're thinking of quilting. And then that same fabric again in the peachy, it's sort of a blush colour. I think it's interesting how the flowers, the different parts of the flowers come out when you're looking at the different colourways. So that's really pretty. And then we also have the big floral. So that's those three. Let's go to the pink as I'm in the pink in the middle here. Look at that. So again, don't forget this is half a metre. I'm only opening it halfway. And I love this. I love the fact that you've got, you could fussy cut. Imagine a nice big button with one of those in the middle of it. But you could certainly fussy cut this and create some really lovely, even if you're doing just squares and fat quarters and things. Um, you know, sorry, squares and triangles, um, half square triangles, strips, anything like that you can do and you can really focus on those flowers. Very pretty. But we also have that in the blue. Sacre bleu? What does that, but what does that actually mean? It doesn't mean, it's sacred something, isn't it? So this is the, the blue fabrics. So it's the same design. So it's softer, isn't it? It feels, the whole thing feels softer than the, the pinky one. Very pretty. And it's got that little spot in the background as well. This is it's definitely a spring picnic. And like this would make a lovely little pinny. It would make a lovely picnic mat. We have got to get better weather, haven't we? 
th Thursday supposed to be good, is it? Oh, for Birmingham. No, we've had, we've had bad weather everywhere, yeah. And then, of course, we have it in this sort of taupe colour. Look at this. So all of this is in this mega bundle of 66 99 for all nine pieces, which makes four and a half metres altogether. So that is really lovely. And again, it's got the little spot and the flower. And then we have the all over print. So again, I'll start with the top as we've got that one. Now, if you buy multiples of this bundle, they will come pre-cut because they're in the warehouse ready to go. So there we have this lovely. We do only have 19 of these bundles left now. This is really lovely. Who's got the hiccups? <laughs> so this is why, because you haven't eaten anything. I've had toast. So this is a really beautiful, just nice little print. So this, this is great. This is great for, and again, I just love the idea of using this sort of thing for small detail areas, for your sashing. And if you're doing things like uh, the triangles, little triangles, little squares, because it's a little print, you can do a little bit and you still will see that glorious pattern. So we have that one. And then we have the pink or the blush. It's on a cream background. So you've got a cream background and then all of the flowers, all these different shades of pink with lots of little green leaves. So it's very pretty all over print here. Use it in any direction. Very lovely. And then finally, in this collection, we have got the blue. So it's the same print, but this time in the blue. It's a sort of greeny blue. It's almost a spearminty green, aquary colour. Put my hand on that label there. Now, so this is the mega bundle. So this is all nine pieces, all nine half metre pieces, which is four and a half metres altogether, for 66.99. Or you can buy the bundle on its own. So you can buy the pink bundle. So that's the three pink pieces. So it's the same three pieces we've just looked at. So you've got the all over. You've got the bigger rose, which is really lovely. It's a, such a lovely soft colour um, fabric as well. It's lovely soft cotton. So really lovely piece there. And of course, we've got the sort of self printed one. So we've got all of three of those, and that is twenty-one ninety-nine. So the aqua, this one here. So again, we've got the same three pieces, which look really gorgeous together. They do really work well together. Yes, absolutely. And we also we do have now. Have we got the planes individually, or is, or are? individually so we do have, I'm just going to quickly bring those in because we do have these planes so do look on the website for them this one is actually a Moda one and it's actually a sort of it's a, a creamy color background and it's got little white flowers all over it but imagine using those in conjunction with any of these it goes beautifully so do look on the website for those and equally we could bring the blues in or we've got a pink in here if you wanted to go for pink. So those we do have, so the bottom one is a calico. So do have a look on the website for those because I doubt if we'll have time to look at all of them. But this is our green, as I was saying. So this is $21.99 for the aqua. Don't forget, if you buy multiples of that, they do come pre-cut. And then finally, we have got the ash. It's a sort of silvery background colour. It's very nice, very restful, I feel, this one. Very nice colour there. So you've got the three prints again in those beautiful colours. $21.99. Now we can also do them by the half metre, which means if you wanted to buy multiple 
and have maybe a, long, a bigger piece for something, you then just add the number of units you want to your basket. The ditzy prints from the, this is the sort of ash version, so this is a kind of soft silvery grey background. £7.49 for a half metre. Really lovely, lovely soft cotton moda. See the little, it's got little flowers on it and then it's got little leaves and stems in the green and brown. So there's lots of detail in there. Very lovely quality and I, I just love the fact that because it's a small tiny print this one you can actually use it for lots of the smaller projects, the smaller areas, little joining pieces. Very lovely. Then the bigger floral print, which we were saying you could fussy cut if you wanted. I love the spot background on this. It is very lovely. It just means that there's sort of something going on all around. And again, the detail on the thing. You could definitely make kitchen makes with this. It would look lovely or nice, a nice tablecloth. You could make oven gloves, appliance covers. People cover their appliances. Bags. Remember like a bread bag, if you make your own bread, we had this conversation yesterday, if you make your own, not that I do, but if you make your own bread and you put them in a fabric bag, it does keep it fresher for longer. Shoe bags, definitely. I like a nice shoe bag. And then finally in the ash, and this is this, this is the, it's the white roses on this sort of silvery talk background. So it's really subtle, very, very pretty. And it does like this, when you add it with this colour, you can see how the colours of the pinks on this really boom out at you. Beautiful range together. We then have the pinks. Now you're testing me. <laughs> I got them, I catch says in the same order and I had them in a different order on the table. I had to remember the order. So this is the ditzy print look. This is a half metre. So the half metre is four, uh, sorry, £7.49, which is a really good price because this is a mode of fabric, it's a designer fabric, and we know that everywhere else around, the price for these designer fabrics has gone up, as indeed it will go up with us at some point in the near future. We don't know when. We're keeping this price for you as long as we possibly can, um, but it does mean it's a really good price from us at the moment. Look at this beautiful. I love this little print. If you're thinking, I mean, I mean, if you're going to buy it by the half metre and therefore you wanted to maybe buy some to make a nice little blouse or little top, one of the tops we had yesterday, um, which is actually still hanging up on the mannequin over there, it was a, a Sussex seamstress pattern. Beautiful in this. It would look lovely. Oh, absolutely, you can use this for dressmaking. It's love. I know these, these are sort of patchwork cottons, but I use patchwork cottons for dressmaking all the time, particularly when they're lovely, soft quality fabrics like this. This is the big floral print. So again, this would, this would make a lovely garment. You, I mean, I can, yes, but I can also see it. You see, I can see this as a flowing, like a dressing gown robe thing that you, you, know, you sort of slip on over your uh, daytime loungy pyjamas and you're sipping coffee while you're looking out to sea. Okay, maybe I've got a little bit of too much of an active imagination. <laughs> I don't overlook the sea when I'm sipping my coffee, not unless I go down there for a walk. But really lovely, beautiful print. I love the, I love the detail in the flowers on this one. And then the third one of this range is the same, the all over print here. So this is the all over print in this lovely, soft, sort of blush colour pink. Is this, the, is this the code for this one? So this is this lovely, soft blush colour pink. Oh, they've called it salmon. Yes, I can see that. Really lovely, mode of fabric by the half metre. £7.49p. So it's under £16 a metre. And then we have the same again, but this time in the blues. Oh, they've called it what it is. It's kind of, to me, this is it is a sort of mint green. It's a soft mint green. 
And again, it's got these lovely little all over print, which I think works beautifully well. Again, another pattern we did yesterday, the skirt, the gathered skirt would look beautiful in this. So don't, all, don't just think patchwork and quilting. Lots of other things you can do with these, but superb for patchwork and quilting. Lots of little prints. It's good to have a mixture. It's good to have a mixture of print sizes. So depending on the size and shape that you're cutting your pieces, you get the best out of the fabric. Then we had the big rows with the dot background. So that's really lovely. And the flowers are going every which way, so you haven't got to worry about which way up the fabric goes. It's multi-directional, which is always useful. And finally, in this collection, we have got... So this is sort of white on the mint green. Really lovely. So delicate. And again, these all go well together. Hence the collection. So whether you get it by the half metre or whether you get each of the small bundles or whether you get the big mega bundle, they will all go beautifully together. That's up to you. So just to remind you very quickly, the complete mega bundle with all of those is 66.99. Really lovely collection. Now I have mentioned the extra wide back in a couple of times. So this here, it's got like a fern design on and it's like on a taupe background. Now when we say backing fabric, it's only because it is extra wide. Now this is, hold on, Ooh, this is half the width. Okay, so if I opened it, I can't because I haven't got that long arms, but if I opened it up, it's that again. It is actually 2.74 metres wide. 2.74 metres wide. So actually, if you run that down the length of your bed, that's, that's all you kind of need for the length of the bed, isn't it? And we're cutting it off the bolt to you, so it's 12.99. So then you could have, if you had a metre and a half, that would be 30. Oh no, you might need two metres. You might need two metres for six foot. You might even need two and a half metres to have a whole backing for a, a duvet backing sort of thing. Quilt, a, a quilt size for a double bed. But you wouldn't have a seam because the width is what you would end up using as the length. And this has got an all over sort of fern pattern on it. So it's really lovely. It's nice and subtle. It would look lovely. I mean, even if you sort of, you know, if you wanted to make this double sided and you can flip this over and you've got this on the upper side and then you could add some um, cushions to your bed with some of the other colours that are in the front or something. Lampshades, it would look, be look for. There's all sorts you can make with this. It's quite a subtle colour and would look very, very nice. But that extra, extra wide, 108 inches or 2.74 metres wide. Incredible width. So that's really lovely. What are we going to next? I'm surrounded. Oh, the red, white and blue. This, the roll. So we've, we've got this in a roll. So this is called Moda 30s Playtime. Chloe's Closet. That's what it's got on the label here. Chloe's Closet. So this is the different designers that work for them. So this must be, at a guess, Chloe. So I'm just going to unwrap this. I haven't got one already unwrapped, have I? Look at this. Oh, beautiful colours. So these are all motor quality. So we've got some big floral prints and then some ditzy prints. So really lovely. So this is $44.99. Look at the little dogs. Now we are limiting it in stock on this one. So a nice little mixture of prints and colours, but all coordinating well together. 
as always with these. And the, the, the trick when working with a jelly roll is to not try and match up, just to randomly pick your colours together because they do all work together. Oh, look, that's that flower from the, on, from the front, but in a different colourway. The colours are beautiful. Another little dog again. What's this little flowers? So yes, you've got all of the colours here. Brights, and then we go to pastely, but still with a hint. I just love them, little yellows. This is such a beautiful designer roll. And they're all cut with pinking shears. So they shouldn't fray too badly if you wanted to pre-wash. If you were going to pre-wash them, which is always advisable, not, not something we always do, but something that's advisable. Um, and you can always wash them either in a pillowcase or a laundry bag so they don't get into too much of a tangled mess. Look at these, the lilac y colours now. Absolutely beautiful. All of that for $44.99, all of those beautiful colours along there. Now we have those same prints in a 10 inch charm pack. And I, I love these 10 inch charm packs because again, I love the idea of these pre-cuts because pre-cuts mean you don't have to cut them all up. It's already done for you, but you can cut them into smaller pieces. If you wanted to, you can cut these into small squares or triangles. And then you've got these really, and you've got especially the ones with the little tiny prints on them. You've got these really glorious prints and you can cut them into smaller pieces to make and then put them back together again. I'm, I'm saying this, which is sort of unbelievable to me, because why would you want to cut beautiful fabric into tiny pieces? But I know quilters do. So <laughs> if you want to do that, you can do that with these. Some of these prints are so beautiful. So we have that in that lovely designer roll, but we also have it in the layer cake. And we can call it, so this is a layer cake. So that's a name that is sort of exclusive to Moda. You can get uh, 10 inch squares for other brands, but Moda call them a layer cake, as they call the roll a jelly roll. This is all to do with the fact that they started in a cake factory. This is why these names think of cakes. We just do take them for granted, but can you see these same prints? So again, what you have here is these same prints again. Little dogs. You could easily put a lovely quilt together, just simple big squares. Just think how quick that would be. Remember, these are 10 inch squares. You could do a picnic blanket. You could, you could make a quick, if you got these, you could make a quick, pic, <laughs> quick, quick picnic blanket easily in the morning, easy. Look at them, beautiful. So it's the same, same prints as we had in the jelly roll. Really beautiful prints, but obviously it's a 10 inch square. And do you know, the other thing I like about the fact with this, I noticed it this morning, if I flip that over, look on the back here. You've got some ideas on how to cut these if you wanted to cut them up and didn't want to just use them. So can you see that? They're saying how to cut them diagonally, how to make four, four inch circles out of each piece or you can do strips or you can do like a nine patch. Some really great ideas how to cut up, how to slice a layer cake they've said. Ah, okay, so uh, we have to quickly warn you, both of these we've only got one left in stock. If you want to grab it, grab it now. $44.99 is an amazing price. You're going to get so much out of this. Lots of lovely ways of putting it together as well. I think it's going to be absolutely glorious. So colourful, so beautiful. So do grab that now if you want that one. So the next big bundle we have... That's the Fat Quarters. This, dun, 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 dun. seven and a half metres of fabric. So now this is the cider range. This is £104.86, but you are getting half a metre free and it is seven and a half metres in total. So you're paying for seven, in other words. You can do it on two split payments of £52.43p. 
but you have this whole lovely range of colours going through. Beautiful colours. And you can see that the way we've got them all mixed up here. So the colours just all go together. They really do all go together beautifully. I'll just pick one or two out. Look at this one. So this is beautiful. We do not have these by the half meter today. It is just as the bundle. All of them are half meters, remember. So I'll open that up so you can see the half meter size there. That's the half meter. So it's a lovely big piece. Lots you can do with that. You can make so much, so many different things. You can use them for quilting because they go so well together. But half a metre here, I mean, it, it would make, that would make a lovely big cushion cover. It, you could, if you mix it up with some of the others, you can make some really lovely. Can you imagine a, just a simple nine patch picking? So you pick three of these colours and do a nine patch there. And it's very, very simple. Simple design to make, but wouldn't it be lovely with these gorgeous fabrics, mixing them all up? You put that one together and maybe bring that one together. You don't have to use them all together in one thing. You could just pull them out and use different ones together. So There's one big bundle that you can put together any way you like. Now, we also have, so this is the half metre bundle. So this is our mega bundle, half metre, seven and a half metres of fabric altogether, of £104.86 and two split payments if you prefer. Remembering you get the bundle after your first payment. We do have exactly the same, but in fat quarters. So you're getting 13 fat quarters. So most of them are the same print as the big one we've just seen. So again, we've got that and that one that I pulled out just now, and that one. So that is the same, but, but this time as fat, quart fat quarters. So just to remind us what a fat quarter size is like, let's go for this one here. This is a pretty, so again, nice little design, really good for patchwork and quilting. So there's our fat quarter. So the fat quarter bundle is 49.99, and you get 13. 13 fat quarters, so 12 fat quarters, four metres, isn't it? So it's 4.25 metres, or four and a quarter metres, four and a quarter, mixing up the measurements. Now we do have, so these prints, you, I mean, I just love the fact that you've got these options, so you can go for this option. I love the, I love the half metre one, I think you can get so much done with half metres, but of course we do know there are lots of books telling you what you can do with fat quarters, so this is a really another good option. But we do also have the design roll. So this is, we can call this a jelly roll because it's moda, and this is 30 what did you say it was? 39.99. Now this again, this is quite a good idea to mix these up because you're getting 40 pieces, so you're getting all of these beautiful colours again. And there'd be a few prints that we haven't seen in the half meters because obviously you've got more, because you've got 40 pieces here. So you've got some sort of planes. This is sort of like it is very grunge, isn't it? It's lovely that. So you've got a few extras in here. So again, you know, buying this and the half, half metre bundle, you've got so much just to make a huge, beautiful quilt and you haven't got to cut the strips for your binding, for your sashing, because you've already got them. So I love that idea. Anything to reduce the time of cutting out. So it's 39, I know for some people that's part of the joy cutting out these beautiful things. Oh, so, yes, I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy quilters enjoy all sorts of crazy things. <laughs> I just love the way they go on holiday with empty suitcases so that they can buy beautiful fabrics and bring them back. <laughs> oh, no, definitely, quilters do it for fabric. And I have to admit, if I, when I go on holiday, if I go uh, somewhere and see a fabric shop or a haberdashery shop, I have to go in. Of course, it would be rude not to. You never know what they might have. And sometimes you get some really beautiful, unusual things. So you have to go and try it all out. 
So that was our jelly roll, 39.99. But we also have some more fat quarter bundles. Oh, these are all mowed up. So I've got three. I'm going to have to be aware of the time now. I've got three of these great big bundles here. So this one, Homestead. Does it have any other thing? We only have it in a fat quarters. Each piece is 18 by 22. I'm just trying to see if it says how many there are in there. There's 30. So there's 30, 30 fat quarters in this bundle for 99.99. So this is mode of fabric. So I'll just, I'm just going to sort of fan these out. You can actually, even though it's just under £100, you can get this on split pay, 49.99. So these beautiful fabrics, lots of different prints, lots of different colours. So many different projects. This is buy a fat quarter book and then buy a bundle like this and you can make virtually every single thing in the book because there's so many different prints. Look at this. Nice little watering can. Why not make something for the garden, like a garden kneeler? Get some Odi coat and you can make yourself a really lovely garden kneeler. And then you've got other colours in that colour range that you could then look. You've got We've got some fruits and aubergines and things here. So again, you could make something for the garden. It might be table mats, something like that, or a chef's apron. You can do all sorts of wonderful things with these different types of fabric. So you've got the same print in different colours. I just love these. So this is one of our beautiful Moda fat quarter bundles with 30 fat quarters. What does that work out at per fat quarter then? Divide that by three, I guess, don't you? So nine, is that right? Nine ninety-nine each? <coughs> three pound thirty-three a fat quarter. So when you sort of look at the price and you think ninety-nine ninety-nine, that sounds a lot, but it's not when you think of it as three pound ninety-nine a fat quarter. Three pound ninety-nine a fat quarter is a say, say four pounds that's eight pound for a half meter 16 pound for a meter 16 pound for a meter for motor quality beautiful print on fabulous cotton is a good price especially at the moment the way things are going so it's good to grab them whilst you can and you can never have too much fabric there'll always be something to make there'll always be a reason to have that that's one of our lovely bundles now we do only have that one in fat quarters. So our next one here, oh, this looks like it's done by a duo of people. This is, this is, oh, these are, these are fat quarters and it's Baloo by Sherry and Chelsea. That's our two designers this time, Sherry and Chelsea. So again, there's 30 fat quarters in this lovely bundle. And again, if I just tip that, they've been beautifully coordinated into these lovely colourways. Look at these. Look at this. So you've got the purple, but look at that. It's so beautiful. It, this, is, this does make brown a really attractive option. I love it with the purple coming out of it. And then you've got the purples, all the different little prints. You've got lots of little prints, great for patchwork and quilting. Great for small projects. So it works out at £3.33 per fat quarter. £3.33 per fat quarter. So really good price. So then we, I love the way they're colour coordinated here, going through the colours. And you've still got, you've still got the same colour palette is going through all of them. So even though you're, you've gone from sort of dark browns to purples to blues, you have still got those colour tones coming through. If I take that one and bring it to there, you can see how they still go together. So I'll put them back in that beautiful... No, they won't be because I'm now going to put them back in order. You know how OCD I am about these things. <laughs> so they've got to go back. So then we have the peachy ones. And then look at this green. Look at that. Beautiful green. And again... If I split the pack, I'm going to go to the purples and put the green next to the purple. 
See how they go well together, all of them. Really lovely. The colours in this are absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. Imagine doing your border in that. That is so beautiful. If you, you can just, because you can cut along those lines and you could make a really beautiful border. It would look like you've done all this beautiful, exquisite hand stitching. Lovely. A little teardrop. And then we have a little self print there, tucked in there, always handy to have. And again, this lovely big print, and it brings out those colours yet again. Flip it over and put that one with that one, and you can see the colours are still coming through on all of the different, even though you've got a white, a creamy background and a brown background, those same colour palette is working through the whole bundle. Absolutely gorgeous, 99.99, which, oh, this is uh, inspired by Balboa Island, which is probably why it's called Balboa. Not that I know where Balboa Island is. Oh, Sul Southern California coastal area. So this is this lovely bundle here. Very, very nice, that is. So I'll just put that back there. I might try and do that up in a minute. Because we have two last ones. This is the last of our fat quarter bundles. This one is called, <laughs> it is, I had to check it myself, Winky Pop. This is Winky Pop. I like that. Now, we do have this in fat quarters and in a design roll. I was saying a design roll, but we can, of course, call it a jelly roll. So this is the fat quarter bundle. So again, it's just, if I just flip it up, you can see this was inspired by a beach in Victoria, Australia. Again, you can see how the colours, I just love the way with Moda fabrics, you can have such a, a completely different array of colours and yet they all go together. Really, really beautiful. So that is the Fat Quarter bundle. But we also have it as a designer roll. So that's the Fat Quarter bundle and this is the designer roll. So this is exactly the same. All those beautiful fabrics all the way through. But this is $39.99 for 40 strips, two and a half inch wide each. So really beautiful fat quarters and really beautiful designer roll or jelly roll. You have to decide which one you're going to use most. Or, as I say, if you're actually thinking about what you can do with those, I, I, you know, I know I'm spending your money for you, but I would think about both because there's so many things that you can do with a jelly roll. Already pre-cut strips, which you can cut into triangles, you can cut into small squares, you can cut into smaller strips, or you can just put them together as strips and create something really magical. And then you can add these as well. So you can do bigger pieces with these and mix and match those prints. But before we go, I do want to remind you about this white designer roll because we've just been looking at all these really colourful prints. But this white designer roll here is just a mix of whites. So it's lots of little, there are lots of them, very hard to see because of the lights in the studio. But what you have here is like a little tiny print, all over print, white on white, cream on white, white on cream. These are really, really useful to have for the sashing. When you have a beautiful printed fabric, a bright printed fabric, a dark fabric, sometimes you want to break up the panels that you've created by the sashing, the strips that go between. And it's nice then if you have strips that have got a little bit of interest in them, but aren't, aren't going to compete with the patchwork panel next to it. And this is what these will do. Already cut for you, ready. So you haven't got to cut the strips, they're already cut. Absolutely beautiful colours. Um, just creams and whites with cream or white little prints on them, all over little prints. So very easy to use. There's no right way up or down. It's even like a stripe look. And $29.99 for this. $29.99 for all this, which is 40 of these strips. I'm running out of room to flip them over. So many of them here. All of them with this lovely little print on them. Absolutely gorgeous. So 
even even on their own i'm thinking i'm sort of saying about using them for sash in between colors but even as a jelly roll quilt on its own i can't call this one a jelly roll can i so this one is a designer roll even as a designer roll quilt on its own this would look absolutely stunning even the front of a cushion oh yes there's, there's um there's a design behind me actually that dawn has done um, i think she said this is called a like a french pleat and you can actually do something like that can you see that one just the strips look you can do that with something like these as well. It's a stitch and flip technique. And she will tell us more. Now we are coming back with those designs with Dawn after the break. I'm just trying to knock things back up together again. So I will see you in just a few minutes with Dawn with her wonderful nursery make. Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, my name's Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her. Um, she was a dressmaker. And I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself. And from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. It's only fabric at the end of the day. And if things do go wrong, then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012, I was a VIP driver with the Olympics and I met some really interesting people who were very nice. And I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again.
welcome back. Here I am again with my red and blue and white. Oh, white, white light. So red, blue and white. So <laughs> we're ready. We're ready. But what I've got now, I've got a lovely Dawn Taylor with me and she's going to do this amazing. This is a beautiful make. It makes you all, all broody when you look at it. We've got it hung up there as a quilt, but the idea of this is a play mat and it starts life as a panel. Now, you can either get the panel on its own or we have got some complementary strips and hexes and five inch charms all on panels. So we're going to start with the bundle because we have only got a limited number of these bundles. So we're going to start with the bundle. So that if you're interested in it as a bundle, you can get it. So number one on the bundle. This is the panel. This is huge. So I can I can really I'll, I'll try and open it all up, but then I'll show it to you in bits because it is huge. People have bought more. Look at that. Can you see? Can you see the bottom? <laughs> Tippy toes. <laughs> so that is the bundle. It's got all of these lovely nursery rhymes. And of course, I came in this morning. I'm looking at this thinking, hey, diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Where's the little dog laughed? So they've got these different panels. And then, oh, here he is down here. The little dog laughed and the dish ran away with the spoon. Aren't they absolutely glorious? And a beautiful thing with this, so this is me, lazy, lazy quilter. You don't have to do much with this. You could just sew this together as a panel. Um, you haven't got to cut it up, but you could. So you could cut it up and you can make cushion covers with it. You can make little bags with it. So you can do all of that. That's the panel. That's number one panel. Also in this bundle, we have another huge panel. And this is, I'm going to only open this halfway and then flip it over. So this one is fabric strip. So you've got some planes, but they're not plain plain. They're self patterns. And then we have some topiary, some stars, some flowers. And then we have all of the little, the little nursery rhyme pieces. Birds, um, what's this? Birds in a pie, blackbirds in a pie, isn't it? This yes. one, yes. Sing a, Sing a song of sixpence. That's right. Humpty Dumpty, tick. What the, the mouse on up the clock? Oh, I love these. There's only three of these bundles left. And I haven't even got to the other two panels. So see, this is the panel. And again, if I flip it over, that's the. It's not the other side. That's the other half of it. So you could use this on the back of your quilt, or you've got so many other things. Oh, look at this cushion that Dawn has done. That is fabulous. That's, uh, so it doesn't matter. So this is her pocket cushion, which is gorgeous. Now we also have, so this is this bundle that you've only got three left of. So we always have this as the five inch squares. So again, huge piece here. Look at Humpty Dumpty. And then we go over. And I love, what I really like about this is if you're making for a new baby that you don't know the sex of the baby yet, it doesn't matter. This would work for any child. Really lovely. Hickory Dickory Dock. So I'm beginning to remember my nursery rhymes. And also in this bundle, we have hexagons. You said you haven't used this one yet, have you? No, I've got ideas for it, but no, Good. I haven't, haven't used it yet. She's going to come Beautiful. up with some ideas for this. Look at that. These all match. And if you get this whole bundle, you're saving 29. Oh, OK, I won't bother then. <laughs> 29.97 when it's sold out. <laughs> but you can buy them all individually. So we've sold out with a big bundle, but we have got them individually. So you would, wouldn't you? She wants to start with the panel first because it's at the bottom of my pile. I haven't even tried to put these back together again. Look, look at me flipping them over like this. So this has been selling really, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. 19.99 for this panel. Do we know what the size is? 70 by 110. That's in um, centimetres, 70 by 110. Again, it's printed specifically for us. It's exclusive to us. And you can't get it anywhere else at all. And it's just 19.99. And because of the beautiful print on here, and look at this, because I, I, I did say to Dawn, oh, have you patched those little tiny diamonds? No, they're already on it. 
it just looks great and you could if you wanted to you could when you put wadding or fleece behind it you could stitch around that to give it a little bit of definition you could stitch around Humpty Dumpty. You're going to show us some free motion stitching, oh, aren't you, Dawn? I am, yes. The owl and the pussycat went to sea. Incy wincy spider climbed up the spout. It's bringing it all back. It's amazing what's still in there. It's a long time. I've got a 27 and a 22 year old. I haven't been saying these for a very long time. That's that panel. And then we have the fabric strips. I'm going to try and neatly, neatly fold these when you're doing your <laughs> demo because it just it worries me to leave them like this. <laughs> this is the fabric strips. So we're starting with sort of some simple strips here. You could really create a scene with these, mm. couldn't you? And then you've got the topiary, got the skies, got some clouds. And then you've got all these lovely little motifs. This is good when you, we were saying, when you want to get a child to like recognise things, you know, can you find the they, that They call bird? it I spy. I spy. I spy quilts and pillows. Yeah. Really lovely. Even if you're, even if you're using it as, I, but I like the way these two have blended. It blends through, yes. So that's nice too. So some of them are just simple strips, but some of them, like the little clock, they overlap. So that's really lovely. So of course you can subcut them, but you don't have to either. Again, the strips look good together. Then we have the squares, the five inch square pieces. Now you've created a little book, haven't I you? I have, yes, I did a little book with so them. So you've done a little book, so you can, again, you can go through that, you can do the nursery, by bedtime, you can go through the nursery rhymes, you can put a squeaker in, you, you can, can make you can touch squeakers and feel or you things, can use can't the, you? You can have the, the paper, the crinkly paper. My yes. granddaughter loves the crinkly books that make lots of noise. They yes. like noise when they're They young. like noise, don't they? Yes. And, and to feel fleece and things as well, mm, to have fur. Definitely. So that's really lovely. This is fourteen ninety nine. And then finally, we have the hexagons. So hexagons, these are great. So you haven't got to carefully cut out hexagons using a template. You can just cut them out from this very, very quick and easy. Or you can... <laughs> okay, Kat, sing a bit more. <laughs> we only have a single one. She's on singing Mike, Michael Finnegan. Oh, and do you remember that? Yeah, one? the hairs on his and chin his going in. I work yes. in a nursery, so I'm. You I'm know a, all of these. I've got a, an advantage on you all. <laughs> <laughs> so again, really lovely little designs here. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yes, do let us know which is your favourite nursery rhyme. I promise I won't try and sing it to you. <laughs> I might get Dawn to. She's used to doing it <laughs> every day. <laughs> but we also have some fleece. Now these are by the oh. This is, oh, it is so soft. Oh, it's so gorgeous. We're, this is what we're using to back the playmat. This is by the half metre, so it's three ninety nine by the half metre. So for this, how many? How much would so you I've need? So I've just measured it. So it is just over a metre across, and then it's a hundred and thirty centimetres lengthways. Is the piece that I've is the right. finished bit. But to do, if you wanted the border that like I'm going to do it, you'd probably want it at 160. So I would say two metres. Get two metres, yeah. At 3.99 for half a metre. I can open it up and get covered. <laughs> <laughs> That's the width of it. Yes. That, that's the width. So it must, that must be at least 150 wide, Yes, which is the... Is which the you've used as the length. Yes. Okay. I'll double double check it. But okay. Yes, double, it's. But yeah, it's I just measured it when you asked how long. There's just double because people can then buy it. Yes, that's to what suit I was their... thinking. And we're doing it in <laughs> centimeters, aren't we? I know Adele had this yesterday. My husband works in centimeters. So I, I know. I, work I know. In inches and centimeters, and I. I it depends get very what I'm confused. doing. Um, as I say, I do body measurements in inches because I think it sounds much more friendly. So 150. So yes, 150, so 150 is what wide. I place this on, and then you would need. So, so that's the length, and then it is a hundred and fifteen. You would need. So you'd um, need at least a meter and a half. Yes. Yeah. So but a meter and a half. So two, three units. I've got ideas for the but rest. But if you of buy two, two um, yeah, Dawn's going to give you some ideas it. with You're what you can do with the rest definitely. of it. 
So pop four units into your basket if you want this colour backing. Um, we do have pink as well. Oh, they're so soft. They this is I couldn't decide which side to do fleece. it. Oh, we made Delphine's elephants out of these. Oh. So yes, you've got, it's, it's sort of, it is double-sided. So you've got a sort of more plush side and then you've got the furry side. So it doesn't matter which you use at all. You just want to make sure you decide and that's the one you use. I think I like this side. Yes. I was just thinking I think texture I like for children. Yes. So that's where my ideas, some other ideas are. Yes, so it's all, so that's, that's a really lovely one. So if you, you know, you can just buy the half, half metre piece, but we're just telling you what to, what you need if you wanted to do this lovely um, play mat as it is. So the yellow matches the border of the panel, but having a contrast is really nice. Or you can go for white. Now you might not, you know, thinking about some other projects, the white is beautiful, mm, isn't it? It is. As you say, you could make a, you can make a soft toy out of this. Imagine, mm. beautiful. So this is half a meter. So this is only half of the size of it. It is washable, which you do need to know when you're thinking about making for children. So this is washable. It's so soft. I can't tell you just how soft this is. Yes, if you've got it at home and you've made something with it, do let us know. And then we have it in this lovely sort of silver. Is this the colour that was the elephant was made in? I think it was darker, the elephant. Oh, was yes, it? I think so. So you can see how you have that the sort of teddy bear side. And then you have the more plush side. You can see it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is in the silver for 3 99 for half a metre. Before we start the demo, um, thinking of other nursery projects, we do have the sheeting, the sort of PVC sheeting, three nine, uh, 3.49 for half a metre. This is cut off the bolt for you, and again, this is very wide. Um, so it is PVC. So it's great for play mats, it's great for messy play. You could make little aprons out of it if you're going to do painting at home. Um, and of course you can also put it underneath your bed sheets when you're training at night to keep the mattress okay. Best way to train them is go for it. <laughs> I can say that because it's a long time since I've had to. <laughs> and of course we do have the OD coat um, which we've got there just in case you wanted to waterproof any of these things that you're doing. Um, and we've got wadding, so do have a look on the website. But we really do need to get into this lovely demo that Dawn's itching to start. I am, I am. Now I want, to, I want you to just say, tell me what you said earlier about the reason for putting the fleece on the back. Well, because if a child, I mean, this is, um, the idea was a play mat, so this goes on the floor. So you want some sort of something softer for them to lie on. But if they fall asleep, and they fall asleep anywhere, my, my son Jake used to fall asleep anywhere, literally. And then you can just wrap them up in it, and it's just cuddly and warm. So, yeah. It's so, lovely, yeah, it isn't is, it? It's so, so soft. So look, it's horrible to sew. <laughs> we are covered. <laughs> um, you yeah. just need a lint roller. Yes. You need a lint roller. <laughs> but please, please, if you've sewn with fleece, clean your bobbin yes. race out afterwards, please. Yes. Yes. Because if you don't, you'll have so much fluff and duff in, dust in there and your machine will stop working properly. Yes, definitely. You do need to because it does make such a difference. Yes. So I wanted to show you how to do this quilt, but to show you the other things that I made, is that okay? So please. The, this is made from the squares that you have. So what I tried to do is I tried to do the song, as you say, <laughs> like I say, I work in a nursery, so I'm, I, I'm obviously, I can, I can sing any song you want to, but I tried to do it in order and then put something different on the other side because what you do is this piece, so I've got the, this is the cow, but the corresponding page is obviously on the other side so that the other side, when you've got the squares, you've got the cow on that side, but then you've got the spider on that side. So you need to think about, if you wanted to do it as the song, you need to think about that. Yes. And what I've done, so I, this has got that wadding in it. Okay. And you can see how thin it is. So what I did is I put two pieces together and then I ironed it. Do not touch 
it with your iron, but I ironed it flat and the wadding just squashes down, but it's got enough padding in there for you to, for it to feel gentle. But I mean, these feel amazing anyway. They're so lovely and so yes. soft. And then what I did is I put a bit of um, the toy stuffing that we, I know we've always got it behind some of the other panels to make them stand up. And then, as I said, so that's your hot cross bun. So that's put sort a squeaker of a, behind that. You can put a squeaker behind things like that. Um, and then for this one, I don't know if you can see. I've sort of I've just went round it with a zigzag stitch. So if a child is touching that, because it's all about when they're younger, yes. it's all about what they can feel. Um, and then I just use so this is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So that's from the the other piece. And then I just added a, a ribbon to it. So. You can make so many things with this. Yes, you can. I love that idea. And then this is, as book. we said, this was the French, I think it's called the French plait. Um, and it is just, so you use your um, quilt as you go. So you iron the piece on, then flap it over, iron the next piece and flap it over. But hopefully we can do some sort of, do this again. But it's perfect for that. The strips were perfect. And then I just lined it um, at the back. This is one, I think it's the Debbie Shaw book. Oh, right, has, it, yes. I didn't actually use her pattern, I just made a really big sort of bucket bag, but she has got a pattern that I know Barbara McClay did for, for, the, for that sort of thing. Yes. And then this is an I Spy cushion. It's so baby book, we think. So, it yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. So basically, you have your cushion, you can store your books in here, which is similar to the, the idea of our cushions later on, but then you've got I Spy on the front. So you can ask the children to find, so we do a song, we do about three or four songs in the morning at nursery, and then I would use this and I would get them to choose because you, you, as you said, you forget, but you've got all of the prompts on here and there's so many, so many different songs on there. My favorite actually is Humpty Dumpty. Oh yes. I think he's beautiful. And then you just store your, store your book in there. So I just endless. And with the... It's with 19 the, for the fabric strips one. With the hexagons, I mean, it, you don't have to be a quilter to use it. You no. just put your wadding behind it and then you've got your diamonds and then you've got your hexagons and that's all you would need to do. But you could then do this again. You could do a cushion, yes. you could do a song bag, you could store their toys in it. You could even do a quilt panel and do four different... So you could do the hexagons and then do the stripes and then do the hexagons. So. Endless. I mean, that's why it's sold out. Yes. I th so I many think it things. Is. I mean, so many things to make. So many things to make and such beautiful prints on them. They are. And, they, and it's actually so, it was lovely to work with because it's so, the, the, it actually feels nice when you're, when you're working yes. with it. Yes, it, it's quite a thick cotton, it isn't is. it? Yeah, it it's is. It's almost canvas. So the very first page doesn't have any, any wadding in it and that just feels nice enough. It did remind me of the cloth books. And if you wanted to make the cloth book, you could use your pinking shears. You wouldn't have to sew it all the way around like I did. You could just use your you pinking could, shears. Actually. Couldn't you and then I remember they did used to have them like that. Just, they did, yes. Just back when I was little, a long time ago. <laughs> How so, old is your Jake? So my, artist, my daughter is 26. He's 24. Five, then Danny is 23 and then Benjamin is 16. I have Lovely to go in order. Punishment. I can't just start. I have to go in order. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so what I've done, and as I said, I wasn't sure which side to, to use because they're both lovely. But I think when fleece gets older and if you wanted to wash this, as you said, it's washable, this possibly wouldn't age as well so maybe that side is yes I think is the, the plush side, side might be the best I just the kept touching thinking mm, I just didn't know, <laughs> know didn't know so what I did is I laid this on top of so I, I cut out first because you've got a board around the outside yes cut it carefully look how big that white piece is yeah to keep for anything you can the, use the border so I've got the strips ready and you could use that for then you could use that for the bag so this is actually these bits are made the, from these. Are from there, yeah. From ah, the outside. Yes, good idea. Because you've then got more fabric to then to play with. I like the fact as well on this border here, you've got sort of like a seam allowance, haven't you? Yes. Already printed on it. So you can so then, because the I've used allowance. that, I, I did use that when I, so, when I made this one. So this one doesn't have the backing on it, it is just wadding. So I actually um, folded that bit back and then sort of did the quilting across. Yeah, so you, I think you can choose which way you want to do it. 
completely. I, I, I often do quilt, uh, lap said, quilts yes. and things. I do it with fleece on the back because I like them. They're like blankies, you know, when you're sitting mm. watching the TV. And it's lovely to have a beautiful quilt, but it's nice to have the fleece have backing, which soft. is what goes Definitely. over you. It's Definitely. the fleece that you're snuggling into. Because that's, that's, that's the bit that's on your skin, isn't yes. it? If you're, yeah. if you're and I do what you're going around. to do. I and make then, it bigger and turn and it And then over. turn it in. Yes. So, so what I did, so I laid this on the top and I've got, let's bring it in. So this is three inches here, okay? And I used my, so I've got the smaller version, the thinner version. Yes. So basically I just laid my ruler down and then I just moved my quilt piece over, this piece over, and then I was able to cut. So I laid it into the corner and then I was able to cut the rest and then I had, because I had two meters of it and I then had the other, which you can then use the extra bits to put in your book or to use your cushion back or anything. Yes. So buy your two meters and then you can still use yes. the rest. Yes, yeah, exactly. It's such a lovely thing. So what I did is I laid it on the top and then I used, I didn't have any pins left to um, do the demo in the, in the green room because all my pins are in here. You have to pin. When yes. you're using fleece. Now you don't use um, like 505 or anything. I have. I haven't done. Um, see, I haven't used it on fleece. So I would be interested to see whether you could. Yes, I don't know. I don't know. We need to ask a, to, a so quilter because I'm, I'm a I'm a I'm a beginner quilter. So you're, yeah, you're know. same here. Well, I, um, I was calling it quilting, and it was not. It was piecing. So I was <laughs> even getting all my terminology <laughs> around the wrong way. Um, if anybody out there knows, have you used 505 on fleece, and would it work? If you do know, please let us know. I've not done that, and nor's Dawn. No. Um, and of course, it's a nice quick fix for rather than pinning everything, you can anchor your layers together with 505 if you can use it on fleece yes. and that we are yet but it's, to it, know. Yes, I don't know. Because it's, it's, that's the one that sticks and then it's, it's not it's permanent, a it's, it's a, a temporary, temporary one. But the idea is that you're sort of sticking layers together until you've done your free motion or your yeah, quilting so or whatever. I, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what Yeah, what so if anybody could. can come back on that, please. Because, I mean, I did, I needed a plaster earlier because I did what many, <laughs> many people do is you then get stuck with your pins. So I did, I used as many pins as I could going around and then I, I actually cut it with scissors on the floor because the floor was the only the biggest, um, the biggest thing to, the, to cut it on and then I vacuumed <laughs> straight away because <laughs> it did go everywhere. But it is such a lovely thing to work with. So what I wanted to show you, same with the book, is I put wadding... So this has got our wadding behind just this piece because I think for a playmat the interest is in the different textures when they're crawling around and they do tummy time. So you might not want to put it behind every piece because then they've got the different mm. textures and it's then got the movement in it. So I have actually put a piece of wadding just behind here but when you sew this down the same as I did on that one you will get the quilted effect because of the fleece which is why you use Yes. You use fleece, don't you? So I've got my free motion foot set up. I have got a yellow thread in here, so you could do the black, but I think the yellow might be a nice contrast, almost like a shimmering of his spider's web. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to free motion around him and then sort of go all the way around and just see what the see what effect it is. And then if you choose a different one, so there was a little boy earlier um, on the comments, he was called Jake as well. And he said that he loved the rainbow. So if you use different colours, let me bring that in. If you use different colours on the rainbow, so you could use red, obviously, around the outside and then the orange and then the yellow, and just take ages and make them pop. Yes. Because that's what the little ones will will be able to and see. I and it also gives it something to touch. Again, you could put squeakers behind and things like that, couldn't you? Definitely. And mirrors you can buy. You can yes, buy a fabric little... mirror that you can that you can get. If I had, I mean, you know, if I was able to, I would just, I would just go to town. I would spend hours and hours because as you said, it takes, you find out baby's coming, you've got all this time. Yes. It is, it doesn't matter because it's not pink and it's not blue. You could spend that whole nine months just making this amazing. Making it amazing. The other thing, and I know if you bought two, I know on the play mats that we had, if I bring Humpty in, we had, um, there was a, um, a duck. I've still got the play mat from when I was young. We had a duck and then it had all the little um, ducks behind it. So if you buy two, you could sew him around as a, as a, as a toy and then attach him with some, some ribbon and then he's, you know, he you've got two. Down. He can fall off and then you can actually just tell other stories with it. 
So, I so, so many song. ideas, but should we sew? Ten little ducks <laughs> went swimming one day. Over the pond and far away. Oh, it's no, it's actually bit. over the hills. But how, how do they go exactly, swimming over the hills? Exactly. We have these conversations. <laughs> See, now you're in my world. That's what we do. I remember taking my Jake swimming when he was about four or five months old and doing that song in the pool with his little ducks. He won't remember, obviously. <laughs> Who are we doing oh, it for? <laughs> my children are always, I'm saying, oh, do you remember such? And they go, no, Mum, I, I don't. don't. Why and don't I've we got keep all those them in a memories. box? <laughs> we should just keep them in a box until they're about 10. Yes. And then get them out. Yes, because they change and then they're different <laughs> people. That's lovely, you've got a Jake too. So <laughs> I've got my free motion foot on. Okay, I'm using my foot pedal and I'm just going to put it down where the spider is and I'm just going to do a couple of goes around him. I'm not going to do his legs. I mean, I would do it if I was doing it at home and, and then I'm going to go off and just do his web and what it will do, it will, it will suck that all in and if you use the right colour on the back, by the time the fleece has, has rubbed and moved, then it will, it will blend in. It won't, you know, it won't sort of, um, what am I thinking of? It won't, you won't see it. Yes, no. Because it, the, the stitches of. will just lose themselves they will, into the pile. They will, because yeah. that's what I did on the quilting, because once this starts to rough up, you then won't see it. But I will show you how to do the corners. Um, Wendy might do her corners differently. No, so it'd be interesting to see how you do them. There's so many different ways of doing things. Now, what I did forget was my gloves. You know, yes. the quilting... Oh. The, we sometimes have. They do. They we do, do have a um, pair handy, but I don't know if they're any here handy. They d I do always use them, and okay. then I just forgot. Yeah, so quilting gloves are really handy because they have the grips on the bottom on the finger pads, and actually on both sides, so you can they wear do. One and when, when you're doing something as big as this, you can find that your fingers do. They don't get sore, but they do, it, it does mm. make a difference. Definitely. So I'm just going to start and just go all the way round. I did remember to put my feed dogs down. It definitely doesn't um, flow as well without your gloves on. No, so it's not so easy to guide no, the fabric, is it? And of course, not. remember, you've got fleece underneath as well. That's the other thing. If you think that, you're, um, that it isn't flowing as well, your machine, it is because you've got lots of those layers. Uh, and also when you're, you've got the wadding under there as well, it does make a difference. Definitely does make a difference. <gasps> Thank you. Look at that. See, I've had to tidy up my sewing room and I've lost so many things because <laughs> I've put them away now. Put, put them away nice and neatly. Yes, lovely. this does make... Now, I'm, those that, that follow me, they know that I, um, I use my start-stop button, but I've just found my pedal and I'm, and I'm slowly learning to use it again, so I am a bit of a newbie on using the pedal. I'm the other way round. I prefer a pedal. I, I lost it in a house move and then just didn't didn't know where it was so I then had to to get used to using the um, the start stop button and I sew standing up as well I've got a, a, my husband built me a table so I sew standing up as well so it has made me work out because I used to just use my thumb whereas now I have to stand and use my leg <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to go down to the end and then I'm going to do the the sort of the curves of his web And you um, don't have to free motion if you don't no, want you to. No, could, you, you could do some straight stitches. You and if you go slowly and then you keep turning, because there are lots of squares on yes. here and circles. Yeah, I mean, you could, if you wanted to, you could just straight stitch around the outside of each panel. So if you're really not into free motion, you don't have to do it. But the other thing is, I notice what you're doing there, Dawn, is you're not, you know, you're not being totally particular. It's not happened to be exactly no. exact. And the idea of going like sp around the spider two or three times, it's kind of, it's called like the naïve style, N A I. Yes. F, but I think that's the French version of naive. naive. So it's just supposed to be a little bit rough and ready. I was watching a video the other day and the, the lady that was making the, the item for the children, she said that children are the best people to sew for because they just appreciate what you do. Yes. So they're just going to love this for years and years and years yes. to come and they're not going to mind if you're... And free motion is great because you, you can hide lots of mistakes. Yes. <laughs> Once you get going with free motion, now the other thing I would always recommend is to set set your stitch length to zero or yes. as close as you can to zero. Some I do that with the start stop button. When I'm using the start stop button as well, I do use the, the zero zero. Yeah, I mean some machines, once you say it's free motion because they're clever, they'll do that on their own, but some don't. It just prevents you getting loopy threads underneath. And as you say, you can just get lost in it. 
you know, I'm, I'm in the sewing room and my husband's fallen asleep. We did have this conversation, I don't know if it was with Rebecca, I can't remember, about people sewing at 11 o'clock at night. And it's because you start doing this, I mean, this is a, this is a huge panel. You would just start and you just wouldn't know when to stop. You would just keep going. I know. It's I, just addictive. That's what I would say. If you, once you get going on it, it's like, don't stand too close to me when I'm sewing. You might get free motion. <laughs> um, oh, I free motion everything. So a couple of messages for you. I'm afraid we've only got the pink and the white fleece left. Uh, the yellow and the grey has sold out. So if you want either the pink or the white, that's what we have now got left. Um, and Dee has very kindly um, messaged in to say she has used 505 on fleece for a pram quilt or something, no problem whatsoever. So that is a really good way of uh, just temporarily putting your layers together before you do your quilting or free motion. Thank you for that. So hopefully there you can see. So you can see we've got some definition around. So this is a bit that I haven't done and you can just see that that's popping out you can see that it's now got little pockets of. Don't then iron it. Iron it before, because if you iron it, as I showed you with the book, the wadding then, do, you know, the, the, the wadding will go flat. Yes, um, you could use a higher loft wadding as well if you yes, wanted to. Yes. To make that more puffy. Definitely, definitely. But now that's got texture on it. So when a child is doing their, they call it tummy time, they change everything. Yes. From when I had my children to now I've got a granddaughter, the, the wording and stuff, so it's called tummy time. So that she, that she would find that interesting. And again, if you did then buy another sheet or you could take Incy from one of the others because he is on some of the others and make a little one, they could then have a little Incy Wincy to, to play with as well. Well, you're trying to be a bit careful if it's hours. too small because you don't want to put it in their mouth. Well, if, you've, if you're using the ribbon, then you, you, you would need attached. to make sure that it's attached. My granddaughter loves the taggies, so the little ribbons and stuff. She's obsessed, so I, I literally just sewed a load of tags because she yes. likes the labels on things. Yes. So having some <laughs> ribbon on there would be, we, would be lovely. When Jakey was... Uh, uh, I hope we call out watching. Jakey too. <laughs> when, uh, I should say Jake. When Jake was a baby, he used to love the labels on toys. And my mum, bless her, she bought him... I can't even remember what it was now, but she bought him... I think it was like a, a duck or something. It wasn't the toy. It was the fact it had a long label. And he, I used to have to dangle it. I mean, talk about indulgence. I used to have to dangle the label in his mouth to get him to go to sleep because he used to like it on his lips. He, he, he wouldn't have a dummy. Is he your eldest? Yes. This is yeah, what my yeah, daughter exactly. was saying. She sent a meme <laughs> yesterday and she said that from the difference from the first to the second, and then by the time I've got Benjamin the fourth, he's dead feral. Yeah. But the first one, you just think you're doing everything just as you, <laughs> just as you should. Jake walked early, he spoke early, he did everything. And, and you know, you haven't got to one, but Jake is my second, so I didn't have, you didn't have the time because I was yes, still looking exactly. after, and she knows, she knows, she laughs, she laughs about it, but yes, you do, uh, you do indulge the first. Oh, my, my second, Charlie, my dear, he has, has, his personality is that way anyway, but he didn't start walking till, till he was about 20 months, he didn't bother. And then when he did, he just did and didn't start speaking either until he was about 20 months. And we went on holiday and I mean, he did the odd word, you know, mum, dad and that sort of thing. But we went on holiday to Holland and he kind of looked at us and said, right, now I've got your attention. And he just started <laughs> speaking. <laughs> he, just, he was like, not big sentences, but you know what I mean? Like didn't Charlie wants anything. breakfast and that sort of thing, rather than just mum, dad, yes. cat. He suddenly started speaking. So just goes to show. See, and, then we just, and then we just embarrass them on national TV, yeah, don't we? That's our job. <laughs> that's our job. So when you've got your three, so this was three inches is what we did around the outside. So take one of your um, rulers with the, with the grids on and what you need to do, and it's perfect because you've got this corner here, is you want to measure up because you're going to take this bit off. I don't know if that's how you do yours. I do. Okay. But not with a ruler, so I'm really impressed with that. Okay. I do it by eye. So... I did it by eye in there, and the bottom corner isn't perfect, so I'm doing it with the ruler. Okay. <laughs> I was going around, where's the rulers? And I thought, they're on, they're on, they're on the set. So what you need to do is, is also make sure that you've got a quarter of an inch from your point, okay? And then we're going to literally just cut that bit off. So when, make sure I've got the right side. When you're using your, I try not to use my rotary cutter when I'm using my cutting mat because it does get s stuck in. Um, so that's why I did use the outside, but because I'm just doing a few corners, yes. it's not going to matter Yeah, what you mean is the, the fleece fibres get stuck in. They do, it the, just yeah. sort of, I mean, I know you can wash them and do all sorts of things to them, but I still haven't done that with mine. So, 
So there feel free go. to use our brand new Bertha Pristine one to do it then. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to put this somewhere because it will. There you go. I'm putting it in my um, in my thread catcher because it just literally. It does. It, it just goes every. Honestly, the green room is covered. Is it? It's actually covered in yellow. Emma's going to be so pleased. <laughs> our, our poor, our lovely um, people. In, we've got two people in the gallery. So we've got Kat and, and um, Emma, who are our director and producer. Well, the other way around, in fact. And they, so they are, you know, prestigious people. They are people in charge. What do they do? They do the hoovering. They, do the they empty the bins. They do everything. Put the dishwasher on. They do everything. They are a marvel, an absolute marvel. So that's what we do at nursery. So we do the children throughout the day, and then at the end, you're then doing all of the cleaning yes. and everything ready for for the next time. Oh yeah, no, we we do all the pack up as well. Yes. And I do I do that as well. See, I'm so I'm going to run up. off, so I'll leave you all to do your <laughs> <laughs> do your packing. But they are incredible. So we've taken these corners off, and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this over, okay, and then you're going to sew that gap up. Now, as I said, I've <laughs> all of my pins are actually in. Um, we should have some, so we should have some pins please. here somewhere. Well, we, we had the, the we've got the longer pins. I think that's on for the next show. But I, the longer pins really do come into their own. Now, what you can do, you can have already. So what I did at the bottom, I did already sew this down. But I'm just going to now, do demonstration you purpose. Length I need to change my foot. Yes, first. you're going to. Are you going to put your walking foot on? Um, no, I don't. I've and um, Kat, it was on. It was on here when I came in, and I've put my screwdriver down I asked Kat for it and now I've put it down somewhere right I'm going to use my ruler to uh, to just undo this so I haven't used a, um, a walking foot before oh okay so you know so just you can you walking can. foot for fleece fabrics is absolutely perfect and ideal and I definitely definitely recommend it if you if there's one foot that you don't have and you're going to buy it's the walking foot you can use it with fleece fabric, any pile of fabrics, with slippery fabrics, with jersey fabrics, and of course with quilting, when you're quilting. Um, it just helps. It has feed dogs on the foot, which work in conjunction with the feed dogs on the machine. So the layers will go through smoothly and I you don't I have need, one I pushing. I think I need a Wendy lesson, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> I'm really passionate about using <laughs> the right feet for the right job. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you've got a walking foot, I would put one on. If a little piece like that, it's not going to matter. But if, when you're going all the way all down. All the way down, yes. then you would. So again, quarter of an inch, which is why you left a quarter of an inch yes. from there, and you're going to use your quarter of an inch. Now this is very, if you haven't used it before, it is very, very slippy fabric. Have you raised your feet, dogs? So, oh, thank you. I, um, I film lives um, with, with my channel, and I ask my, if I'm doing free motion, I say to people, message me, send me a message on Messenger and tell me, once I've finished, to put my feed dogs up because I know the next day I'm going to start sewing and, then, and they're never up. And I do. Sometimes 11 o'clock at night, Sue or somebody will message me and they go, Dawn, did you put your feed dogs up? And I go, no. <laughs> and I go and do it. Same with my when I'm doing buttonholes as well. I'm, I'm into doing a buttonhole and it's amazing and then I forget to put everything back and then you start sewing and you think, the machine's broken. What have I done? <laughs> it's not broken. And it's not broken. It's not broken. Yeah. So I'm just, I'm going to backstitch and then go forwards. See, now this machine is coping really well with the fleece. It's a good But I think machine. that's because it's the machine. Although I didn't, I haven't sewn with my, so I've got a Janome at home, but I haven't sewn with the fleece. Um, I would also probably increase the stitch length to about a three. I'm on a 2.4. I will yeah, go, I'd up go, I would go up a, a bit. three. Every day, is, as you and Nadal were saying yesterday, every day is a school day. I'm happy to be taught by the master. <laughs> Said I was a bit starstruck when I came, and I was. I did a, a live last night before I before I came, and I did say to people, "I'm meeting Wendy Gardner tomorrow." That's very <laughs> sweet of you. And then she came in and saw me sort of grobbling about on the floor, plugging the machine, and <laughs> testing a machine, she's and just, eating a piece of toast. Eating a piece of toast. Yeah, she's just, she's just like normal. me. She's just like me. So there is your corner. Now this is live TV, as we've discussed, and things don't always go to plan. So what's supposed to happen now is you open this up. You flip it round, and then your quilt disappears inside. Yay! <laughs> now, I have never done it like that, and I'm very impressed. Like, that's it, a really clever way of doing it. I don't know if it's it. an American way, but the person that I, copy, that I watched the video of, and this is where I got it from, she's an American, so I don't know. Um, but that's how she attached the fleece to hers, so I thought, wow. And then what you need to then do is fold this bit over it down with my one pin 
<laughs> and then you can then sew, I'll take those ones out, I'll pin that side first. So you only need another, you know, quarter of an inch just to make sure you've got it tucked under enough and then just pull that over. So you're covering the border that so was So I am there. actually covering up the border that is there, um, but you could incorporate the border if you wanted to. If you wanted to make it a little bit wider. even bigger, yes. definitely. I don't know what size... You just cut your fleece a little bit wider, yes, wouldn't you? Yes, but the two meet... We said there was extra... Yes, because I cut all the way round and there was enough all the way round, so there would yes. be if you bought the two metres. And then you just fold this side down as well, but that is a perfect corner isn't it it's a perfect mitered corner yeah we won't look at the one i did in the in the green room <laughs> it's, <laughs> de it's not a perfect but practice on something else don't just get your beautiful piece home and then do it you know yeah, practice, practice on, on a on bit of the spare else. fabric just to sort of get the technique yes definitely definitely but as i said once you're once you're sewing it i need to steal another pin once you're sewing it it does sort of um, get hidden once this starts to be washed or used or yeah or it, it will hide your stitches and I will go up to I think I'm gonna go up to um do you go up to a top stitch of five I probably wouldn't go five but maybe four four yeah try okay. I mean this is what you're saying try it on a test piece yes see definitely. how it works and you've yeah, got definitely. those little pieces um, yes you'll have a little piece left over um, see there's lots on this machine Wendy gonna be cleaning it before the next <laughs> <show>. <laughs> But that's that is good advice from you to, to clean your machine. Oh, people tend to do it often enough, and I have to say I am as bad. Well, I'm going to go. I, I would I would say to you, oh, I really? clean my machine after every project, and then when I do clean, I think my goodness, <laughs> I haven't cleaned this after every project. So it is a good thing to do. Well, if my husband is watching, um, so he doesn't know anything about sewing machines, but he just is very technically minded, and I'm ashamed to say I hadn't done it in a long time, and I mean years long time and machine machine stopped working and we couldn't figure out what was wrong and I was about to do a live and he took it all apart took everything off got his um sort of vacuum cleaner and blew it and honestly so it was just but it was it was all up here all yeah. the fluff was everywhere else it wasn't just in there it was everywhere and he did save my machine and then we then got it repaired and and you know it now works fine but it was just the fact that it was just too fluffed up too fluffed up yeah. so yes take Wendy's yes. advice and do clean. clean out your bobbin race you do so i'm just going to move so i've got my quarter of inch um, foot here and i'm just going to move the needle over this machine is every time i come here i think right i need to get a new machine New house first was new sewing machine, sewing room, and then a new machine. So I've just moved it over. So I've now got my quarter of an inch. Okay, a needle down. Um, I'm just gonna make sure I don't sew over my pins. But make sure you're holding that fleece down so it is. You have made sure that it is folded over because it's so thick. It's not like a cotton when you've made a hem. You can feel where that 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 um, that hem is. You might not feel yes, it. Yes, true. But as we said, live TV doesn't always work, but that's okay. Well, as you're doing, doing I've got it. a message here from Elizabeth. So firstly, she said, morning, lovely, another very pretty dress. So thank you, Elizabeth, for that. I like the blue one yesterday and looking forward to a good morning on Sewing Street. And then she's also said she's it's a lovely demonstration. Oh, so that's nice, isn't it? Yes. Well, to be honest, I think that these, these, all, these, these have sold themselves haven't they? It's one of those things that you will go online and see and think, I want to buy, I want to buy this. Um, and when it's such a simple make as well, but then you can make many other beautiful things, as I think hopefully I've shown. Um, I am not surprised that they sold out. These, these panels are absolutely superb. Well, I think that this is the same with a lot of our sewing street panels. Um, they just are. They're so beautifully printed, exclusive to us, so you can't get it anywhere else. Well, we were saying, well, because you said, how does the panel come about? You, we have these ideas, and um, I think it's Amy. I apologise if the name is wrong. Um, so I said to Jess about making, when I did the, the pillows a few months ago, I said that you could make a nursery quilt out of all those different pictures that were in the pillows that I made, the book that I, that I used. And she said, oh, we can make a panel of that. And then Jess went off with her ideas and showed her ideas to Amy, and then... Here it is, and it's just beautiful. It is good teamwork, isn't it? It really is. It really is. Sort of do a brainstorming session, and then this is what you 
And that way, so, I mean, you will do that straighter, obviously, because you haven't got the camera angle um, on you. But, as I said, once you, st once you start playing with this, that will um, blend in. But you can see the idea. And then what you do is the same as I did at the one at the back, is you do all of this bit first. Do your squares, making sure, and pin, 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 pin. Or, or spray. Five five, yes. yes, and then it won't move. Because... Quite often, when you do your piecing, you then put your backing on, and you don't cut your backing until you finish this. But I think if you once you've done all of your uh, making sure you've got a bit extra, if you pin it properly, then it shouldn't all it yes, shouldn't exactly. all move. It should stay should stay where it needs to be. So, how much longer have we? We've got another sort of five minutes five or minutes. so. So, if we go back to our um, other panels, so the other things that you can do. So here you've got. And I did this in the book. Let me show you. So I haven't got any wadding behind this one. If I get the book down. So you have got mini versions of everything. So this is from the squares panel. So what I would do now is I would get some texture into here and I would put some toy stuffing underneath and I would sew all the way round, getting to the end, then pushing the stu toy stuffing in as big as you can and then finish off. And all I did with that one was a zigzag stitch. So you can see because it's got the wadding underneath, it just has sort of embossed it a little bit. And then you could do the same with your hot cross buns and your one penny and your new cup of tea. So you could even, so what I would do, I would get some brown ribbon and I would then over sew that. So that would actually be a loop that they could put their finger under. And then that cup of tea would then sort of I would, there's so many, so many different things. You could do some couching too. Oh, what's so couching? You, so couching is when you lay a thicker yarn or ribbon down and then you stitch over it and then you use a triple zigzag stitch so you anchor it as well. Oh, if you use a zigzag, okay. you basically better pull it out again. Right. But you just use um, a triple zigzag. You can get a couching foot, of course you can. Okay. But you can just do it with your usual satin stitch foot. So you could do that with this part of the web. If you've yes. got some, oh, that would be beautiful. If you've got and some you glittery texture. thread. You could do the larger ones. I, I would do the embossing bit first. Yes. Um, over sew that bit first. And then do the, that's a lovely yeah, idea, just Wendy. And down. then put the ribbon over the top. Definitely. So ribbon or crochet yarns. Um, you can even use embroidery threads. You can put so embroidery a couch, threads Is that the same as a cording foot? Yes. Okay. Couching or cording foot is okay. the same thing. I watch a lot of, we need more British demonstrators because a lot of the quilting things I watch, they are Americans yes. and they use different terms and then I get confused. Yes, exactly. Well, so it doesn't help names. that different manufacturers use different terms yes. as well. So and we're jumping really from help. centimetres <laughs> to inches and stuff. <laughs> so with the clock, what I would do, so this is just, you've got the yellow here. Um, so you've got that in the stripes. So I would then make that as sort of a, a, a 3D um, uh, I don't know what that bit's called. That it, bit. It's the pendulum, <laughs> isn't it? The pendulum, pendulum, yes. Yeah. So I would make that as I 3D. Do the yes, I was doing it with you. <laughs> I would then sew that on and then I would make my mouse out of, and then the mouse could move around. Just so many different ways that you can do um, to do this. And you've got your animals here. So this is Old MacDonald had a farm. So you could then um, take all of your animals did I do the... I don't think I did eventually. See, so you know if you had the white fleece... Oh, you could you do could, the sheep. You could make the little body, you could just layer, like applique the white yes. fleece on top of that to make yes. a nice fluffy sheep. Definitely. So and, the pink like fleece, you say, and the pink fleece on that one. You could just keep going, can't you? You could. You you really, and I would. I would, as I said, you find out baby's coming, you've got nine months, and then just literally go to town. You could do... So with all, everything that's yellow, you could then use the other colours with it in the stripes so you've got the stars here so you could then take out the uh, twinkle twinkle little stars and as i said with humpty you can then emboss and put uh the toy stuffing into his the brick of his wall and then you could make him separately and then he could tumble off the wall there's just so so many Ideas. So many ideas. Too so we many. do we do want to see your versions of this. When you get home, when you get this home and you make it, please do put them on the fan page. I'd like to see your variations of this lovely, lovely idea. And and also the fact that you know we're we're talking about doing this as it is designed as a play mat, but you can cut the panels up. Yes. You can do other things definitely, with it. Definitely. So it'd be interesting to see what other you, people do. Can you imagine do. a big book? 
Oh yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, a big book for them to learn to turn the pages and with all of these. Do you remember we had like panels. laces? You had to learn to yes. lace, didn't you? Yes. And the clock face that you could move the dials. You and could. You, you could. And then we also put we put. Parts, but... Now hang on, hook and loop. Is that what it's called? Yes, hook and loop tape. Hook, yes. hook and loop tape. Because then you could name. then stick. You could match everybody. So if you bought two, you could then match the clock. You could find where they go, and yes. then it's an activity mat as well as just for them yeah. to Yeah, so you'd, to always, you'd put the soft on the mat. Yes, because so then the if they're lying... The you can actually get hook and loop tape, which has got both on the one piece. Oh, OK. Um, which is... So it's kind of like not... Com the grippy bit isn't really grippy. OK. It still does the same job, but it's not that scratchy. So it's yes. just one... Yeah, and sometimes one if you're using um, felt, that if you've got the the other side of the hook and loop, that the felt sometimes will just stick on its own. Yes. So you might not need to put it on the toys. You could just put it on. So yes. if you actually a sewed a piece one. of felt over this, then the felt would stay soft. We have got felt in one of the next shows, haven't we? You could put the felt over here and th and sew it over the top, applique it, and then you could put the this hook and loop on the on the other piece, and then that would then yeah. stick on. So you wouldn't have lots to and then lots of ideas. So many, so many. Thank you for all those Thank ideas. You. And we're looking forward to this cushion later. I, I know, love this idea I know. too. Yes. Oh, we've got a message from Jackie. So Jackie has said, good morning, Wendy and Dawn. Lovely demonstration. Dawn is such a lovely, natural demonstrator. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. You've gotten a little bit pink. I have. <laughs> it's meeting but, you and then people oh, being... <laughs> no, but it's very true. Nice. You're very calm. It's very easy to listen well, to. Well, the very first live I did, so we've got a channel on Facebook, and the very first live I did, I did it with my phone, and my phone fell over. <laughs> I lost my feed. My phone fell over again. <laughs> Everything that could go wrong went wrong. So anything else after that <laughs> is fine. It's easy, 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 easy <laughs> lemon squeezy. But thank you, and we'll thank see you, you again in yes, an hour. thank you. So just to recap, the panels that we were working from, so the big bundle's no longer available, I'm afraid, but you can still buy the panel. So this panel here, which I carefully folded back up again, look at this, 19.99. So this panel is a beautiful printed panel, and it is, it's exclusive to us. Now, well over half the stock has already gone. Can you see this is so what you I've just opened it up and you've just shown the thing there. So this is what you'll get. So here, look, it's nice in fabric, isn't it? It's a huge panel. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. So you've got this lovely big panel and you can just cut that out as the panel. And then you can do as Dawn has said, you can make that very quickly into a play mat or indeed a quilt. Um, you can, of course, make it into a quilt or you could make it into a book. You can, these could be each pages. You could make it into a storage book box. You could make it into cushion covers. You can make it into drawstring bags. You can do lots of different things. I like the idea of getting two and then having like a 3D effect. So yes. you can actually sort of make a cow out of um, the other panel mm -hmm. and you could, have him, you could have him with, as you say, felt back. Yes, in fact, you could. Or the fleece you could. Or the fleece, yeah. Yes. And then you can have the animals that they can then be positioned where they should be. So that's a lovely, lovely idea. So this is the big panel. Then we have the strips. So again, this is lovely. You've used this on your cushion, haven't you? And on the and on storage the, box. And on the storage bag. Now, we do only have 14 of these panels left. So these are... This is... <laughs> it's such a big panel, it really is. So look, we have... The planer, well they're, they're not plain plain, but the planer bits and then them coming through, we've got the topiary. I've got this all upside down, by the way, all complementing each other beautifully. And these pieces here, which you've used on the front of the cushion. That's the I spy cushion. That's the I spy cushion. And you've got, so you've got all of these panels on here and they kind of like work into each other. So the clock from the, the whitey one goes into the pink, the, sh the boat for the owl and the pussycat went to sea. That one goes into the green, etc. So you can see how they all go together. So you don't have to cut them up, you could just use them as these beautiful strips. So this is a lovely panel, 19.99. Then we have the five inch squares. So again, this is just half of the panel here. We've only got eight of these left available. This is what Dawn has used to make her little book. But again, you could use these to make a quilt. You could, you could split them up. You could have plain squares in between. Or you can just use it just as it is, just as it is, and then just quilt around it. Lovely. 
Same, the same idea with these lovely nursery rhymes. Beautiful. These are all exclusive to Sewing World because, Sewing World, uh, <laughs> Sewing Street even. Um, they're all exclusive to Sewing Street and they have been popular because these are designed especially for us. It's a gem of an idea that Dawn had speaking to the design team and this is what they then create, exclusive to us. And then just lots more inspiration you can do. As Dawn was saying with this, you can just leave it as it is. And then you can quilt around. If you, if you quilted like a, a quarter of an inch away from that line around there, you would merely make those defined and come out. And you could, as you say, use a, a contrast colour, yes, which would really make that make stand out. You can free motion around some of these pieces. So you've got a quilt without doing all the cutting. Still mm. creative. And then, of course, we have the two fleeces. Now, we've only got the two left. We've got the pink, which is this one here. 3 99 for half metre. Cut off the bolt for you. So if you want to do what Dawn's did, you, you should uh, order two metres. So that's four units at 3 99 for half a metre. It's nice and wide, lovely and soft. You can use either side. So this is the sort of the teddy bear side, or you can use the underside or the... I just, you know, there's no right or wrong. So this is, this is like a soft plush side. So it's up to you what you, you use. And we also have it in white available. I'm afraid the lovely gold and the oak and the silver sold out, but we do have it in the white. And even if you're not thinking of using this as the backing, because this will be on the floor won't mm -hmm. it but if you're thinking of using something else this is really useful to have to do all sorts of other things with well you could do the border you that's an idea actually because it is going to go on the floor but you could do the border in that couldn't you and yes. then do something else on the bottom yes, so you'd exactly. still have the bit on the top you could and then you could use it as I say for the sheep and for various yes. elements you yes. could use this and of course for the you know, backs of cushions mm. this would be lovely and soft as well and then we have, oh, of course, we have the nursery sheeting fabric. So this is really good. This is sort of the waterproof element of it. I mean, of course, if you're making this as something you would take on to gardens or to picnics, you could have this on the back. You could. Because you could. that way, and you could, then I would, I probably would put wadding in as well, but you'd have this on the ground. So this would go on the ground. So it wouldn't matter if it got a bit down. Because when you're at children, you get bored very, very quickly. So if you did have, a, have that on the back, as you said, you could go for a picnic. You've then got a game to play. Yes endless almost with all the different songs and things to do and then you've got that as you said everyone else can then be sitting on it and we won't get wet <laughs> in our lovely lovely weather that we're having <laughs> so we can sit out and have a picnic in the rain in the rain yes. and we do and we do we're, we do. we're british we, we do, do. <laughs> so this is 349 for a half a meter so you might want to buy two meters again cut off the bolt to, uh, for you very very handy so if you're making uh, changing mats or even cosmetic bags and mm. things like that i mean we're talking uh, nursery stuff at the moment but very useful to have uh, a waterproof PVC. So coming up after the break, brand new KF facet fabrics. Absolutely love KF facet fabrics. Pre-cuts galore. Going to have some of the ones we had yesterday, but we've got some new ones today, some more colours. His fabrics are always so incredibly colourful, absolutely gorgeous. So I will see you in just a few minutes. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. 
I then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me, maybe, is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Welcome back. Look what I have to play with. I have got some fabulous K facet fabrics in front of me. I have got the 10 inch squares, I have got the little charm packs and I have got the designer roll. But first of all, I have got a lovely wadge of fat quarters. This is in the parakeet colorway. Look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous. Now K Fassett is known for his colour combinations, the fact that he combines, mixes patterns and colour in clashy colours you would never have thought to put together. He does all that hard work of putting all these colours together and then we just get the benefit. Look, if I just fade that open, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So these designs, I'm just going to sort of lay some of these out here so you can see. Some of these colours, so these, it's the parakeet collection because of the colours. So these designs here are the same prints and designs as we had yesterday in the blues and purples and greens. But this time we've got them in these glorious sort of sunshiny colours. And these designs are very summery. Look at this, I'm just going to lay them out. 
you get all of these. How many's in the pack? 20, 20 fat quarters in this pack, 79.99. Look at that. Let's get those out of the way. Look at all of those, aren't they gorgeous? Really, really beautiful designs. And they all mix and match together. So this is how they've come in the pack. But I could mix them up just as easily and they will still go with each other. So let's open some of them up. So we've got the spots. So I'll leave those to one side. Spots, we've got them three, four. So four colours of spots. Colours you would never normally put together. You think, oh, no, they don't, they don't go, they clash, but they don't clash. They look absolutely beautiful. Then we have this lovely design. Now, looking at this, we've only got the one of that one. So that's really nice. It's a really pretty little design. But of course, we've got all these beautiful florals. I'm going to put these to one side too, and then we'll look at those in a minute. So I just love the fact that we've got these. That's not quite the same, but similar. So let's look at one. Let's look at one of these ones, look. Stop trying to pattern match them. And you shouldn't, you see. You should just put them together randomly. Oh, look at that. Look at the colours on that. See, these look, these look like feathers to me. This is feathers. Just look at the colours. Look at the, the mixture of those colours. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really lovely. Fat quarters, these are. You can do so much. Really be beautiful fabric, lovely quality, lovely soft cotton. You just want to, you want to keep stroking it. <laughs> so that's one. And then we have another, this is another floor, this one. Now this one is in, it's just, we had this sort of thing yesterday. We're trying to work out what these flowers are each time. I don't know what those are. This is in different colours. We have this in this colour here. We also have it in, where is it? This one and this one and this one. I'm mixing all these up now, look. So there it is in the green. And yeah, it's, it's bright pastels, isn't it? Bright pastels. And oh, then look at that. It is different. It's got those big flowers again. But this time, it's got some other different flowers in it as well. So really beautiful. And then we have this one in the oranges. That is beautiful, isn't it? You could make a beautiful bag. Or if you want to go brighter still. Look at that. It does, it does look like a lot of umbrellas, doesn't it? Like twirly umbrellas. Aren't they beautiful? I love this, uh, this one. So, okay, of these, this particular design, this has got to be my favourite because of the bright, bright colours. Yeah, I like that. I like the oranges. Orange is very fashionable this time of year, isn't it? I mean, it's sort of very summery colour. So that's a really pretty one. Oh, fat quarter scarves. No, I've not seen that. I'll have to. That does sound good. So lovely, lovely ones there. And then back to this. So this is more of a muted. Oh, that's beautiful. We showed it just then. All spread out. Oh, it's a picture from the website. That does look, that just goes to show all these beautiful colours, doesn't it? So that was the those florals, not all quite the same, but similar. This one, th so again, this is a one-off, this one. It is, it's like... Oh, you see, now this, <laughs> this reminds me of when you do fingerprinting. A little finger going all over. Isn't it lovely? Lovely colours again. But what's lovely about this one, of course, is that because it's like an all over print, you could cut quite small pieces of this and it would still look really lovely. You'd still get the print and the idea of the design, even if you're working with just a small bit. So let me fold it up and 
you've got 20 different designs. So if I'm just look, if I just do like a little triangle there, you can see how even a small triangle, you get the, the flavour of it, even smaller, you get the flavour of that design. You're still sort of appreciating that actual design. Really lovely. Then we have these ones. Now these like remind me of geodes. So this is the pink. Oh, we have a warning here. We, this is the one we're most limited on. So this is 79.99 for this pack of fat quarters. You get 20 fat quarters. Less than 30 now available. These are absolutely gorgeous. If you want the fat quarter pack, do go for it. We're going to go through all of them. So that's the pink geodes. Well, I mean, that's not what they're necessarily called. It's just what I think. I think, I know, you know, I know I love pink, but I think this one is probably my favourite of this one. It's all the multicolours. I just love that. And I love that green. I think this is, I think, sad, I, you know, I think this is very summery green. This is beautiful. And the colours really pop out at it. But it's, it is interesting how the different colours, the different little designs pop out at you. So this is really nice. I like this. Lovely green. This is cap. Yes, it is classic. It's a sort of. It's just mixing and matching all those colours all the time. I did say yesterday uh, he's um, doing a lecture at Festival of Quilts, and it's all about colour and inspiration. So yeah, he's going to be there, and he's got a gallery. So uh, if you're, if you come. Oh, are you coming? Oh, brilliant. So, so I'll be there from the Monday, setting up, crawling around the floor, plugging in machines and things. <laughs> I have a glamorous job. Oh, are wow, you going to bring baby Maisie? Oh, that would be so lovely. No, yes, but you're going to be there. You're going to be the support act. Yes. So here we have the other version. So this is like, a, it is like an icy green, this one. But again, isn't it interesting how the different little designs pop out on the different backgrounds? So really lovely. And again, one that you can use in small pieces quite comfortably if you're thinking about patchworking, if you just look at a small area of that, just I mean, that's just a little rectangle. So down to less than 25 available now. We're going to keep warning you because we don't want you to miss out if you're interested in this. We do appreciate this is the most considered that we've got today. Oh, this is the, this is, so this is leaf. So this is leaf as opposed to sort of feathers. Yes, I like that. I like that too. That is gorgeous. I I I would wear a black dress, but I would have to add colour. So if I if I I do have a beautiful black dress actually that I wear in the evening. I say this beautiful. I didn't make this one. I bought it in Spain. It is absolutely gorgeous, but it's got a little bit of silver diamante glitter on it, of course. And then a bag out of something like this and shoes. Oh, I bought the most beautiful pair of shoes the other day. Facebook Marketplace. Can't beat it. Irregular choice shoes. Irregular choice shoes. They're expensive. They are the cape of shoes. They're expensive and they're really bright. And I paid £20 for a brand new pair. Absolute bargain. Look at these. This is this is lovely. So again, you've got those lovely greens. So it, it, it is. It's, it's like a bright pastel, isn't it? I'd love to know what those flowers are, if anybody knows. Or are they just imagination? Are they artistic imagination? Really pretty. So this is... This is this lovely. So these are beautiful colours and they do go well together. Just bring that one in there like that. So even though that's different, they just go well together. This one. <laughs> so I like this. So this is, this is the, the simplest of designs, probably. But look at it. It's still so much detail. All these little tiny spots within the spots. It's really lovely. Very good for small pieces. Nice for bindings. Nice for pi uh, bias binding, for piping. Doesn't if you Kate doesn't really do mixers or blenders. His fabrics are all prominent fabrics, but this one is a great one if you wanted something relatively simple. As are of course the spots. 
Now this one I like. It is like fans, isn't it? You can imagine lots of Spanish ladies flapping their fan there. You could do, you could do an EPP quilt. I'll have a little slurp of coffee then. It's very, very pretty, lovely colours. And again, don't they go beautifully? We look at this one here. We're down to our last sort of three. We're not looking at the spots because we know the spots, but look at that. Again, lovely. It is. I love these colours. So this is the parakeet colour, did you say? Yeah, parakeet. Really beautiful. So again, see how they go together. And all over prints like this, it's quite easy to cut into small pieces, into bigger pieces, use them as the bindings, etc. And we have two more. So we've got a floral again. So this is a lovely, not another floral, but this is in the sort of russet colours again. Look at that. Oops, it up that way. Really isn't a flight afraid of look look at those, don't they look absolutely glorious? So this is a fat quarter. But that is so lovely. Absolutely does. All of the colour choices you can any colour you could put with this now. Any colour of plane. We had those planes on earlier on, so you could pick out some of those planes if you wanted to to border, or just a black if you want, or just a white. What about that white um, designer roll? Add some of that white designer roll to make these colours really sing out. And then, of course, our final one is this one. It's a real kaleidoscope look, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. It is <laughs> like rock. It's a very fancy rock. If you cut my leg off, I think it says sewing down the centre. That is the collection, 20 piece fat quarter pack, 79.99. We have actually now got less than 25 available. This is so beautiful. It's brand new today, absolutely brand new. And we've actually been waiting months to get these to you. Uh, we ordered them months ago, but obviously with all of the various restrictions going on, uh, the Suez Canal blockage, the <laughs> Covid, everything happened, <laughs> nothing could get through. That must have been so awful. So we don't know if or when we might get these back in again. Um, and they are absolutely gorgeous. Even if at the moment you can't think what you would do with some of them, you will find something to do with them. The worst thing you can do is not use them. It really is. One of the things I've been thinking about doing as I said, I said yesterday, I think about doing a, a jelly roll dress, but also another thing is to create a fabric out of joining fat quarters like this together to make one big fabric and then use that as a fabric to cut out a dress or maybe a robe or a kimono top or something, which is just a glorious mix of colour and patterns. So absolutely gorgeous, really, really beautiful. $79.99 for all of those amazing, beautiful colours. Congrats to anybody that's already got one. Do tell us what you're going to do with it. Have you got some inspiration and some ideas? It would be lovely to know what you have in mind. Um, being, you know, I do, you know how I like to put things back together again. So we've also got the same colourways, but in 10 inch pieces, 10 inch squares. So I'll just put that together. Look at these. And again, I love, the, I love the idea of this. I love the idea of there being 10 inch squares because you're still getting all of these beautiful fabrics. How many do we get in here? 42 10 inch squares. Has that been taped in? Oh, it has. Okay. So I could just, if I just go like this. Can I take the cell tape off the back? so beautiful you want to sort of really get to see it don't we <laughs> yes look at this so i've got two is it two of each do you think let's have a look or is it just that's i love this color isn't that glorious 
So we've got two of those, two of these. And then we've got the, so it's the same, same pattern collection, same print collection, two of the pink. But just, you know, I know uh, a lot of people out there love doing all this intricate quilting, but just join these squares together. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't you get a really beautiful, colourful quilt if you did that? The fans. Lisa's. We do have some books. Of course, we've got Kay Fassett's book, his own book. And we've also got some other inspiration books. So if we don't get to them, please do look on the website. So these are the spots. Got a lot of Delphine's designs are using K fabric when she does like the Highland Cow and things like that. So it looks like we've got two of each of these. So there'll be like 24 designs then. Oh yes, because 21, because there's 40, isn't there? So that's that lovely spot. This is probably the plainest of all, the lovely leaf. That's that lovely leaf design. But you can see even just a 10 inch piece looks amazing, doesn't it? And we've also got smaller. And that's, that's I said, that was one of my favourites, didn't I? That's gorgeous, that one. Oh, are they like lily leaves in the pond? The geos, this is, this is such a superb colour. Really beautiful. And these flowers, which we don't know what they are. <laughs> they do look a bit like poppy heads. And then we've got well, the green spot. So we've got two of those. Let's turn them both over together. Ah, oh, this is the my one I call the kaleidoscope. Oh, it looks like we've got three of those by the looks of it. And then we've got the green spot. So I've got two of the green spot again. This one. And look, this is the feathers. I'll turn it around like that. It's lovely isn't it? I like it even though you've only got a smaller piece there and of course we've also got these in the five inch and again you'll see how well they work. And then we finish look with, oh no, no we don't, we've still got more. <laughs> So this is $44.99 for this pack of 42 10 inch K facet fabric pieces, all beautiful 100% cotton and new. All of those beautiful designs. We have waited so long to get these in. It's really great that we've got them. And I am so delighted that I'm getting to feel them first. Yee! That's absolutely beautiful. There are 10 inch. Then we have the design roll. Now I love design rolls. I really do. I love the fact that they're already pre-cut. 40 pieces in this one. So it should be two of each design. And again, it's the same designs, but let's just see what they look like. 44 99 Let's see what they look like when they're just in a strip. These have sold really well on pre-order. Let's have a quick look. Look at these. So again, it's all the same design, but you see, even though you've only got a small slither of the design, it still looks amazing. This is that lovely pinky print that we liked. Here's the geode, geodes, as I call them. You see, even though you've only got a small piece, and if you, if you make it even smaller, if you just imagine you've only, you know, you may be just doing a little square like that, it still looks amazing. So you can cut these into smaller pieces without any problem. I've got that cross check. They're just so lovely. All these bright colours. The orange again. This is, this is the So this is the lovely feathery. Is this the leaf or the feather? I think it might be the leaf, this one. But even, even though you can't necessarily see that it's a whole leaf because you've just got a bit of it, it still looks the glorious colours. It looks really beautiful together. 
This is my lovely flower one. This one that looks like umbrellas. The lime green, this is, I love that one. Which I love all of these, absolutely love all of these. And then we have the green spot. Oh, this is the kaleidoscope one. Another spot just to tone in. And so you've got two of each of these. So selvage to selvage, that's 44 inches wide, two and a half inches wide. So the length is 44 inches, two and a half inches wide. And look at this. This is the parakeet colourway. Look at all of those. Don't they look gorgeous? You can see you can see why it's called parakeet, can't you? So this is the greens and the blues. And I, you know, without wishing to spend your money for you, I would personally consider going for the fat quarter pack and the designer roll. Um, so you've got your strips and then you've also got your fat quarters. But oh, that looks awesome, doesn't it? That looks lovely. It looks a bit better than the way I've done it. But they probably took a bit more time over that. Now, we are getting very limited on the fat quarter pack, just to let you know about that. So this is our designer roll though, 44, 99, 40 pieces. So it's two of each of those designs. Really lovely. And it is brand new to us today, which is gorgeous. It means I get to see a brand new range of fabric. Now we're going to do the five inch charm. So this is the same range, the same parakeet range and almost half the stock has already sold on pre-order. If you're on the phone lines, you need to get ready. Let me just pop this back together again. If you want a little taste of Kaif, if you're thinking, I've not used his fabric, not absolutely sure about this, I'm going to go for a taste of it. Look at this, look at this, 14.99. You again, you still get 42 pieces. These are five inch. So again, I'm just going to carefully open this up. Now people have been buying multiples of this. So of course it will come pre-cut like it is into little five inch squares. I mean, what a good idea is that? Five inch squares, so you haven't got to cut it up into your squares. And of course, beautiful for making things like half square triangles. So there's the designs again. So what I'm saying is, so you've got two of each again. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to put that one with that one. Okay. So if you wanted to do half square triangles, what you're going to do is you're going to sew, you draw your line down the center and then you sew a quarter of an inch either way from that line. And then you cut up the center line and that is what you have. Any two random fabrics. So you can then pick another one. I'm just going to literally pick them at random from this bundle and do the same again. So you've sewn, you've drawn your line down the middle, sewn a quarter of an inch either side, and then you open it up. And so you've got two of these, of course. And then you can join those together. So we could then choose, let's see what we're, you see the best thing is to not choose, but I'm choosing just, just be blind, blind selection here. So I'm mixing all these up now so they won't be beautifully packaged in their pairs, but. Oh, Shay, we can't send this one back to the warehouse. So what we can do here is we can we can actually build it up. We can do different shapes. So we can do this sort of thing with it, if you can imagine. Let's do another one. I am be I'm being selective. I am being selective. I must be random. It's not easy to be random, I have to say. Random is hard, especially when you have OCD. I'm not really bad with it. I just have it a bit. And you go like that. 
And look how quick and easy you could create a, a really masterpiece centerpiece. Isn't that amazing? You could even, and you say what you could do, you could make one into a Suffolk puff in the middle there if you want to. If, you, if you're worried about joining your middles, you make a little Suffolk puff to go in the middle. And that would join that up. You could back it with white or black, or you, if you, um, if you had the strips as well. Remember, you've got the designer strips. You could have a border going round the edge, so you wouldn't want that there necessarily. But you could have a border going round the edge, so you can make it bigger. That's using the design roll. So it's very, very quick and easy. That's just using eight of the forty-two, and don't forget, you've got two. So because you've got the one that you're seeing, but you've also, of course, got the other one, which is that side of it. So each time you're doing this, you'll have two of these. So that's how quick and easy it would be. Or, of course, the other thing you can do with these, I mean, I've done that centering it like that, but with these, you can actually turn these all sorts of different ways. So you can make a pinwheel. I have to work out how to make the pinwheel. There we are. That's, oh, no, 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 no. That's it, isn't it? Isn't it? Going around like that. That's better. Yes. So that's the pinwheel going round. So there's all sorts of different things that you can do. You know, just, just using your half square triangles, you can create all sorts of different. So this is so easy to work with when, you have, when you've got these cut. I mean, this is what you're doing when you're doing patchwork and quilting, says me, the big expert. Uh, when you're doing patchwork and quilting, you're cutting pieces of fabric up into smaller pieces. And often they're squares and triangles and then you put them back together in different designs. Um, when you're working with a five inch square pack like this, half of that cutting's done for you. And if you're doing something as simple as these half square triangles, you don't even have to cut them again. But if you wanted to, you could. You can cut them into smaller pieces and put them back. Um, there's all sorts of different things you can do. As we saw on the, um, the charm pack earlier, the 10 inch layer cake earlier, on the back of that one, it had lots of ideas on how you could cut those 10 inch squares. And the same goes for five inch. There's other ways of cutting them. But this was just a very quick way, I thought, to show what you can do. Now we've got less than 30 of these left. We did start with a very big amount because we've been waiting for so long for these and we did think these are a great introduction to Kay Fassett. If you haven't used his beautiful fabrics before, this is just a very quick example of how you can use them. And also you could you can mix it with some planes. I mean, again, if you're talking, if you wanted to do something like a disappearing nine patch, for instance, Let's just put, I need to have another one that's different here. So I've got nine different, so just a simple nine patch there. Isn't that simple? That makes a lovely cushion front. Very, very quick and simple. You would never think to put these colours together. I mean, I might actually think, well, actually, I'm going to move that one to there. So you can lay it out before you sew it together so that they're all different. Turn that round. Now that's just a simple nine patch. So how I would sew that together, and uh, forgive me quilters if you are thinking otherwise, I would sew that seam there and then chain piece so that I don't take it out of the machine, sew that seam, then sew that seam. Then I would open those back up again and sew that one to that one, that one to that one, and the bottom one. So you then, they're all joined vertically so then you fold them this way to join them and you've got that little bit of thread because you've chained piece you've got that little bit of thread sort of holding them together there which makes it a lot easier to get perfect matches so then you would show do those together then open it up and then do the bottom ones the same way and you again very very quickly you probably do that in less than 15 20 minutes that you could get that done and then if you wanted to do a disappearing nine patch to make it even more sort of glamorous, having stitched that together like that, you cut vertically down the centre, horizontally across the centre, and then that top bit that you've cut, you twist, and the bottom bit you cut, you twist. Now remember, you're going to take some of this and this as well, 
and it gives it a much more sort of smaller bits of patchwork joined together and it looks really amazing it looks like you've joined lots of different patchwork pieces together when you really haven't and then again you just sew them together very very simple trick to make very easy patchwork we do have less than 15 of these available now i'm selling it i'm selling it with my design ideas but you have to remember you can do all sorts of other things with these as well um, you can do i mean i'm sure there's people out there watching this and thinking why aren't you doing and thinking of another idea as you all know patchworking is not my main joy in life i am into it a bit more now but it doesn't have to be with Kate. you haven't got to be particularly good at it what you have to do is let him make those choices for you you can just take these very simple squares whether it be these ones whether it be the designer roll whether it be the 10 inch ones you can just join those squares imagine doing this same uh, trick that i've done here with the 10 inch squares so you'd get bigger triangles out of it but still the same idea absolutely beautiful fabrics to work with very very simple to sew absolute joy brand new to us today which is uh, for me is a real treat because i very rarely get i had two days of kaif two ca days of kaif brand new fabrics which you know to me is such a treat and bearing in mind i will be seeing him at festival of quilts i shall be able to say to him i've been luxuriating in your fabrics on sewing street because they are beautiful i'd like to say i'll go there with something i've made but i probably won't as it is only a few weeks away now. I have got to make a dress to go. Fabric I bought from here uh, a few weeks ago that I've now got to make a dress. So if you're coming to the show, you'll see me wearing it. Now it's made me do it, hasn't it? We've only got 10 of these five inch charm packs left now, I'm afraid. So congratulations to everyone who's got theirs. Now, we have got, as well as these, you can see that I can't help myself. I'm putting them back together again in the patterns that they're in. So uh, we have got these and we have also got, as well as these, from yesterday, we have got the other pattern. I'm going to have to leave, leave this, aren't I, and come back to this. So this is... If you get yours in <laughs> I'll put it all back. No, I'm going to give up on putting it in perfect colour order. Otherwise, I'll be wasting time. Only got three of those left anyway. So it is, I put them back as best I can if you get this particular pack. But what we have is from yesterday. Now, this is the same pattern designs. So this is the same prints, but they look so different. And I honestly couldn't tell you which I prefer. Um, we, ha we launched these yesterday and they really were hot off the press, as you say, because we've only got nine left to start with because we had them yesterday. And um, they literally, we, you know, it's like they're in the warehouse, but they weren't supposed to be. We weren't going to have them on the show, but suddenly they were and we got them here. So it was really exciting. That is the power of Hayley, yes, because she was the producer yesterday. So what we have here are these designs. Now, just look how, di look how different look how different this one looks in these colors so even if you've just got these other ones look how different this is get these two go on treat yourself look at the colors on that it's just they are so glorious they really are but they will blend with the parakeet collection as well if i bring some of those in you can see how they do actually blend this is the parakeet collection here and these colours still work because he just he just uses every single colour, doesn't he? That's the thing. He uses every colour under the rainbow. So we have that. Well, look at this one. This is another one. Do you remember those big flowers we had? They're almost like dahlias or something, don't they? But they look completely different in these colours. This is almost like under the sea, I feel. You can imagine this, like beautiful coral under the sea at night when it's dark but not too dark because you can still see <laughs> we've got the fans we've got the spots we've got the leaves look at these look at these 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 are the leaves don't they look different in these blues isn't that absolutely glorious oh, i love that 
I'm liking my idea of joining them together to create a fabric to make a dress, actually. So you'd get both packs of fat quarters if money was no option. Oh, now this one's... <laughs> Oh, it's your birthday in seven days. Anybody wants to buy Kat a present? <laughs> Look at this. This is a new one. We didn't have this one in the others. So this is nice, isn't it? So this, this is absolutely great. And again, if you can just imagine it as a small piece. So if I just fold that up small, even though it's a sort of stripy design like that, let's make it into a quarter. Look at that, it's fabulous, isn't it? Really, really gorgeous, that. Um, the one I call the geodes again here. So these are all the same prints now. Look at this, this is the, this is the kaleidoscope one. It's really lovely, isn't it? I love this green. Only got six of these left, I'm afraid. So do bear that in mind. If you're tempted, don't miss out. They are absolutely gorgeous. I know my sister bought this one yesterday. She texted me and told me she's got this one. And look at this one here. So this is that, it's almost like barbed wire, but it's not barbed wire, or basket work even, isn't it? It's crisscross. I just love these colours. See, normally I would be sort of bright, 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 but I just love the collections of the blues and the greens coming in. We have another one of the spots. This is the geode one. Really beautiful look. Absolutely love that. I love the way the colours pop out on that. Depending on which one you're looking at, different colours pop out. Look at this. Same one, same design. Just looks so rich, doesn't it? So much depth to it because of the colour choices. So it's got all these lovely blues and purples, but the splash of other colours go through as well. And then if we look at, well, I just looked at just now, the kaleidoscope one. Look at this one. So we've got the kaleidoscope design again, but this time in the blues. Look at that. They do. Those colours look almost neon. They really do. They look absolutely gorgeous. Really pretty designs. I, you, know, you, could you could just make so much with this. So simple. Because you don't need to have fancy designs when you're working with these fabrics. You can do nice, simple designs. Can you imagine doing something like a circular table mat? with that one because you've got the circles in the design. Oh, this one again. They look like cabbage roses. Lovely, I love those. I just had a quick slurp of coffee. Sorry about the silence there. <laughs> I just, it, these are beautiful, aren't they? The colours in them. I absolutely love the colour. I love the green going with the only four left, by the way. Or oh, this is, I'm just trying to pick out my favourites first. Look at this one. Look at the colours. Now you can't tell me that that is not absolutely glorious. It is. This is the one we've had in the other one, yes. It's absolutely fabulous, isn't it? I love the way, I mean, that, that lime green sort of almost bounces right out. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely, I can see this in all sorts of projects. And I love the fact that you can do things quite easily. No, oh, this one, this one, this one. You wait. This is gorgeous. <gasps> Look at that. Have we got that in one of the other ones? It just looks so different, doesn't it? it just, it's so different. It's so lovely. Look at the colours on that. 
absolutely superb. Now this was brand new yesterday. We don't know when we might get it back again. We waited since February, ordered this in February, and it's taken that long for it to get here due to the various reasons, which we don't need to go into. We all know what they are. Um, and that's so we're now in July and that's how long it's taken. So we really don't know. We're not saying we'll never get it again. We just don't know. Um, so if you are interested, grab one of those packs whilst you can. Look at this one. Oh, the colours. So we might find the 10 inch squares and the, what was the other one you said? The design rolls might go into bundles, um, but we don't know. The fat quarters we don't tend to put into kits and we now have only two of these left. Now this one, is this one? Is this one my favourite? Is that one my favourite? I mean, look at them. How can, you, how can you pick one? Again, aren't they gorgeous? The colours, the mixture of colours. I would, you know, I would love to spend a day with Kaif watching him design fabric and, and just see how he puts those colours together. His lovely book, by the way, which I have here, don't forget to take a look on this, um, Behind the Scenes with a Master Colourist. And this does will give you an insight in how he does choose colours and what he does. It's, uh, it's a coffee table book. It's a book to sit, pick up and read, find out how, look at the coming, I, mean, I don't know if this is his actual home, but look at all of these colours that he's got all around him. You're saving eight pounds on this if you buy this book today. We got the graphics for it. In, oh, on the side there, look. So what is the price of it then? It is... We'll, we'll put it in the main graphics in just a sec, just so you know, because it is a beautiful book. And if you like Kaif's fabrics, this is the book to have, so you find out a bit more about the design behind the fabrics. His exhibitions. Oh, we've got, we got one. We've got a gallery at the show, a festival of quilts. So do come along. All safety measures being taken. It's going to be a lovely place to be. Just go on these ones. So just to recap the new fat quarter pack today. So we've just got, that's the last four pieces from this pack here that we had yesterday. Um, and I'm just going to pop those back together so they don't get mixed up. We have two left of this ocean, so do consider it. That's that lovely pack. Look at those colours. Look at all of those colours going through there. We have two left of those. And then we have the new pack. This is the new one from today. Now we have less than 20 of these now. We do appreciate it's a considered purchase, but look at the colours you're getting there. So all those beautiful designs but all in these beautifully bright colours. And some of those ideas that I showed with the little five inch squares, you can do repeatedly and again and again with these lovely, beautiful K facet prints. Absolutely lovely. So you get 20 fat quarters, 20 different fat quarters. There's so much you can do with fat quarters, quilting, bag making, soft toy making. I've even made little boys shorts. I've made little girls dresses, little toddlers dresses out of fat quarters. You can make a lot, you can do a lot. You can use them for design elements of something. So if you're making something quite simple and plain, but maybe you want to have contrasting pockets, collars, cuffs, belt. Yesterday we had that dress, uh, those um, dungarees, which are no longer hanging up that um, Adele was wearing that looked stunning on her. You could have done the, the bodice in a different colour. You could use this. You could have done the straps in something different. So there's always ways of using up smaller pieces of fabric. Now we have got a picture from Tim. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So here's my cave quilt made from the fabrics being shown. Isn't that beautiful? So he's just, so he's, he's like divided the fabrics up by using that sort of plain sashing. That's a really good idea. It really makes them pop out, doesn't it? So you can use plain fabrics. It does make your fabric go further, but it also makes the prints really, really stand out. Oh, love this one. Love this one. So the Ocean Fat Quarter Pack is now sold out. So this one is the Parakeet Pack. The five inch charm pack, I'm afraid, is sold out. 
and we've got less than 20 of this one available. So this is our lovely parakeet pack, 20 different prints, all these beautiful colours, all these beautiful prints. Now, we, as well as these on the show today, we do have, and please, we're not going to get to them today, I'm afraid. Uh, we might try and get back to them in the last hour, but if not, do look on the website. So www.sewingstreet.com. And if you watch live and then you go click down to pre-order, you'll see all of the other fabrics. We have got some amazing panels, some really beautiful panels that we haven't actually managed to get to. So this is the website here. Um, having watched live, you can go down. So these are the these are the K facet things we've got here. Um, if you go on down, you will then see some of the other things. So some of these panels. Look at these panels. So these are really good if you want. I mean, just as a panel in for the centre of a quilt, or if you wanted to do something like an attic window. Look at that one there on the bottom right. That kaleidoscopy one. Oh. Sorry, you can't have that. Um, <laughs> I absolutely love it, really do. So do take a look at those, um, if because we're not going to get to them on in this hour, I'm afraid. Sometimes we just have so much loveliness to show you. So look at this. This is really, really gorgeous. So I'm going to just open a few more of these beautiful ones. These floral designs, and again, they just all go together. Oh, I didn't say we have some books as well, which are always useful. So look at these designs. So this is it's that same design we've seen in the ocean pack, but this time it's in sort of, you know, you can't really call this pastel, but it's bright pastels. So it's very pretty. So for those that aren't into super bright, this is perfect. Really gorgeous. You, these, you could, I'll tell you what I've seen that's really nice actually. Uh, I saw it at the window of Grove, so they're distributors of haberdashery. And what they had is they had lots of eight and 10 and four inch hoops, embroidery hoops. And in, inside each of the hoops, they just had one of these beautiful fabrics. So they had lots of their beautiful fabrics and it's just like wall art. So you just have the whole load of them sort of mishmashed on the wall. Um, some could be in square, some could be in circle embroidery hoops. And you just have lots of these beautiful pieces of fabric and just frame them because they are superb. You don't have to do anything else with them, just frame them. Really lovely. Which other one should I go for? Oh, this one has got to be one of the best, hasn't it? This is the leaf. Absolutely leaf, leafies. Isn't this beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So as well as these beautiful fabrics, we have got some inspiration books for you because it's a good idea to have ideas of what you can do with them, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, whilst, whilst you're staring and stroking at your beautiful fabric, <laughs> you could have a look at a book. <laughs> do a bit of both there. <laughs> so what we have here, look, we have pre-cut quilts and time-saving quilts. Which one should we go with first? The top one. So this is the pre-cut quilts. This is by um, Amanda Niederhauser. 15 projects with blocks and mix and match. So these are going to be, so pre-cuts are basically what we have in front of us. They're the designer rolls, the five inches, the 10 inches and the fat quarters and things. And so you've already got some of the cutting done for you. And these are quite sort of nice traditional designs. So I was talking about the triangles and then how to make the sash. And so it's nice and easy. Imagine these in K-facet fabrics. And then you can see here, you've got the block, the printed, the block with all your lovely fabrics, and then you've got your plain. So this is when you use that white designer roll. So you use that in between for your sashing. And then that just makes the colors in the center really pop out. So these, look at these beautiful, look at all the colours. You can, you can imagine these in the cave designs because of all the beautiful colours. So nice and simple to make. Look at the heart. So again, it's made out of simple pieces. So you can see here, it's a scrappy heart block. And you can see how it's made by little triangles stitched onto bigger squares and then folded out to create the design. It's clever, isn't it? A lot of you out there will know, yeah, I've done that. But I think these are really clever. 
you just need beautiful fabrics to make these very sort of traditional designs lots of lovely projects 15 in total uh, 1899 for the book oh look at that one look at the leaf design wouldn't that be lovely with that leaf fabric that's that one with that's 15 design playful pre-cut quilts we also have another one this has got 10 projects make pre-cut quilts this is 10 projects in here and a flatters is 10.99 so again keeping it simple look look at this just hugs and kisses so a plique on hug, uh, circles and crosses on these beautiful squares look how lovely that would look this one, Garden Days, look at the glorious colours you could do with that. It's all very simple. I love this. Let the K fabric do the talking. Look at that, stairways. I mean, it just looks so dramatic. And it, all it is, you can see, it's just simple shapes. Who's having a little nap? I can sing a rainbow. That looks like it's been made out of just strips, look. Let's get your design roll. That's all you need. Beautiful. Oh, I love that one too. Very, lots of inspiration, lots of ideas, but nice, nice projects for you to have a go and do step by step. So you've got the instructions on how to do. And then this one is for the tw two and a half inch strips. This is Annie's quilting. So you've got nine. So again, this is nice and easy to make out of your designer roll. So this is what you're going to be using. You're going to use your designer roll with this book. But it doesn't mean you're just going to use straight lines, look, what you can do with them. So you, how you can cut them. You can see here you've got the strips, you join the strips together and then you cut triangles out of the strips to get three colour triangles. Simple when you know how. Gorgeous, aren't they? Look at that, imagine having that on the bed. Isn't that beautiful? So nice ideas, as well as having some other lovely tips in here about raw edge, a fusible applique. Look at that, reflections of fall. So really lovely. Oh, look at that in the purples. So love, there's three lovely books and do have a look around the rest of the website. Do have a look at those glorious panels that we've, we got out, but we haven't had time. We might get, in, get to them in the last hour if we can. Uh, do have a think about your cave pre-cuts, the designer roll, and what have we got left? The designer roll and the fat quarter pack um, and the 10 inch square. So we haven't got the little charm pack anymore. Uh, okay, so I'm going to see you again. Dawn is going to join me. She's going to do these beautiful cushions that are behind me. There they are. Look at those little legs with booties on. They're so cute. So I will be joined with um, Dawn in just a few minutes. So see you in a while. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and 
anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing has been part of the Great British Heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Welcome back. Now look what I've got. Look at this. I'm just going to take these out because these aren't part of it, but this is what you can do with this cushion. So look, I just love that. Look, he's got little feet. Little dangly legs. So what we are doing here today, we are doing a pattern with fabric bundles. And this is, what do you call this? You're calling it a, a storage cushion. A storage cushion. Because it's more about the storage rather than... So it's the actually got pack, uh, pockets in the back here. So this is great for kids. The idea, though, is great if you're thinking about having somewhere to put your remote controls. When you go to bed at night, you want to put them away neatly, put them in the storage cushion. So that is the front. And that's the back. So you've got a button closure here. And then you've also got these pockets, nice roomy pockets to pop your to toys or teddies in. So what we are getting is the pattern. And on the pattern, you can make either the little dog sausage dog or you can make the caterpillar so he's got a few more legs I like oh that's twisted now we've got two color ways we can do this in so let's start with the bright so this is the panel so again it's a pre-printed panel which has been especially printed for this project and as I said, you can actually make either of those two little animals, so either the dog or the caterpillar, or both, I should say. You can make both from this panel. Um, so we've got the caterpillar, and you've got, you can make two caterpillars and two dogs. So in fact, you can make four little critters. <laughs> and in the instructions, you have the templates. 
So here you've got a little, you've got a, a boy caterpillar face, a girl caterpillar face. You can have it the other way around if you prefer. And then you've got all of the little caterpillar body pieces already there. And then you've got the dog. And then in the pattern, which you get some nice and clear instructions, look, nice and clear pictorial instructions there. And then here you have the templates. So you can make it with your scraps a bit later, can't you? You can do, I mean, you could have two caterpillars. We've just got on this little bag that you've done. Have you got instructions on to make in the bag or is it just a cushion? It's just, it's just a cushion. So, yeah. so the it's bag just a cushion. Just the a bag was just another way of showing what you can do with these little caterpillars. But you could easily, <laughs> you can't help but play too. You can, <laughs> if, you, if you're giving this to a child, make sure you've secured those yes. really well because I'm playing with them. You can imagine what they'll Hold do. Um, so... Sorry, can't help but play with his little <laughs> booties. So in the kit, back to the kit, you get the panel, you get the instructions, and you also get a metre of fabric to coordinate. So this is, with the brights, you're getting this sort of slate grey. And you also get a metre of felt. Now this is a lot of felt for those booties, so you'll have plenty for another project. So all of this for 19.99. So as I say, from the panel itself, you can make four. So a metre of this fabric, you could make at least two cushions from a metre, couldn't you? Um, you've or got, not, because you've got pockets, got pockets as well, haven't yes. you? Yeah, maybe not. OK, so you might have to use some of your fabric from your stash if you wanted to make a second, third or fourth. But from the panel itself, the appliques, you've got enough to make four different appliques. So two caterpillars, two little dogs. And you've got, a, I guess we've got a boy and a girl dog because we've got one with long lashes and little pink cheeks. <laughs> a little bit of makeup on. <laughs> are we allowed to say that's girl or boy nowadays? I, I don't right? think you are not now, no. No. <laughs> so that's one that likes to wear makeup. And that's one that doesn't. That's the bright colourway. And then as well as this, we also have a vintage colourway. So if you're not into quite that bright, you can go for a more traditional vintage colourway. So again, we have two caterpillars and two, isn't this cute? This is very, very pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. So if you're not sure, I mean, if you're not sure of your colour scheme in your bedroom, this is a better option, isn't it? Because it will go with anything. Yes, because the dog is supposed to be the boy version, but I think that those colours would go in, in many different, many different rooms because you can pick out yes. the green, the br blue, the brown. So you, what you have here, so this is actually, um, this is to make the ears and the tail, the brown. This bit here is just this an extra panel. As, as is this really, you can make raindrops and puddles, but it's up to you, you don't have to use it. Just be careful where you put your puddle on the dog. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think I've put it a little bit too close. <laughs> yes, be careful where you put the puddle on the dog. <laughs> well, you don't have to have the dog that low, you could have it no, a bit higher, higher can you? Yes. <laughs> so he's not just made a puddle and with this one with this one you get this um meter of the cream and you get the meter of the quilt and you get the pattern so you're getting all of this for 19.99 and this time it's our sort of vintagey color it's so much more effective than just using fat quarters having having just sold lots of fat quarters this is a really lovely i, I love the idea of these printed panels that are exclusive to Sewing Street. These really are exclusive to us, printed for us by the team. Um, so again, you come up with the ideas and then they turn this into a fabulous panel, yes, don't they? Yes, yes. And if you, you've got the instructions here to make it, but you know, if you were trying to buy this, make this out of either the, the little um, five inch squares or mm -hmm. whatever, you need a lot to get all of these lovely different colors. But here on one panel, you're getting all of these colors really beautiful and they all blend they all go together so it's up to you which ones you put together because they do actually all go together and i love the fact you've got this great big piece that you can do something else you with can, you or can. as you say raindrops and puddles so your your decision today is vintage or bright that's what you're going to do so vintage is currently in the leads it's 19.99 i don't forget you get all of that you'll have plenty of um black felt for other projects or you can or you can give that how many feet do caterpillars have i don't know i think they have more than i did seven because my original one was a rainbow one so it was the seven colors of the rainbow so 
um, and then I couldn't attach the other one, so then I did six, but I'm sure they have... Well, a centipede is supposed to have 100. It's supposed to have 100, a, isn't it? I don't know if they I do. I don't know. Someone just will want, know. Yeah, some Some, will know. Someone somewhere How will know. How many feet do it? <laughs> but you can have as many little feet. But of course, we were talking earlier about the um, the other cushion quilt and how you could make the some get two panels and make the back of one of the panels, um, sorry, the animals on one of the panels into like soft toys, but you could back them with felt. You could. You and could. I was so thinking that, that you, if you made this onto a piece of fabric, you could then do a 2D toy and then have him. But as you said, make sure you really do so well the, the wellies so that yes. they don't pop. They are big, so that isn't... Yes, I, I think... They're, the, they're big enough that they would be... They're not going to disappear. You're I don't going to think they're choking they hazard. No, no, I just think just that be, they could be pulled be off. Because so make sure. So when you put your bonder web on, it sticks them down and then you sew over it again. Yes. So they're really secure. Speaking of bonder web, do we have the bonder web here? So two ninety nine for a packet. So you get a, a strip here. So bonder web, um, just for the uninitiated, is a double sided glue strip basically, and it's paper backed. The bonder web is the um, the visiling name, um, and you iron it onto the wrong side of your chosen fabric, with the paper uppermost because the glue is on the underside, and then you peel the paper away to then flip it over and iron it onto the right side of your base fabric. So very nice, very really good handy product to have indoors. Actually, very useful. Um, you also will need toy stuffing, or What's the toy stuffing for? To stuff your wellies. To stuff your wellies, of course, yes. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? <laughs> oh, my little wellies. So that's to <laughs> yes, stuff your little well. I just think it says cushions as well, but I'd put a cushion pad in the cushion. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so again, you'll have plenty left, plenty there for other projects. So thinking of that other hour earlier on, you'll have plenty there if you did want to make any little soft toys out of anything. So good idea to stock up on your toy filling, £4.99. And don't forget, P&P &P is the same all day. So if you've already bought something today, for instance, the William Morris uh, early bird, lovely magnets, you don't have to pay P&P &P again. It just covers you for the entire day. So cushions cushions so the idea for this came about uh, people that know me really well will know that i'm not a very tidy crafter you and i are <laughs> opposite in that way i don't have um an ocd i don't have to put things away but to put toys away for children and to do it quickly and tidily i thought because i used to put things into the envelope cushion but then they disappear because it goes all the way round Whereas with this, you put it into the cushion and it stays there. So it's an extension of a book pillow that you store books in, but you can store anything in. And it actually looks tidy because they're all, you know, they're cute hanging over the top. So that was where that idea came from. And the wellies, I don't know where they, I don't know where they, but as you say, they're quite nice to, to play with. I, I think I must have seen a toy caterpillar with the legs and thinking, oh, I wonder if, because I love a plique, I thought I'm going to see if I can put that onto a cushion. And as I said, it was... It was during with the NHS when we were doing everything was rainbow, so that's it. And they so all they're picking over, the over the top now. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of that, um, as you said, because I mean I, we were talking earlier when my with my first I, everything went back perfectly in the right box, right order. ABC was in ABC order, etc. Second child, things went into a toy box. <laughs> You just That's don't what have you time. have the big storage, <laughs> storage tub for. <laughs> storage tub for that. But I do love the idea of having their favourite little bedtime. Yes, and they can all go on the bed because then Teddy doesn't get lost. And as I said, when you put stuff in an envelope cushion, sometimes when you put it in, it can disappear yes. and then you're searching for it. So this is a good way of, um, of making sure. And also, the button isn't in the pattern. The button is something I've just added so that you know it doesn't all move around. So you yeah. don't have to put the button on if you don't want to. The pattern has the panel big enough so it does tuck underneath, and but you can put the button on if you want to, yeah. to, to secure it. And you kind it. of made like cargo pockets here, so you, they're that more roomy. Called? Yes. Okay, so see, I'm learning They've got these, the pleats on the words. side. You have it either on the side or you have it down the centre. And it's what you have, you know, you have it on your yes, men's on your trousers. trousers yeah. um, oh, I wear those for work. Pockets do you? Yeah, yeah useful, in. useful yes, pockets. Yes, very useful. So you need to provide the bu button and the, indeed the ribbon. The ribbon. The so ribbon. Any I mean, you can do any ribbon. colour ribbon. Yeah. I mean, I've got grey here because I'm using the grey fabric. Yeah. I know th with the with the kits, you've got the cream is with the um, with the bright. No, the no, cream the is with the vintage. vintage but I'm, I'm doing it the, the other way round. So yes. 
but which um, is fine we and then that green way. is just my green so you, it shows you can use different and it, it, it because the colors go so well you can pretty much blend you know you pick any of those colors out and and with the rose and hubble you can just there's so many colors they're all there beautiful are. i mean they're we all often beautiful. sell the multi multi bug yes bungles. So we had it for the birthday so they're probably restocking for a, yes, a little while yes and they are fabulous to have those in your stash you always just find picking something. out something yeah definitely. absolutely so we've got right so where pattern. do we start so i so i made the pattern before they did the panel so i have got the dog ear and the dog's head shape and i've got the caterpillar shape and um the body so what you do for the dog now these are the opposite way to how you're using it because that's the trick with bonder web and it does say in there don't worry it will end up being the right way around so you lay your bonder web on top and you draw around all of this is in the instructions all the pictures are as detailed as i could get them and then you then draw around them cut them out label them because they do look very similar but once you've put them in order you will want them to all fit together and then you using your bonder web you peel the back off so i'm going to demonstrate with the caterpillar so i had this just john showed me this because i was picking it all off by hand oh this is a much quicker method it is and then you just pull your bonder web off and then you have that glue ready and then you can position it wherever you want to within your now i've done them close to the bottom i have got one here so this one just shows you without anything on the top it's just got the caterpillar at the bottom and then that's got all of the so you can do whatever you want to now when the panel came to me i noticed that there was this big piece that you don't need to do even if you did four cushions with with puddles and raindrops you would still have a little bit left now mine is a little bit big because i've used the whole thing but you could actually make now this isn't in the panel as i've said it, this isn't in the pattern but you could actually do um, a rain cloud I'm just going to scrape that off remind me to put my mat down wendy <laughs> <laughs> i'll get it now because otherwise i will forget I just, I just love the way they print these little extras on the panels yes. to use up the space. Well, because I hadn't thought about putting a, a rain cloud on. That That's around, it, that way up, yes, Thank yeah. you. Don't want to be the one that everyone talks about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we so. would. We would. <laughs> and then I was then thinking with the, uh, you could actually make little rain clouds that would be hanging down off ribbon as well. Couldn't you? You could. You could. See? It's because, I don't know what I do, when I leave the nursery, I, my inspiration is going to, for children's toys is going to disappear, I think. I doubt it. Because <laughs> you're going to, you're a grandma gran now. Yes, exactly. Are you, oh, are you? I'm nana? a nana. A nana, Because there's yes. lots of us, so I'm a nana. So my mum is grandma, and I'm a nana, and there's, there's many of us. She's very lucky. She's got lots and lots of, uh, lots and lots of grandparents. So all I'm doing with the bonder up, so I've taken this side off, and then I've got the sticky... So Do you actually you actually turn this on? Ah, you should turn it on at the plug. Is it turned on at the I plug? I plugged it in, but I got a feeling I need to plug it into the other oh, side. We might, yeah, we maybe might have that to. Plug's not plugged in. Talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> whilst we do that, <laughs> whilst yes. that warms up. So yes, yeah, so we'll position everything else while we're there. Oh, the panels are neck and neck at the moment. Oh, see, I like the the pet the the sort of the softer colours, but I know you have to sew things when you're sewing things to sell you need to make sure that you're you're doing something for everybody and i find yes. that really hard because i just like all of the pastel gray yes you have, exactly well I, I mean i've edited many magazines and again I you know. know projects come in and sometimes i look at them and think oh really no but i have to take my head off and think yeah but this is going to suit other people this is what they're going to like i mean things like dog coats leave me cold i'm afraid i know i'm, I'm probably very practical um and people who have dogs, I'm sure, like dog coats, but it's something that I just think, really? I don't want, like, I have, we had a pattern for a sausage dog, and the dog coat was buns and mustard on the top. Now, see, I'm not sure that's in good taste, putting a sausage dog in a sausage bun. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen them. I have seen them. It is, it is quite funny. Um, but no, I'm not sure that I would, uh, I would want to do the the same i'm with you on that one but everybody's different aren't they yes exactly and that's what we have to remember so yeah. that's why we like to have different choices so, so you're just laying it all, all that up first. and i have um i have a circle missing okay so you have got enough to do another one um so 
I have. Why? An extra. I've dropped it somewhere. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not here. I think it must be in the green. I'm sure on your caterpillar, you've got How many have one, I got? two, have you've got six of the circles, and I've only got yes, five I have. here. I've, I've got dropped six. one from between here. We'll find it out there. It'll be attached to my body somewhere. You watch. <laughs> so that's You'll have you, a patch on your body. I will. I will. <laughs> So you layer this up however you want to. Now with your wellies, what I found was if you angle them in a different way, they then, or as you said, that one twisted round, they then sort of just move um, in a lovely way. But make sure you've, you get three, the measurement says three inches in the pattern. So make sure they go far enough up so that you are sealing those in. Because as we said, you know, as Wendy was, they are quite addictive to, to play with. And then you iron this all down because you've got your bond web, well, everything will be stuck. And then you can, and what you can do if you want to is you can put your ribbon in first and then do your wellies after. It's entirely up to you, but it does say to do it this way round. So I'm gonna iron them all down, but I'm not gonna iron the last one because obviously you need to make your welly before you do that. And I want to show you how to make okay, the welly. Okay, brilliant. We are warm, are we? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best way of finding it's out. It's not, is it? Say. I was. <laughs> Literally, it was it felt really, really, really cold. Please don't. Yeah, please don't do that, everybody. <laughs> so this is, this is Dawn, who's a nursery <laughs> teacher, just about to put her hand on the iron to check on the edge warm. of an iron. My mum always says, "I'll never grow up." I don't have the, <laughs> I don't have common sense. I, I, I think I have common sense, but I, I don't think I'm grown up. Definitely. Oh no, I've not grown up. That's the, the I, thing I, about things like you know, shopping at Jaeger. No, I'm not old enough for that, and I am, but I just don't feel I am. Is I'm it not grown for up saga enough. holidays that we're supposed to be oh, doing? Oh no, I'm two years from my, uh, from my fifth year. What's, what's always thinking, that to be saga? Oh, yeah, I'll, the saga so is the. That, then. Yes, I'm. I did go on a Warner's holiday recently. Okay. And I went last year, so they're for adults only. Brilliant fun. And I, when I went last, no, not last year, year before last, with my mum and stepdad and sisters and things, it was like, we had a really great time. I thought, everybody's gonna be so old and I'm gonna be, and I, and I was comparatively young, but everybody wasn't really old. And everybody that was there was there to have a great time. And we did. And so we did it again a few weeks ago. Amazing. But a different place. It was absolutely fabulous. So nice to be on you just, holiday. But you need a mix. I mean, I'm, so I'm 48, but a lot of the girls I work with in the nursery, I'm, I'm usually the eldest one, or the oldest one. And, but we all get on really, really well because you've got the love of the children. So yes. you can mix ages. It's, it is, you know, it, it, it yeah, is. Absolutely. It is a lovely thing to have. And then you get different experience. People have learned different things. So it is a good way, I think, when you're working to have different ages. So there we have, then that's how so I I've like laid that. it I out. I love that with your cloud on the top there. But you won't have enough to do four big clouds. No. But you, you could make, you once. could do a smaller cloud, yeah. or you could do two little clouds, and then or you could do puffy a sun. Clouds, yeah. And then with the rain, you could make a rainbow. You could do many, many different things. When I first started the idea, it was just sort of the rain um, on top of the, and then it just, your, your mind grow, it grows, doesn't it? So we've got that all stuck down. So as I said, I'm going to show you how to make the welly so when you bring in your pattern as I said you've got the boot in here now I've used to draw onto my fabric so there is my <laughs> welly boot okay but to draw onto my fabric I just used a fabric pen because that's what I had but I know there are other I know you like chalk don't you when you're I use chalk or I use friction pens yeah but it's so not easy are, to use friction pen on felt is no it? and I wasn't sure what the best thing to do was so what you do is you draw onto your felt with your bright color and then place this one on the top don't cut that out sew around it the tr I, I sew a lot of toys with felt and it moves it's worse than fleece, I think, and it grows. So just place your cutout on top of your another piece of fat. It says to cut three inches by three inches. And then you're gonna sew all the way around, leaving the top open, and then you're stuffing after. So don't cut this out because it's really hard mm. to match it up once you've, once you've done that. So I do have black thread in here. Did I put my foot on? I did. I've not got it around the right way though. See, this foot pedal thing is so new to me. But I think that's a good <laughs> thing because it means when I, when you're, because I teach a lot of beginners and 
if I don't have, if I'm, if I'm, you know, bumbling along with them, sometimes that's nice because they can see that I'm learning and I'm sort of growing. As we, we said, you know, every day is a school day. Well, I think also, um, you know, you should own up to mistakes too. Because oh, definitely. I think I think it's nothing off-putting when you're watching if somebody's always perfect. Yes. And so it's quite good to actually say. <laughs> Oh, you're perfect. Is that what Emma say? She's perfect. We call it Pinterest perfect, <laughs> and that's the sort of the image that some social media sites they do encourage you to. Um, and I think it's something that we've done as a nation. Um, well, everybody has, but I, I think it is, as you said, it's good to show people. Yeah, just say that we're you know, not all. And we all do make mistakes. Quick up, pick is a girl's best friend. Oh, definitely, definitely. I should say, so is best friend because there's chappies at so. There are. So, I've just sewn all the way around. So leave the top open. Leave obviously. the top open because that's where you're going to pop your um, your toy stuffing in. And what then sort you of seam can... allowance are you leaving? I did. I don't know if you would call that a, si a six one sixteenth. I mean, it's re it's, it's really just enough. Yes. Yeah. It's scant. This is the thing. Like I said, because I f I follow so many American tutorials, I I wonder if I say the wrong thing sometimes because. Different people say different things, but yes, I've heard them say a scant. A, there is a difference between a scant quarter inch and a quarter inch. Yes. I'm not quite sure what it is. It's just, ba it's, I mean, it, what we need is basically enough so that your felt is attached. But luckily, because it's black and you're using a black thread, if you do not catch it, you can go back and go over and it's really hard to see. Yeah. And as I said, children just love, you know, they love anything that you make, so it doesn't matter. Now I've got my toy stuffing. Now the easiest way I found, I know there are other t other tools, but I found my scissors were the easiest way, but these are rounded ones and just pop it in. Chopsticks, brilliant. Chopstick. I mean, I know everyone has their... Mm. Keep a chopstick you know. in. It's a good reason to have a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> because then you should Because chopstick. you need it in order to have a chopstick. Because my knit, I've got knitting needles, but I, when I knit, I, I use really big knitting needles. So I'd be trying yes. to do it like that. Yeah. I don't have, I don't have little knitting needles, just huge ones. So there we go, and just filling it in. Now I've made all the others because I do want to get on to how we make the the storage cushions because I want to show oh, you yes, that how bit. to make the actual cushion and the pillows. Do bits. I have? I've lost my piece of ribbon. Right, I'm going to see best prepared, but <laughs> it doesn't always happen. But that's okay. So we're now we're just popping our piece of ribbon inside and make sure, as I said, it's far enough in. So I've been using my thumb and pushing it in, making sure it's down, and then holding onto it. So but it's so to us. slippy because it wants to come straight, back, come out straight back out again. Yeah. It is tricky, but you want it in enough so that it isn't going to slide out. And then if you want to pin that before you pop it on, because when you're doing six, you know, then you're putting it under your machine, it can move. So, and then we're just going to do the same stitch length, but I'm going to um, over sew it a couple of times yes, to make sure it doesn't back come and out. Forwards. Definitely. Now, I haven't got my walking foot on. I am just using the normal. You shouldn't need foot to for a little booty. So, no. I mean, but because you push the felt down the other end. Yes. So, so you're pushing the wadding down. The sorry, the down, wadding yeah. down the other end, yeah. yes. I'm just over sewing that to make sure it isn't going to come out. And then your welly is done. And I think because that they, they will all be slightly different sizes because you're not going to get it exact every time but I think that's quite a nice oh it's effect. a feature it's yeah. a nice thing I'm just picturing um the dog um so we've been talking about Jake so Danny was so Danny is Danny the dash hand is who so that's my other boy oh, right, I'll okay. give him a name check because we've been talking about Jake haven't we yes so it was Can't Danny the fair. Danny the dash hand there we go Oh, I've got a message here me. from Helen Thomas. Hello, Wendy, just got up, so I've missed the early bird. Boo-hoo. You haven't missed it. You can still go online to get it. Oh, you've already replied and you've already bought two. Well done. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think I must be. I must. That be. was right at the beginning. That was, was when it? I was oh, in the just green keep, room. I, must go I don't know why it's not kind of scrolling down then. I'm just... Oh, my goodness, I'm just going right to the end of it now. Right. 
And so I said, sorry if we've missed them. I didn't realise they were coming in thick and fast. They do. You, People do write really, really quickly. And you go to reply to something and then you notice it's six sort of six comments six. back <laughs> because everyone's writing so quickly. But it's so lovely that everyone can just chat to you. It is nice. I think it is lovely. While you're on. So we're just going to tuck that under. Now remember, I have only got five, okay, so you will have six. But if this is going to be the last one, I then angle that one further back, okay, and then just pop your iron on. Now, you'll you see... know, you could, Kat's saying about making a really long caterpillar, you could make a doorstop. You could. You know, not a doorstop, um, the draft, dog, draft the dog excluder. As well. Dog as well, you could. You could just make a really long one. You could using scraps because you've got the pattern. So once you've once you've bought this kit and you've done That's your cushions, a really really good idea. It's a really good idea. And you have little boots on it. <laughs> I just, I love, just love the way that they swing. I do, I it's just like the, you know, those old toys that you used to get with the the office toys with the circles and the balls used to oh, do yes, different things. Yes. That's what it just reminds me of. Just. <laughs> Going backwards and forwards. See, showing oh, my age again. Do you remember again. that um, verse? Of, do your ears hang low? And do they, they swing to and fro? That's the elephant song. Yeah. 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 They sing. I can hear <laughs> them. Foam singing. over your shoulder. Can you? <laughs> yes. Yes. There's another another thing rather than ears that you can talk there about. There is a bit. It's, it's a, that's a rugby song. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so if you want to you can free motion so i've done free motion on the bag of the caterpillar because i think it's a little bit easier but on the dog i did use my now that's called your blanket stitch isn't it yeah so it depends sometimes they call it quilting stitch again it depends i mean this is a what i would call so what's a the one in the stitch. center the one in the center my ben when ben used to use my my youngest he used to use my sewing machine and he used to say it looked like bird's feet so oh, I just yeah. call it the bird's Both feet foot, but this, I know that's not what it's thing. called. There is not a name for all for of the everything. stitches because okay. each manufacturer calls them something slightly different. True. So I would say that your outside one is your blanket stitch, yes. which is basically a line on the outside with the Which is how you would do a blanket stitch like you would by, by hand. hand. And that one, is, I would say feather, but yes. there is no right or, or okay. herringbone But even. I just want to alert, so if there's, some, yeah, there if there's is no a right word or for name. something, then I want to use it. Okay, well there, Benjamin, you can have it. It's called a bird walking. It's a, it's a bird, bird, bird foot. He just said it looks like bird's feet yeah, walking. Yeah, little bird's feet walking. Yeah. yeah, I get that. So that's what I used in the, with the dog, but with the, with the other one I used. Now, we did free motion demonstration earlier, so I'm not going to show it again, but I will because I want to show you how to do the cushions, okay? But I am going to show you how to do um, around here, and then you're stopping and then you're going back around that side. So start on this side, right? okay, before you move on. So we need to put the wadding behind. So we had wadding, we've always got wadding, haven't we? Now in the pattern, it says to use wadding for this bit, and then it says to use interfacing, medium weight interfacing for the pockets. But on this one, I'm going to use some wadding to see the difference, yeah, to see what see it's what like. Makes, yeah. Because they are quite stiff, so I don't know if I wanted to see what the difference see would make. See what the wadding so, would do. Because you can, I mean, depending on what you've got at home, you can't always get, and especially yeah. like you said, with everything being, with ordering stuff, you can't always get, and you, you, we've got things at home that we want to use. So I'm not going to do my free motion. I'm going to start here, and then I'm just going to sew all the way around before I do that, I'm going to change my thread because I've just remembered I've got black in the... Yes. Oh, no, black's okay, actually, because it will go well, it with, will the, show, with it the face. Will show, yes. it? No, we will but you stick. could use a thread to match, couldn't yes, you? Yes, you could. And you then you could change, or a, or a soft change gray the colours. Would work I think that. on that one I've used grey. I tend to use grey yeah. or cream. Yes, um, you've got grey on these two. Yeah. And a, a soft grey is a good one to go with any colour, isn't yes. it? It works with I anything. I tend to have grey in my machine or cream in my machine most of the time. So with... Oh, that one hasn't adhered properly. Uh, so I'm going to use my, um, I'm going to use not a long stitch, I'm going to use a 2.4 I think, that's how it's coming up because I want it to look a bit like free motion and be close together and I'm just going to go around and I'm going to use the edge of my foot as my guide just to do that circle, just to show you that you don't have to do free motion if you don't want to. So I'll put my needle down and then you just sew slowly. And you can sew a pretty straight curve. That doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> you know, <laughs> an exact curve is what I is what I mean. And just move it slightly, and then just keep going. Not too fast. Okay. 
If you do need to stop and raise the pressure foot, just make sure the needle's down. Do you know, the first time I used this machine, I couldn't find, I mean, it's obvious where the, down, the, the button is now, but I couldn't find the button. So I was trying, well, I can't remember what I was making. I think it was my second show and I couldn't figure out how to keep. So every time I lifted up, it just moved. Yes. <laughs> it's amazing the tools that you, I mean, I've got a, I've got a, a singer and I haven't used it yet. Um, Nancy, she's called. And I, do they have, I mean, they have, to, is it literally just an up and a down? They you don't have all of these tools, I'm guessing. Well, some, some do. A lot of machines have the needle up down button now. Yeah. Uh, but my really good. old singer, I mean, my. No, you'd probably have to turn it by yeah, hand. A hand crank, yes. Yeah. So you just turn the balance all on the side. Because I think when I first started sewing, so I would have been 13, 14 at school, I don't, I don't remember having these buttons as well. I'm sure that we used to yeah, use. Yeah, it would have been just by hand. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing what you what you can get. Well, now. I remember this. Now, do you remember this? Remember, you've got to look at me. Oh, yes. I did typing as well. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the old days when you used to oh, have to move yes. it along. And then I remember one. we got word processors. Yes. With a screen. And the, the big floppy disk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they weren't floppy funny. at all. No, I mean, <laughs> very strange. Cats ask what the hell we're talking about. I know. <laughs> they do it at work all the time. Oh, I'll start singing a song or I'll say something and they look at me blankly. They have no idea who no. I was talking I about. I get that here. No idea at all. So there you go. So you've been able to do your what looks like free motion, but using your straight stitch. But if you have got a free motion foot, then try it Let's because free go. motion is, you could, is good You fun. could do like the um, wiggly stitch on the cloud, couldn't you? Yes. That would be could. nice. Meandering or stippling. Yes. yes. Definitely. Well, that's what I did on my on my original idea was I was going to do stippling. I am not Delphine Brooks, and I tried and I got about a quarter way in and I stopped because it just looked awful. I really do need to practice. And when I brought that in to show Jess, I said, "Don't look at that bit." But yes, to do some stippling all over would because you would do your circles first and then do yes. your randoms. It would look really, really lovely, and it would make it sumptuous and, yes, and plush exactly. isn't it? especially if you've got nice wadding behind definitely, definitely okay these pockets then right so do you want to um do an update while i change my thread yep that's, that's a very good exciting idea. thank you for that <laughs> <laughs> so the vintage colorway is the most popular this is this one here so remember these are pre-printed panels that are printed exclusively for us and what we have on this one so this is the one that actually uh, dawn is using so we've got two faces and then we've got all the body parts. We've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got six, but you could mix and match them. You haven't got to use that colours together. We've also got the duck, uh, the dogs. So one with makeup, one without. And all their body parts, <laughs> yes. All the bits to cut the body parts out of. And then we've got the tail and ears. And then we've got this lovely big piece here, which you can use to make little raindrops and puddles or a big rain cloud, whatever you want. So you've got enough for the, of the pieces to do two caterpillars and two dogs. And then you've got this big panel here, which you can, as Dawn has used, use a big piece of it to use a cloud, or you can use smaller pieces on four different cushions. That's up to you entirely. But you've got enough there to make choices. As well as this, you get a metre of cream. So this is a lovely cream for the background. That's to make the cushion. You've got a metre there. And you get a metre of felt for your six boots. So you've got plenty of felt. You'll have plenty of felt left to do other projects. So it's great to add to your stash. Um, and of course, you get the pattern instructions. So nice, clear instructions with the templates, which is great as well, because actually this does mean it's got longevity if you wanted to make more or as Kat suggested, making an extra long pillow or as I said, a doorstop. You've got the pattern pieces and you could just keep repeating those to make more, make a longer one. So that's the vintage. We also have the brights. So for the brights. It's only three behind. There's not a lot of difference between these. So this one, this is, this is lovely. I love the brights. So the vintage is great if you're not sure of colour schemes, but this is great. I mean, this, I love the idea of putting bright colours in babies' rooms or little toddlers' rooms. So here we've got these two caterpillars again. This time they've got the plain faces. And we've got our two dogs, makeup and without makeup. We've got the raindrop paddle again. 
and this little bit of spare, a little bit of spare fabric to do whatever you like with. And then this is the ears and the tails. So that's the caterpillar one. So it's really lovely. I love this panel. You'll fix me. Yeah, already. Already Bending good. You also, again. <laughs> you've got a metre of grey to go with it. So this is for your cushion. And of course you get the felt and of course you get the instructions. So the instructions on their own are 9 99 So for basically £10, you're getting a panel, a metre of fabric and a metre of felt. So somewhere that pricing has gone a little array. Uh, don't ask about it, just take advantage of it. <laughs> yes, because that metre of that fabric should be £7. So to do the panel and the metre, yeah. Something's gone a bit wrong on the pricing. We're not arguing about it, though. We're just going to take advantage of it. <laughs> As it. You might not come back at that price, is what we're saying. <laughs> we just don't know. So that's that. So where are we up to? You've got your, so your got my, I've fleece threaded. threaded. I have. I'm all pink now. Um, so you've got your back panel, and you've got two of your pieces for your, for your storage um, pocket. So what you need to do is you sew them uh, right sides... It doesn't matter actually because I mean there isn't a right side and a wrong side of the fabric. So you lay your wadding down, you lay your one pocket piece on top and then your other pocket piece and then you're going to sew across the top whether you're using so that would be your interfacing or in this case it's going to be it's our wadding okay with a quarter of an inch seam allowance and then you open it up you iron that down and then you do another quarter of an inch seam allowance and that is then the front piece of your storage cushion. And then you're going to lay it on top of your back top piece. So these are all labelled in. Now what I did is I got some sticky labels and I stuck because they're very similar shapes and similar sizes. So the, the storage cushions are a couple of inches bigger. You don't want to get them confused with your back panel because then it will be wrong. So I got some sticky labels and I just wrote mm. on them what they were. So you're going to come down three inches from the top and you're going to pin. So this is the thing with many makes. Pinning makes all the difference. So I'm going to line that up and pin. And then what you're doing on the second side is you're coming it in and folding it over. And this is what, did you call it a cargo? Cargo pocket, cargo yeah. So you've got pocket. a pleat in the pocket. So we're sewing that over <laughs> on the edge. I'm learning all these things today. We've got, I've got somebody singing, there's a hole in my bucket, dear light. <laughs> They're just going through all the different nursery rhymes that they... But that's the thing, though. Everyone remembers a different nursery rhyme or yes. a different set of nursery rhyme, depending on, you know, which which country you were born in, which town you were in, yes. whichever. Everything, everything is so different. So we've got our pockets um, adhered either side. Just move that over slightly. And then the way that... The, there may be a better way to do this, and then Wendy will tell us, is I then... Um, pushed down the center okay this is how I did it hang on that's not why is that not spreading out there we go so finding oh I know why it's because I got my hand in the pocket instead of on the back <laughs> see this is where I said doing things wrong is it's okay so you just need to find the center and then we're going to sew down that center and then that's how I made that pleat, is that how you would? That'll, that'll be fine, yeah, okay. yeah. So, if you've got an expert handy, then it's best to, to There's ask, There's lots of different it? ways, but that's a perfectly good way of doing okay. it. Okay, so this might not be quite I mean, you're doing it by You're doing it by eye, but you would yes, normally measure. Yes, you would measure yeah, it. It does, course, say in yeah. the, it does say in the instructions to measure. We're just, so you know, we're just aware of time, aren't we? Now, remember, so this is where your cushion is going to get the most stress on where your pockets are and in the centre, yeah. so over so. What you could do though, and I thought about this afterwards, is you could put a little square of interfacing on the back of there or something just to make sure that it's a bit, because I've noticed on that one, because yeah. I've made that quite a long time ago and it's sort of been carried around, maybe you need to reinforce it. So it does say in the instructions now, we change them to reinforce it. Yeah, just on, just on, under the pocket, you could put interfacing on the pocket yes, back, could just you? Yes. Just Even to make just sure. For that strip down the yes, just there. to make sure. Because I know when we're doing a plique, sometimes we just put a little bit, um, and that's kind of what you need, really. I'm just going to go all the way down. Just realise I'm not using a top stitch, so you probably want a bigger, a longer stitch length because we're now using wadding. But it's all in the instructions. 
As I always say, you're on live TV. Whenever I'm doing something live, everything, <laughs> some things go wrong, but it shows you that we're human. So we then take that piece off. And now what you need to do is flatten this against. Now I tried to do this with photographs, so hopefully it is, it is easy to see. And then what I did is I just pushed that all the way down to the center and then pinned the bottom. So that has then created that extra bit of the mm -hmm. pocket. So that's how I did it. But as I said, there may be, there may be other ways. And then the same on this side. So I've, I've written, I've, that's what I've said to press and push to the center. And as I said, I've tried to, to do a photograph of the stages as well. So you I just think you succeeded. Need good. Good. I'll fold that over at the bottom. So there you have. And then if you just make sure, if you just sew a little, a few stitches, just to, now tacking stitch or basting? Yes, but same thing, isn't they it? They are so, the same thing, but. Uh, the American terminology is basting and we call it tacking. tacking. But because we've been aligned with America for sewing for so long, we tend to call it basting now. We do. But I remember my friend when I was trying to teach her to sew, and she was almost impossible, I have to say, although she's now coming to sewing classes. But <laughs> she, she did actually um, sit in the middle, she was heavily pregnant, making a maternity dress, sat in the middle of the fabric and the pattern to cut it out. <laughs> so I had to stop her because she was distorting the whole lot. She was just distorting the pregnant. whole thing. And when I said basting to her, she had no idea. She was thinking of chickens. Yes. Well, that's the thing when basting is, is, is chickens, it is, isn't it? It is. It's what you do to your chicken, isn't it? Oh, actually, I don't because I cook it in a bag. Cooking bags are brilliant. I've, I, have seen, I have seen those. No mess. Oh, I'm all about spit. no mess in the kitchen. Yep. And it don't, you don't get a dirty pan because it's all in the bag. So it does say in the instructions to use your machine. <coughs> Excuse me. And but I've just used a little bit of thread there just to do it. So now that isn't going to move. Okay. And then this is where you can add your ribbon if you want to. So you're turning over to the other side. I'll take those pins out. Now you can, so because I've got the wadding here, it says half, a quarter of an inch, but because you've got wadding and you've got interfacing, it sort of, you, it feels like quarter of an inch, but it isn't. You're just basically, you're rolling over a hem to whatever size okay. it's going to be. So that is going to be more than, uh, than a quarter of an inch. So that's why the pocket was longer. That's why that bit was longer. And then, then you just need to pin that down. Okay. Now with, so as I said, I'm, I'm experimenting here with the, with the wadding just to see if it made a softer cushion, just to see what the difference was. I think it Whereas will. It will mean you've got a lot going on there. You've got wadding folded you three have. times. So but you, you can iron, as I said the, when I did the first demo, if you iron the wadding, it does actually squash it down a little bit, doesn't it? So I'm hoping I'm not going to need my walking This is foot. when the quilters clips would come in handy too. Yes. See, I don't use, because I was a hairdresser, I use hairdressing clips. Yes. <laughs> which is very, very similar to uh, the same, same, same thing, thing, isn't it? it? But I had lots of them at home left over from my last job, so there we go. Now I'm noticing the time. So that what you need to do is you just need to sew down here, okay? And if you wanted to put your piece of ribbon in, that's where you would put it in now. That's for the button okay. clo closure. For the button closure. Yeah. Right, I've pinned my pins around the wrong way. How long have we got, Wendy? About five minutes. Okay. Three, three or four minutes. But the rest is then just how you would put an envelope cushion together. But all the instructions are in They're there and all the, pit and the pictures. The most important thing to show you is when you're putting it together, when you do an envelope cushion, if I show you on this bit, normally you have the bottom over the top. But with the storage cushion, you have the top over, over the, the bottom. bottom. But it does show you which way. And there is a picture of the caterpillar you can see through to see which way you layer it up. So I have tried to include that bit. So that's the difference you can see. Whereas an envelope cushion, you're putting it over that way, you don't, you do it round the other way. That's the, that's the important thing. Yeah. And then you can make them, you haven't got to put the applique on, you can make these cushions for, for anything. You could. You've got the I say you could use, make the cushion for your remote controls. Definitely, that is a good tidily. idea. Or poots, as we call them. What do you call them? Poot. 
the poot, yeah, because you poot the TV. I, I called them, um, I don't know if I'm going to offend anyone now, I'm hoping not. Um, I, we all call ours, ours the jobby. Oh, right. But yes. apparently um, in Scotland that means something, it's not, nothing rude, but it, it just means something else. What does, um, it, does it mean then? Going to the bathroom. Oh, does it? Order. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called a jobby. Apparently, my um, that's what my Ooh. oh, there you go. So you've just gone over the seam. Yes. So you've gone. Uh, you might have even left a pin in the back there, actually. So you've just oh, gone I don't, over. I the haven't. It was just the seam. Yeah, and you've just gone over the seam. So if you're going when you've got wadding, and if you're going over a thick seam like that. Um, you will need to probably turn it, turn the balance wheel by hand just to go over those few stitches. Ah. Um, but you also possibly would need and a bigger needle. And also make sure when you do break, you make sure that you find you get, it. Get the little bits. You do. Yes. And if you can't find it, don't carry on sewing. I'm sure you you, you would say yeah, the same. It should, it should Look still inside. be attached. See, it is. I've got it right here. Yeah. Um, but if you can't find it, I did it just before I live once and spent ages trying to find it and then I had to go on and sew yeah. and I did find it in the fabric in the end but yes if you do break you don't want needle, it to go down into make the bobbin sure and get you find it make sure you find it so that's easy done um, so you just change the needle and if you're sewing through that many layers it might be a 14 would have been better um, ah, it's easy, okay it, you know, it's easy to say that when you're doing but when you're trying to do it quickly on tv you so can't. then you would just layer up as you would um, an envelope cushion but as I said make sure your top one goes down first. You can see in the picture, I've taken a picture like that. Yes. You can see. So what I should have done, if I'd have ironed the wadding, it would have made it thinner. And then you sew all the way around and then you turn it right sides out. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as I said, you can put the ribbon on and if you, you want to, and it just makes want. it so that it stays, which is... Um, when, you've got, when you're stuffing it with all these teddies yes, and books. Yes, and then your and teddies sit behind or oh, as I said you've got the you know you've got the bag I just saw I just saw that hanging off a child's back as they were walking I could see oh, yes, the, the little feet just just sort of going <laughs> backwards and forwards we've got the so we've got the um the book but they've got a, like a lip on the, their actual book case but they're, they're floating ones so that's where I sat them and then their well is just hung down which I thought was really quite cute oh so, yes there you go what they do I? look cute when they're hanging down they do they do you just can't help but um you can't. You, can't you have to You've fiddle to with your with welly them. boots. You have got to play with them. <laughs> Thanks ever so much, Dawn. Thank you. That was really good. When are you back? On the 8th of August. It's another Thanks Sunday. For... Is it? So oh, okay. Will it be you or... I, I don't haven't know. got it's been a while yet. August okay. yet. Don't know. Okay. Don't know. But there you go. Yes, 8th of August. I'll see you then. <laughs> It'll be lovely to see you if I am. Yeah. But if not, maybe I'll see you another time or at festival. Oh, yes. Oh, definitely. Are when we can do shows again, that will be amazing. We can go and see people and wave I know, see and people stuff. for real life people yes Ooh. and actually go and see fabric in and rows yes, and rows yes, all this beautiful fabric the be battery, the can't wait yeah can't definitely wait. can't wait it's going to be fabulous it's going to be all socially distanced I know. it's going to be so careful sanitizers everywhere bigger halls everyone's just into the routine of that now aren't they yeah you know, even even distance. if you know we do get the all clear to not do socially distancing and such likes we are still doing it at people festival are be, yeah people because are being careful. Uh, you know, we want to be careful. We want to be super careful. So we are still doing it. We've still got bigger halls, fewer exhibitors, fewer visitors. So we're keeping it fairly small, but spacious. Yes. So it's going to be spaced out. So it's and we're double great. jabbed. And most of us will be double yes, jabbed. Double yes, jabbed. Definitely. Double jabbed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks ever Thank so much. Thank you. Thank you. That was really good. Lovely. So we're going to quickly reca uh, re recap. I was going to say regroup, recap. So vintage first. So this is the vintage panel. So on the vintage panel we have, so the vintage panel, we're calling it vintage because it's sort of nice light colours. It's classic timeless colours really. So this is really good if you're not sure what kind of colour scheme you're going to have or the baby you're making or the little person you're making this for has. This will go with everything. And you can make two caterpillars and two dogs. So you can use this to make appliques on four different items. You've got a little spare print here, which is just a little panel there. And you've got this nice big pit bit, which is for raindrops and puddles. But of course, you can use it for a rain cloud or whatever. That's entirely up to you. As well as the panel, you also get a metre of cream. This is Rose and Hubble quality cream. So you get a metre of cream to go with it. Um, you also get a metre of black felt to do your boots. So you'll have plenty of black felt left to do other projects. Um, and of course, you get the very clear instructions which show you the photographs step by step 
and then you've got the instructions step by step. And it is great that you've got, you will need, so this is for when you go on to make more cushions using the same similar idea. It tells you what you're going to need to buy. And of course, it includes those templates if you wanted to do additional ones later. That's the vintage one. Um, we then have the brights. They're pretty neck and neck, actually, these are selling. So this is the brights. So again, it's the same design. Again, you can make two caterpillars, two dogs, and you've got your big panel here for your clouds and raindrops, etc. A little bit of spare to do something else. It's up to you. Um, and that is teamed with a sort of steely grey meter. So that's your meter, that's for your cushion, which is what we sort of use there, as you can see. And of course, you get your meter of black felt, and of course, you get the instructions. So all of that for 19.99. We're not sure whether that price is correct, and it should have been uh, considerably more, but you're getting it for 19.99 because that's what we've got it for. So really lovely little kits there for you to sew with. Now the only other things you're going to need is your bonder web and that helps you adhere the appliques in place before you stitch them. So this is a little pack of bonder web here. Um, this is 17.5 centimetres by 1.2 metres. So it's like a strip, paper backed webbing, which is a double sided fusible. Very useful. It has instructions on how to adhere it too. So that'll last and do other projects as well. And of course, the toy stuffing. Um, so this is, I mean, again, you're going to use a tiniest amount of this toy stuffing, st toy stuffing here, but it's a great thing to have in your box. It's only uh, 4.99 was this? 4.99 for the toy stuffing. So it's quite good. So this is uh, used by making plastic bottles. This has been made by using plastic bottles is what I meant to say. So it's really good to think that something was being reused, but it is still very soft. It's not crunchy. It, you wouldn't know that it's been made by plastic bottles. So it is lovely. So useful to have in your stash there because you'll always use a bit of stuffing. Some of the other things we saw earlier where we were stuffing parts of the quilt, etc. Uh, a really good thing to have. So that is, um, that is it. We're now going into a break and we're going to come back with sewing machines. So we've got new books, brand new book from one of my very good colleagues, sewing machines, some of the panels we didn't get to earlier. So we've got lots of goodies for you in my next hour. See you in a mo. Sewing has been part of the great British heritage for thousands of years, starting with hand sewing with English paper piecing and then progressing to machines to give us high-end British tailoring. We are proud to be a nation of sewists. So to commemorate this, Sewing Street is holding Great British Sewing Week. Tune in from Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July for celebrations of all things British. We have the traditional prints from Liberty and William Morris, as well as makes from our talented guest designers. Keep a lookout for some special giveaways and some new and familiar faces. Join us from 8am to 1pm on Monday the 12th to Sunday the 18th of July on Freeview 72, Sky 670, YouTube and Facebook Live. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's uh, she, she's just, I just love her. So her head's her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets, um, probably because of my uh, period background. Um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them, um, the shape the bones make. I, I just think they're beautiful. 
um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people so um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lo lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely um, and uh, yeah I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day um, and I really enjoy being on sewing street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Welcome back. Now this one, this is a bit weird for me because I'm here on this last hour and I've got a sewing machine to demonstrate in a minute, which I love, absolutely love, sewing machines are my thing. Um, but I've also got a book in front of me. And this is one of the books that I've written. Now I wrote this um, a while ago, it had to be done really quickly. So my good friend Lorna Knight helped me out with some of the chapters. And I love to do it. It's, I, I honestly think it's got a bit of a funny title, The Sewing Machine Accessory Bible. It's basically all about feet. So it's all of the different feet that you can get for your machine and in it what I have done and what Lorna did on the chapters that she's done, so what we've done is we've shown what the feet look like, we have described them because sometimes they don't all look exactly the same, then we say how it works, we do a one, one, two, three or four or five step on how to do it and then we have alternatives of what you can use this foot for. So that goes through all of the different feet. So we've got everything you like. So we've got an ideal deers file. So each of the feet here has a description of what to, how to use it, what it looks like, how to use it, what to do with it, and what else you can do with it. So we've got lots of things. So like for this here, bias binding foot. So again, there's two types. I've got to tell you, my favourite is the adjustable one. Uh, that's really lovely and easy to use. This one, you feed the bias binding sort of through the tube at the top. This one, it goes into this little 
cache here and you have it closed and then the fabric goes in between, very easy to stitch. But we also show here how to make continuous bias binding so you don't have to join lots of small strips together. So very simple ways. The ruffler foot, so this is the one I was saying yesterday to Adele that I really, it looks like a, an instrument of torture. Fabulous for doing ruffles, so for doing gathering and pleating and things. It's really beautiful, fabulous foot to use. So, so this is when gathering foot, I mentioned this one. This is the one that if you kind of like retard the fabric as it's coming through at first, it gathers better. But look how you can use it for smocking and more. So it's very clear all the way through how to use it. They are divided into chapters. So you've got your standard feet, you've got your specialist feet, practical feet, stitch in the ditch. So this really does help you. One of the things that I see that a lot of people don't use, which I absolutely love, is the quilting guide. Now a quilting guide is it's basically a metal rod with a sort of loop or a hook on the end of it. And you often get this in your sewing kit, in, when you buy your machine and you have a few bits and a few tools, you often get a quilting guide and then people don't use it because they don't know what to do with it. So this is what you do, here it is. You don't have to have it with a walking foot, you can put it in the back of the ankle of your standard foot. It will have a little hole to put it in. And then you can stitch parallel row after parallel row perfectly without having to draw the rows on the fabric first. So it's all very clear of what it looks like, how it works and how to actually use it and then some alternative ideas. So all these different feet. Now we got this originally on the 9th of April, sold out the first time we had it on here. We got it back in stock on the 29th of June and half the stock sold. And now we have five left. So this is, one of, this is one of the books I'm most proud of, I have to say, because it's a passion of mine that people use the right feet for the right job. And we get all these beautiful feet in the machine and you don't know what they're for. And it's not really very clear. And even if it says what it is, it's still not clear how to use it. It's like the over edge foot, for instance. I mean, the over edge foot or the blind hem foot, if you want to create perfect blind hems on a machine. So easy to do when you know how. And that's always the thing, isn't it? It's been popular, button sewing foot. And again, this is one that's often included. I don't know why it's often included. It's probably one of the least used feet. But again, we show you how to use it, which way on it goes on the machine. It's not obvious unless you know. But it is a quick way of sewing on buttons. And of course, button holes, the buttonhole feet and how to sew those. Invisible zips, my favorite zip insertion. But I'll be also showing you how to use a regular zip foot. So no, normally a regular zip foot will have a single toe, but here we show you an alternative which doesn't, but you can attach it either side. So we try to show alternatives where possible. And of course the invisible zip foot. It is a great book to have next to your sewing machine. You even start with a zigzag foot, because not many people know what that black button is for. So the black button on the side is the equaliser button. So you can, it's a leveller, so you can press that in as you're lowering the foot, so if you're going to start on a lumpy seam, if you press that in, it stops the foot sort of angling upwards and keeps it level. It's a bit of a trick to do it. So there are, now there's 18 books in baskets and one left. So whoever gets out first gets it, I'm afraid. We will try and restock it. Um, oh, we didn't mention either that the price on the back is, for, it's a bit pointless now, but the price on the back is $14.99 and we're doing it for $9.99. So, don't know, don't know. No, because you, no, you, used to, you used to have to do the price that was on the book, but you don't have to anymore. They did, you know, you can actually do it at a different price. So that's a book by me and Lorna Knight collaborated with me on it. Now, we do have another brand new book by Lorna. Uh, so the Lorna Knight is probably, this is sounding like Heineken Lager, she's probably one of the very best accomplished couture sewing teachers you could ever wish to meet. She is really incredible. I mean, obviously I know her well and we are friends, so I'm a bit biased, but she is. She runs her own sewing school up in uh, near Stoke-on-Trent. She's very quiet and unassuming. Um, but she is so talented. She really is. This is one of her books. She has done more. Uh, she's an absolute expert on overlocking too. But this is a dressmaking technique book. 
So there's no patterns in it. It's not about a garment specifically. What it is about is having techniques under your belt. It has been printed with this lovely spiral binding, which means, it sounds crazy, but it's great because it will open and stay flat. So when you're trying to refer to it, if you're at your machine, this is a really good selling point for it. Uh, and you also have all of the different seams, so everything you want, all the techniques. So it's not teaching you how to make a garment, it's teaching you how to do various techniques that you'll find useful. When you read a pattern and it tells you to do something like ease stitching, stay stitching, under stitching, it will, you just turn to the right page in here and you will find a complete explanation. Um, bias cut, so sewing on the bias, why, what's to do about it, putting in a trouser zip. Now this is one that obviously people often have trouble with, putting in a fly zip, a trouser zip. So very clear instructions, step by step how to do it. And as I say, the pages will lay flat so it's easy to refer to as you're working through. So it's a lovely book to have, definitely if you're into dressmaking at all. We had a whole dressmaking day yesterday and we were talking we were talking yesterday about doing under stitching we didn't actually get to show show it because obviously time runs out but you know what is under stitching well it's just a straight stitch but basically you're attaching the seam allowance to the facing so when you turn your facing in it goes much crisper line and it doesn't have a tendency to pop out so it's a very good technique but it is simple when you know how and this book helps you it is absolutely full so you've got pin tucks, twin needle tucks, love twin needle tucks. You've got couture darts, so couture darts where they're actually shaped more to the body. So you've got all of this, how to do your double dart, darts, double-ended darts, finishing seams, different ways of finishing, including pinking. And, and there's hand stitching in here too. So we've got different kinds of seams. So you might do a lap seam, so on jeans, you'll have a lap seam. So you have these different types of seams depending on the fabrics you're working with and it tells you very clearly what it is and why. So it's an absolutely lovely book. Now here we also have a whole load on fabrics. So we've got suggestions of got fabric, what it is, kind of garments, how to cut it out, how to sew. So again, if you're looking at using different types of fabrics, this is very, very helpful because when you look on the back of the pattern, they'll often say, for instance, faux fur, you know, what can you make, you know, that's, is that going to be tricky to sew? So some sewing suggestions here, what needle to use, what thread to use, um, machine zigzag over the right edges, etc., etc. One thing I don't think she's got here, which is quite a good tip when you're sewing fake fur, when you finish sewing the seam and you turn it back over, use a needle or a pin to pick out the fur from the seam and the seam becomes invisible. So there's lots and lots of information in here, lots of saying with different fabrics. So this is a brand new book to us. So we've got a little bit on overlockers as well, which is quite handy. So if you've got an overlocker and then the hand stitches. We do see questions in the fan page about overlockers. So you've got a few, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a big chapter, it's just a bit on that. And here, I like this, you've also got adap adapting a pattern, adjusting a pattern. There's so some basic things. This is how you take your measurements. These are the standard sizes, but as I've always said, please don't think if you're 12 in the shops, you're 12 in patterns. The chances are you won't be. And from brand to brand, you might be entirely different. So this is a way of taking your measurements, comparing your measurements, and working out what size to cut. So nice and clear on adapting and adjusting the pattern. Full bust adjustment. So that's nice and clear how to do that. That is something we do get asked a lot of questions about. If you're over a C cup, you normally have to do a full bust adjustment. And as most of us are over a C cup nowadays. But also do remember that if you buy a pattern that has different pattern sizing for A, B, C and D cup, that's not the same as the bra cup size. So you, again, you have to take your measurements to determine what pattern cup size you are. But all of this lovely, lovely instruction here, large tummy, Small tummy, ha! Huh. Large seat, small seat, waist, if you take your waist in or let it out a bit. All nice and clear instructions, nicely laid out. And then even things like pockets, if you wanted to add pockets to things, this is what you can do. 
This is actually, it, yeah, this is, this is fabulous. Lining, adding lining to a garment that hasn't got lining. I often would do that. Trouser pockets, the different types of pocket styles. So it's a very, very useful book. Now, we're selling it at 14 99 The price on the back is 15 99 It's got lots and lots of guidance for every kind of dressmaking technique you can think of. Doesn't matter whether you're an expert or a beginner, you'll find something in here because even as an expert, there might be something that she does a different way and it's always worth trying to do a different way. Just like um, Dawn did earlier when she mited the corner of that blanket, that um, play mat, it's, I, might, I cut the corner off the same way she did, but I didn't do the, the sewing it up together like that before. What a wonderful idea. Fabulous. I shall be doing that with mine next time. So you can always learn something. And it's, it is a handy little book. It's a nice little size. Sit nicely on your um, bookshelf near your sewing machine. And as I say, you can open it up and you can look at the instructions nice and easy whilst you're working from them. Not trying to pop the book open, you know, as you do sometimes with books. Brand new to us today. It's fairly new anyway, I think. I think this is fairly new anyway, this book. Um, but it's brand new to us today. I'm just seeing this. Grab it whilst you can. There are lots in baskets. Don't, um, don't lose that. No, it was first published. It was first published a while ago, but it has been updated and revised with a new textile directory. So it is a fabulous little book to have. I have one. I had this at home. It, it, and I'm pleased that we've got this in stock because, yes, she is my friend, but also she is such an expert. She comes and teaches at my Creative Sewing Weekends. Um, you know, she's one of my favourite teachers. She teaches at the Knitting Stitching Show in Harrogate. She has her own sewing school. She's written a number of books. She is a very accomplished teacher, dressmaker, couture dressmaker. Um, so I absolutely thoroughly recommend this one. I really do. Definitely trust what she says. Um, she, knows her, she knows her onions. She really does. So absolutely fabulous book, so don't miss out on this one. Um, it's definitely worth getting. You will find something in here at 14 99 And if you enjoyed yesterday's shows, or if you want to watch them, or you're going to watch tomorrow where we've got more dressmaking shows, a lot of these techniques that you're going to use in dressmaking are in here. We do, we often, we'll often say something, oh, ease stitch that, or do a double dart, or do a couture dart, or add a patch pocket, or a side hip pocket. And you're thinking, well, I'd like to, but it's not in the pattern. But you can. It says how to in here. Or, or if you don't know what it means, exactly. So it's, it's a really good book, good reference book to have. You will learn something from it, I promise you. Before we head over to the other table, oh, we have some lights. I have some lights. Look at these twirly whirly lights, look. This is, the, this is the black one. Now, these come in two colours. These are native lighting lights. This is the black Lumina desk lamp. Ah, did I, have I unplugged something? Is it not coming on? There it is. It is. Difficult to see whether it comes on with all the studio lights, but it is, you can see. So we've got the light there. Does it shine on the book? Now this was created by Claire from Native Lighting. And one, this is when she's, she's been in lighting for years, years and years. She's worked for lots of different companies. And she's asked people what it is that they like, what do they need, what's what's most handy and the, one of the things that she found out was one of the most handy things to have was flexibility. So she has this gooseneck, she calls this, which is incredibly fe flexible. You can bend it any which way, which means you can aim that light exactly where you need it when you want to get light on a project. If you're sewing late into the night, as we often do, as Dawn was saying at 11 o'clock at night, I don't think I've ever gone quite that late. But if you are and your eyes are getting tired, as they do, having this lovely daylight here is fabulous. Now, it's not just daylight. You can actually make the light brighter or you can bring it down or you can bring it right down. I'm not sure. Can you see the difference when I do that? So again, if you're actually working with somebody who's maybe watching the telly and you've got this on the side, you can keep that light very directional. You can keep it just to yourself. You haven't got to share it and you haven't got to disturb them. You can have warm or cool as well. So I don't know which one I've got on now. Oh, there's cool. That's cool. And that's warm. You can see the difference there. 
So you've got these choices, or you can have a mixture. You can have bright, so I can go down in brightness, or I can go up in brightness. So I've got a little remote control here, but the little remote control, I think this also has controls on the stem here. So if you lose this, now I've been known to do that. I had one of those big step things, you no know, vibra power things. I had a, it had a little remote control and I accused my sons of nicking my remote control and hiding it as a joke. I was livid with them. They didn't. I found it. I found it in my drawers. I did have to apologise and they don't let me forget. But so a really lovely lamp to have. So we've got, I've got this here as a desk lamp, but of course, sewing lamp. Perfect for your sewing. Put it by your sewing machine. Even though sewing machines have a good light, it's actually really a good idea to have additional light, particularly when you're working on dark fabrics. And to have a light that can be natural daylight colour is really good too, because what you'll get to see is proper colour matching and you won't be sewing navy to black when you thought they were both black, etc. So this is really lovely. This is black. Now we have exactly the same lights. If I point it to this one, does it come on? That one's not plugged in, so it won't. Okay, so we've got the same one here in white. So it's exactly the same, but it's white. So if you prefer a white one, it comes with a nice clamp. Now the clamp that we've got on the table here, this is something that's also quite important. It goes from six centimetres to one centimetre. So if you've got a thin table, a thin top, you can put it on, but also if you've got one that's six centimetres. We often can't attach lights to these tops because they're wide, so this is good that uh, we can attach it. So you can attach it to quite wide tops. Very easy to attach. They do have cushion pads. Oh, I see what you mean, yes. I'm thinking cushion pads, I'm thinking of a cushion. Yes, so the clamp has got protective cushioning. So it's not gonna ruin your table, it's not gonna scratch your table. So that keeps it nice and secure too. So really lovely lamp, really lightweight. And I just love the fact, oh, and the, um, the light, the LED lights won't need replacing. They last forever and a day, 40,000 hours or something like that. Can you imagine? So these, these both plug into the mains. So this is plugged into the mains. And all of the plugs come into the box with you, for you. So you really can just keep on bending that. I did say to Claire, could you break it? And she said, no, not that we want you to try, please. They do come with a two year warranty, but it's, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't need to change. You shouldn't need to change the LED light and that gooseneck goes all over the place. And this, this has been specifically designed by Claire's company that she has make these in Scandinavia. And they do have that look to them, don't they? They have that simple Scandi design. The black has been more popular because you don't often see craft lights in black. But I love the idea not only of having this as a craft light, but having it in the living room. So you can do some hand sewing, you can do your crochet or whatever. Or yeah, him indoors could have one in the garage or in the garden potting shed or whatever. Or my brother-in-law, he could have it in his, he has, he has a man shed at the back of the house. He's been, he's been refitting a motorbike um, from scratch for years and years and years and he's done it, he's finished. I don't know if he's been out on it yet. But absolutely fabulous lights for all sorts of crafts and projects and reasons. So $95.99, um, we've got it in white and we've got it in black. The price at the moment on the left <laughs> is one black and the other one's white, <laughs> whichever way. So yes, they are, that's it. And it's all uh, post and packing, of course, is the same as before. So if you've already bought something, it's all there. And these are specially made from Claire because she knows her business. She's been in the business for many a year, uh, some of the bigger companies, and then she decided to set up her own company. She knows what people want. She's been to exhibitions for years and years and years, listens to what people want, and of course she uses them herself. So you're getting something that's been designed for crafters by crafters, which I think is always very useful. Lots of people do own these already, so do ask on the fan page if you're thinking, because it is a pricey light, but it is a good, good, product and it will last the test of time it really will so we're going to go over to the other side going over to the other side I'm taking my water because we have got here the Elna 780 plus now do I need to turn this around to face the other way a bit 
Uh, we've got a few bits and pieces here in front of me as well. So this is the 780 plus. Um, We've got a slide for it, so it's going to tell you, uh, because this has got an amazing amount, amount of things. So look at that, 350 stitches. So the maximum stitch width is nine. Usually you'll find it's seven, so it's a wider stitch width. Um, max length is five. You've got 11 different buttonholes, which sounds crazy, but there's buttonholes for different types of fabric. So it's very useful. You've got a variable zigzag with a knee lifter control. So you can make your zigzag graduate wider and light, um, low, wider and thinner. Um, you can do ruler work. So if you've got a ruler foot, I don't know if a ruler foot comes with the machine, maybe we'll know that in a minute, but you can do that new ruler work. You've got two additional alphabets, capital letters and numbers available in nine millimetres. So again, that is unusual that they're that big. The sewing speed is ridiculously fast at 1060 stitches per minute. You do not have to sew that fast. You have got the slider for your speed. 91 variable needle positions because your needle can be moved right or left very easily using your stitch width button. You've also got your favorite stitch function so you can customize and save stitch settings. So if you wanted to maybe stitch a heart and a star and then a with love from the alphabet and then another heart and star or a happy figure or something, you can create that. If you're doing something like wedding favours or um, anything like that, maybe party, party things, you can create your own little stitch, you can save it into the memory and then you don't have to worry about turning off the machine and coming back and having to redo it. It's there in the memory for you to come back to. We were saying yesterday, if you're going to get um, a machine, get one that can do more than you want it to now. And this is definitely one of those machines. It is 1,999. You can get that on split pay, which is five split pays, £399.80. But you're getting a huge amount with this machine. This is a machine that you would definitely grow into. Absolutely fabulous machine to use. Um, Everything is in its own place as it should be when you're looking at a machine like this. It is a big machine. It's got a nice, great big bed here. So if you're thinking about big projects, whether it be coat making, cushions, curtains or quilting, the fact that you've got this lovely big space here makes working on big projects very quick and easy. The instruction manual, I always go um, a bit lyrical about instruction manuals. So the instruction manual, again, is really good. Now, it's a big, chunky manual because this machine can do so much. Look at all this. But you know what? What's really important to me, the manual is all in English. Now, if you're not English, I apologise for saying that. But when you're going through some of these manuals, you'll find that it's got so many languages and you have to kind of like fight your way through the instructions to find the bit that you need to read not here it's all in the one language so it's very easy and there's so much you can do so many different stitches you can you can program a pattern combination as i was just saying and they're showing here how you do that you can then save that in your memory there's lots of different stitch like this is the the tapering stitch look how you can taper a zigzag and make it go in and out so it's beautiful you can create your own and of course, you've got those 350 stitches. It does actually come with a little pin so you can do circular stitching. Now, that is limited and it's so it's not you can do. You've got two little positions to put your pin on the flatbed here. So the width of your or the diameter of your circle is predetermined by those. So you could, if you wanted to, also buy the circular stitch attachment. And for that, you can do a lot more. Uh, widths of circles and of course you can use that with other Janome and uh, machines there so that's really good so you've got all of these different feet as well these are all of the different stitches and it's very clear on how to use them it's also got a few little techniques look how to do a welted buttonhole so if you're doing a pocket with a zip in it same thing lots of these different buttonholes it's showing you them really clearly laid out so look at this, it's telling me how we've got 11 buttonholes. So this is telling you what they're all for, why you would use which one. All right, so Kat's trying to do a price comparison. Oh, all the rest they call for price. That's a bit crazy, isn't it? OK, so you found one which is, oh, <laughs> yes, because that's the other thing. Machines are really difficult to get in stock and we are lucky. 
uh, we have a, a small quantity of these. That was 2599 and we're saying it's 1999. So that's a 600 pound saving. Ours is in stock at Elna, so it will be dispatched directly from them. And the post and packing, if you've paid for something today, 395 covers it. You've already paid for it. So that's the post and packing. Look at the number of feet. I mean, you can see I'm excited about this machine. It's got, look at all these feet. Look at all these feet. It's got all of these lovely feet. And all of the feet here have numbers or letters on them. So if you're not sure which foot you should use for a technique, you can look at it. D is the rolled hem foot. So it tells you what the foot is. It's got a D, it's got it on there. When you're doing a lot of these stitch techniques also on your screen. So I don't know if you can see the screen here. So we have a screen. This is your LCD screen here. Can we see the screen? Are we getting there? Can I move, do I need to move it round? Is it that way? Okay, that's the screen. So it's, it's not as dark as it's looking on that, um, which you can't see yet because I'm looking at the preview screen. Here it is, so this is your screen. So this is where you can choose your different stitches. So we're on the utility stitches here and there's two pages of them. So I can go to the second page or I can go to some decorative stitches. And then when I go to the decorative stitches, I have a whole load to choose from here. So I can go to say heirloom. And this is a whole load of heirloom stitches. There's four pages I can go through. Now I don't have to just look through on here. I can actually look above. On top here, there is the whole lot here. So you've got your heirloom stitches and it tells you what they are and they're all numbered. And then you just choose the stitches. Look how many you've got there. People think that they never use these, but you will. Once you get into using these, you will get into using. You'll use more and more. You can use these when you're adding bindings. You can use them to decorate things, uh, decorate strips and things. You can add more, more context and more technique and more texture by adding decorative stitches. So you've got all of these different decorative stitches here. You can tell the machine to leave the needle up or down. You can lock the machine so that you can't use it inadvertently if maybe, for instance, you're doing as we said earlier and cleaning out your bobbin race. You can lock it so it can't. The only thing it can't do is make tea. It can't, it can't do that. I mean, you know, really? But it does nearly everything else that you could want it to do. So let's, let's just put something through it now just to prove that point. So I'm going to just start with, firstly, I'll just start with a simple straight stitch. Uh, oh, I keep wanting to put the lever down by hand. It's got a press a foot up down lever there, so I don't need to. Um, and then I, I do, like, unlike Dawn, I do use the foot pedal. So I'm going to just use the foot pedal. And all you can use the stop start button instead. So you've got stop start. But the speed control. So if I put this, is, this is on medium speed control. And I'm using one of the decorative stitches. This is number 31, I think. So it's like a little cross stitch stitch. So it's telling me what, I've actually not got the right foot on. It's telling me what foot I should put on. I've actually still got the regular foot on. So I should have put the satin stitch on, but it doesn't matter. It tells me what the width is. Nine, nine millimetre width. It tells me what the length is. Now I can change that. If I wanted to make the stitch narrower, because nine is the widest it'll go, or if I wanted to make it longer, I can increase the length. When I do anything like that, so I'm just going to stop it while I do that. So I'm going to decrease the width. Let's go down a bit quite significantly so that it'll look different. So it's going down in very small increments of 0.1. And then I'm going to increase the length. Oh, no, it won't let me increase the length. So, that's it. so you can see it beeps at me. It won't let me do it wrong. OK, so I'll have to decrease the length. I'm just going to decrease the length to two. And then let's try again. And it shows you on the screen, as you're doing it, it shows you how the pattern's altering. But having done that, I haven't ruined it. I haven't set this machine up. And now if I don't like the results, I can't ever go back. It's not a problem at all. You can go back to the default setting, two easy ways. Um, one of them is to go off the stitch and back on again. That's the simplest way of doing it. You, I mean, normally if I was doing a project properly, I would be helping to guide the fabric, but you can see how well it's guiding because it's got that nice wide throat plate. It's got the feed dogs there, so it's got the extra wide feed dogs in there. 
So it's very, very easy to use. And then when I get to the end, I can lock stitch. Oh, didn't lock. I think I turned the lock stitch for, off then. Ah, so what it will do is it will go to the end of the stitch pattern. So that's something this machine does. Not all machines will do that. So it's gone to the end of the stitch pattern. And then I press my scissors. And there it is. So you can see how I've altered the pattern. Bink it here. So that's, that's just a very simple stitch. That's one of 300 odd stitches. It does come with this, look at this. Oh, you've got a slide for this. It comes with this lovely box with all of these feet in it. These are all, look, all the feet look. Standard, standard, um, including extra throat plate. So you've got a throat plate for specialist feet and a straight stitch throat plate. I'm just looking for the buttonhole foot. Let's see if I can put this on. So I haven't done this before. I'm not sure if I need that bit on it this time. So I'm going to take that off. So I've got a buttonhole foot here. So the usual way of up it, taking feet on and off. Now this machine does have special feet to do the um, dual feed system as well. So you don't need a walking foot. You've got feet that do that and you attach a lever to the back and that works that way. So it's sort of multitasking there. So if I'm just going to put that, um, I keep wanting to use that lever, isn't it funny? Just have to wiggle it a bit until I've got that in place. That's it, you can hear it clip on. So now I can see it's on. Um, and I'm just going to open out the back, I should have done that before, to pretend I've got a button in the back. So that's the, that's the size of my buttonhole, the gap that I've made in the back there. So we can pretend we've got a button there. I can put, I can put that in there instead and then bring that forward again. And that's going to be the button size that I make. And then I put this under. Now, I'm, I haven't done a buttonhole on this before. So I'm going to go to a buttonhole stitch. I'm going to go back to the stitches and then I want to find buttonholes which are in buttonhole choices. So uh, I've got to find those on here. Hold on. I haven't done this before, so I'm going to find. Because we've got so many different stitches here, no, it's not in that selection. Is it in this selection? It might be in this selection. Oh, got so many choices here. This is amazing. All these different stuff. Oh, no, I mustn't get lost in the stitches and the choices and things. Go back there. I'm just trying to find where are buttonholes. They are in B. B. And now, does that take me to B? I might not be able to do a buttonhole stitch for you, you know, because I might not be able to find oh, Here it is. Here they are. I found them. So these are our choices of buttonholes. I'm just going to do a good old standard number one. It says pull down the buttonhole lever, which I haven't yet done. So it's telling me to do that. Now there's a lever up here, which I pull down. And that lever butts up against the back of the first lug. Remember, I opened, I opened out the back lug in order to put the button in the back. So this now butts up against that first one. And then I just press start. And this is where if I, if I do unplug that, I can just press start and off it will go. Now this will stitch my buttonhole. Now this is the same as a lot of other machines, but you have also got on this, um, this little bit that I took off, which this bit here that I took off. Um, so this is a, a sort of leveler, so a cloth leather. So if you're going to put buttonholes through fabric that's thick and, or thin and then you've got a little thicker bit where a seam is, it will level it out and sort that out for you. So this is a buttonhole. So I haven't got my feet on the pedals and I'm not touching the fabric. This is a bulk standard buttonhole. It's completed. Raise the presser foot. And there is my buttonhole. That's, that's how simple it is. And I know buttonholes are something that people are often worried about and you really don't have to be. So it's stitched that perfect buttonhole. And the thing is, if I wanted to stitch another one, um, I'll stitch another one alongside it. I'm not sure if I'll be starting in exactly the same place, but close enough. And if I just go again, oh, I have to put my foot on the pedal this time because I put the pedal back in. Let's get rid of these thread tails. And what you'll find is it will do a buttonhole exactly the same size. 
and that will happen again and again and again, which is really important if you're making something with lots and lots of buttonholes. You want them to be all the same size. And you can see how quick and easy it is to make. Now, I haven't got the speed up full. I have got the speed on half speed. So it's a fabulous machine. So just above the needle here, you have got your scissors, you've got your presser foot up and down foot, you've got your needle up and down foot, stitch on the spot, reverse stitch, and then stop start if you're not using the foot pedal. That's how I cut the threads and take that out. So that's my second. I haven't got any scissors here. Are these scissors? No. So that's my second buttonhole. I didn't line them up perfectly, but you can see they are the same size and that would happen again and again and again. So it is really fabulous. And we can, of course, we can do writing. So let's go into writing. Um, let's go into good old block. Nice and simple. Um, I don't know, do you get a pointy stick with this one? I'm not sure. You do it. I don't think it's in the box here. So sometimes it's easier to use a pointy stick rather than your finger, particularly if you've got nails. Um, but it is, it's working, so it doesn't matter. So if I wanted to put, um, let me say, let me put, I'm going to put, so I'm, you can see it's coming down the side here now, what I'm going to put. And... Um, so I can do upper and lower case. And then I want the space. It's going to give me a full stop, but that'll do. So all of how you do all of this is in the, in the book, in the manual. So I'm going to lower that down. Oh, no, I'm not. Let's change the buttonhole foot. <laughs> <laughs> don't want the buttonhole foot anymore. Take that out. Put up the lever. Don't forget to put that lever back up. This is what Dorb was saying earlier, how it's so easy to forget that. And this time I'm going to put my F foot on because it's telling me to do that in the screen here. So I put my F foot on, um, which means find my F foot. And as I say, the feet do have what they are on them. So this is my F foot. I don't know if you can necessarily see it because it's a clear foot, but it has an F in just in there in the window. So you can see that's the right foot to put on. Um, and then you just clip it on. Just like make sure it's definitely on. And then I can sew. Again, what I'm going to do, I'm not sure whether it goes forward or backwards. So I'm going to work it out by doing this. Always do a test sample. It's coming forward. So it is stitching. Now what it will also do, it will, sort of, it will have sort of links between the letters and those links between the letters can then be cut off because each letter will be fixed. So you don't have to have the little lines between the letters. And you've got symbols as well. And you've got, now you've got on here, we have one, two, three, four. It looks like we've got four alphabets. You've got the single stitch needle plate. You've got the professional grade needle plate. It's, it is a very high performance machine. And it actually, it took the um, presser foot up. I didn't need to do that. So this time I've got Wendy sew. So all of these little joining stitches, the little joining ones, I can actually cut away. So I don't have to keep those on there. So quick and easy. Now I have never used this machine before. I absolutely promise you. Not used this machine before. I looked at it this morning because we had a foot on that to take that foot off. Checked it. Yes, it sews. And that's it. I have not done any with it at all. And I'm just getting on it, which is why you know I was looking for where the buttonholes were, etc. So please don't be daunted. When you get it, you've got beautiful instruction manual which will show you how to work it. You have a two year manufacturer's warranty. You have an excellent helpline to phone up and it is based in the warehouse in the UK. Sorry, they're not based in the, the helpline is based in the UK. So you're gonna get good proper health. The machines are available and not many, but they are available ready to go out to you. So no waiting time. You can pay the full price now if you like. And if him indoors has gone to the football, Treat yourself. You deserve it. 
<laughs> if you burn your bets down, yes. Or you can pay five uh, split payments, no interest is charged, £399.80 each one. You are still only paying £3.95 post and packing. And we are lucky to have the collection we have with Eleanor and Janome because um, we, you know, we know that machines are really hard to come by in other places. So many places are just not available or you have to order it and wait for it to come. So it is, have a think about it. We do appreciate it's a considered purchase. I've just done a flash through of it. Have a look at reviews of the machine because there will be some. Um, look on the fans page, ask some of the previous people who have also got it. Oh, and you do, you do have as well, inside here, I didn't say this before, but you have got this nice little set here um, where you can put some of your favourite feet. So you make your basic feet you use all the time, you could keep in here, as well as bobbin selection. So it's quite useful to have that in there. And you can use twin needles, of course. Um, you, any, any sort of saying, if you've got any questions for us or for Jane from Elna, we can always put them to Jane. If you get your questions in now and I can answer them, of course I will. Um, so have we, do you want to do the panels or do we do the circular stitch attachment? Oh, the gifts, yes. So this again, this is another little treat yourself thing here. We've got, we had the William Morris magnets earlier on. What we now have, uh, oh, look at these. So what we have here is we've got, <laughs> I sound like a seal. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. We have here William Morris glasses cases. Aren't they beautiful? William Morris glasses cases. This is the green. This is in the golden lily. Let's move that out to one side. Look, printed glasses cleaner. Isn't that lovely? Is it in the same print? That's a really lovely little Christmas present. 11 99 for this very beautiful case. It is a classic William Morris design. Isn't it lovely? We also have it in this one. This is the birds that we saw on the uh, fridge magnet earlier. This is beautiful, isn't it, with the birds? Strawberry thief, is it? Okay, because they, do they steal strawberries? And again, the glasses cloth, it's got the same print on it, which is really lovely. 11 99 for this, 11 99 each. Really lovely, they feel lovely too. The fabric feels gorgeous, yes. Oh, the next one we have is brand new. That's this one. This is called seaweed. This is seaweed, so it's lovely I get to open these. Oh, okay, the picture on the website is wrong, by the way. What you get is what you've got here. So again, we've got this lovely cloth. This is the glasses cloth. I love the fact the print is the same on it. And then it's, it's a nice, nicely lined with sort of black velvet. And then you've got this gorgeous print on the front. Really lovely. Brand new today, it really will protect your glasses. Glasses are expensive nowadays. You want to have good, good cases for them. What are these? Oh! Oh my goodness, these were on an early bird. A manicure set, let's have a look. Oh, again. This is Golden Lily. Look at that. What we've got in here. What tweezers? We've got two types of nail clippers. Can you see those? Two sizes of nail clippers. Little pair of scissors. Oh, look at these with little curved ends. That's really gorgeous. I love that. Really lovely set. Tweezers, nice pointed tweezers. This is what you, you put, don't you push back your um, cuticles with that. You push back your cuticles and a little metal nail file. All in that really beautiful little box. It shouldn't be $6.99. $6.99. It's usually $8.99, so we've still got it at the early bird price. So this is lovely. I like this one. That's the green. And then we have the same thing, but this time in the blue. So it's got exactly the same inside it in that strawberry thief design, but this time it's blue. So all the same bips and bobs in there for $6.99. 
That is a very good price for that. It's a very nice little box. Oh, we've had a question. Yes. Um, can you fit a super king quilt through the sewing space of the Elna? I would say yes, you can. It will be, you know, you will squash it up. Now, my good friend Jenny Raymond, who does lots of the big quilts, she um, she doesn't roll them because you can get rolls, can't you? And you got like, bicycle clips on them. She doesn't. She just stuffs them under. So yes, you can. It has got an amazingly wide space there. So it really will. Um, yes, I don't know if it says the size anywhere. But yes, you should be able to do that. That should be fine. Yes, <laughs> but that's huge. That's helpful. OK, what is this one? Can I open it? Yes. So this is another William Morris. Oh, this is a pill box. Pill box. Has it got compartments? Oh, is it going to be stuck in there? Is it going to let me get it out? Yay. Got it out. Yes, it has. So it's got little compartments in there. This is GYCY40. So if you have to take 999, isn't this lovely? If you have to take pills throughout the day, what you want to, or you're going away for a weekend, isn't this nicer? Yes, if you're going to come to the Festival of Quilts for the whole week, you could put your pills in here. It's, it's really nice, isn't it? Actually, do you know what? This is a pill box. But what if you're doing like seed beading? You could, you, you could put your seed beads in there or poppers, you know, little snaps, little snap fasteners and poppers and things. So you always have to be, think of something. When I say poppers, by the way, I'm talking about snap fasteners. OK, just to be clear. But you don't, you know, I always like to think of what can I do? What can I do with something that's not made for sewing? But how can I use it in a sewing way? Isn't that cute? I think that's so lovely. Really lovely little pot there. So that's one. We've got another another colour way in that one. So this is the thief, thiefy one, the stealing, stealing the strawberries. And then this one is golden lily. So again, it's exactly the same thing. Oh, the picture's wrong on the website. So it's this lovely green. So it's the same design as this one, isn't it? So that's a matching set, look. That's a matching set. And of course, you can get the little manicure set as well if you're going to go for that one. So that one, you can definitely get the set. And then we have little magnets. They're magnetic bookmarks. So these have been really popular. These are three ninety nine. So these are magnetic bookmarks. So you can just put these. You put these over your book page that you're on, and because they're magnetic, they sort of hold together, and it marks your book without folding down corners. Never fold the corners down. So I rather like those at three ninety nine. These are just. These are things you buy in garden centres, in national um, treasure places, you know, stately homes, in their gift shops and things, isn't it? These William Morris designs. There'd be a lot more than 3 99 there, we think. I can't prove that. But they are, I mean, they're superb little gifts again, aren't they? Really lovely little gifts, especially if you're thinking about gifts for teachers. And don't forget, we had our early bird offer earlier, which again is the William Morris. And these are the little magnets. This is our little early bird offer. <laughs> so, so all over again. Oh my goodness! No, no, no. So yeah. So these are seven ninety nine for four of these little magnets, and you can use these on your fridge or on, as I do, on my filing cabinet. Hold your notes. Hold your recipes. Put your little note just popped out to the sewing shop, so you can leave that on the fridge for your husband to come home to. If you missed out at eight o'clock this morning, this was our early bird offer. So they will go up in price, of course, um, unless we make a mistake as we did on the manicure set. But they will go up in price, back to their normal price. This is our special price as an early bird offer. We're going to dash back to the other set because very, very quickly, I want to show you three of the panels that we have. Do look at the rest online. But these are three that we have. Now, this, this one is brand new. This is half of it. Look at this. Let me turn it up the right way. Look at this. Isn't this? It's, this is huge. This is almost a metre in size. It's 100%. You can't get it all in, can you? 100% cotton. Look at the detail. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? 
So, you know, you could, you could make a picture out of this. You could actually just stretch this onto canvas and you've got a picture. But you could do some free motion on it. You could do some hand embroidery on it. You could really lift details out of this. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful picture. So this is $14.99. It's brand new today, this one. $14.99 for this print. So just quickly measure it in centimetres. I'm going from the outside to the outside here. It is 100 and 112 and by, it looks like it's almost square, doesn't it? No, not quite though, by 93. So 93, which is 36 and a half inches by 44. So that is really nice. So that's one. Now, that is a lovely one if you're looking for dramatic landscapey type ones. Or what about this lovely blue one? Now, this is a Henry Glass one called Midnight Sapphire on the Midnight Sapphire collection. Look at this. Can you see? I'm pulling it forward so you can see how long it is. It's, again, beautiful. This could be the centre of a quilt. This could be a wall hanging on its own. This could be a lovely lap quilt. You could make, you could just add some borders to the side to make it slightly wider. Put fleece on the back and you've got a really snug little lap quilt. Great for somebody who's in a wheelchair. Don't want anything too big. They want something that's small enough to fit round their legs in a wheelchair. I think this is really beautiful. And again, what you can do is you can add detail. So you don't need to cut it up at all. It's a panel. You can add detail to it by stitch, whether it's by hand or machine. Very lovely panel. I like that one and that's just $8.99 and then we have again as a completely different look we have this one Henry Glass again and pull it off and bring it back on look at this isn't that beautiful I think that's so lovely just trying to think where would I put this I mean it's so lovely those colours are just me they really are Lovely panel, and this is eight ninety nine as well. Again, you can imagine you could actually put some wadding behind bits of it, not the whole lot, or you could do like sort of trepanto style things or stump work, where you can add extra padding behind certain pieces and then stitch around them to make it give it a three D effect. It just it just works by itself, doesn't it? It's really beautiful. Lovely colours, very beautiful. Or you could buy the panel if you're thinking more of a plique, you could buy this panel and then you could cut out sections of it and use them as a plique because they're nicely spaced and separate. We do only have nine of these left, but this bit here, look at that bit there on its own, fabulous cushion. Or you could do that bit. Oh, there's so much you could do with this. I, just, I love this one. It's probably, I don't know, is it my favourite? So I think, I think you are. I think you're going to have to throw me out today. <laughs> Stop stroking the fabrics. So the menu for tomorrow, who have we got tomorrow? Rebecca Reed. So Rebecca Reed is on tomorrow and you have got the Great British Sewing Week. That starts tomorrow. That's going to be interesting. Um, and then at nine o'clock, Sussex Seamstress Framfield Dress. And that's with Rebecca Harrison. So that's one of the Sussex seamstress patterns. So they're nice, simple patterns to make. Um, we had some of those yesterday and they really were absolutely gorgeous. Then you've got sewing room tools at 10 o'clock. So these are some of Rebecca Reed's favourite tools that she particularly likes to use. So she's going to share those with us. Uh, we then have at 11, Rebecca's going to be back. Rebecca Harrison is going to be back with Rebecca Reed. And uh, all the Rebecca's tomorrow, she's going to be doing a wrap skirt. That's a style that suits absolutely everybody and it's so great to make. This is from a Debbie Shaw book. And then we have Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock. So we head over to Yarn Lane at 12. Um, again with Re Rebecca Reed and Helen from Woolly Chic is going to come and do summer shawls. So that is all about tomorrow. Oh, one last message. Oh, this is a nice message. Who was that from? Best thing I've ever bought from Sewing Street was the 780 Plus, and that is from Drago. Thank you for that review. It is a fabulous machine, I have to say. Absolutely gorgeous. Don't forget to check out all your CAFE if you've got those in your basket and you've been waiting. Um, do consider that sewing machine. It's absolutely wonderful. 
we are just leaving for today. Have a wonderful evening. Oh, I don't know. When am I back? Next week, someone. <laughs> I will see you next week when I'm back. Goodbye.